Let's get Ryan in here first, maybe. Oh, too late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll Working get on him. It. It's it's all good. We'll we'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get we'll get him. We'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. Oh, I'm we'll hearing myself. I'm hearing myself. Why am I hearing myself? I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing myself. Why am I hearing myself? Uh, let's use the group call that we had before. The group call that we had before. Before the group call that we had before. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get you in. Uh, okay. Let's get him in. Oh, give me a sec. I'll call on it. Cool. Okay. Hey, chat. Hello? 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 We thought you died. <gasps> Hold on. I just figured you were scouring your colon. We have. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being <laughs> here today. Chat, you're awesome. Thanks for coming. We got some special guests. It's Fred Knudsen, the incredible, talented, and uh, beautiful Fred Knudsen is going to hang out with us and walk us through every five, all five hours and 55 minutes of his YouTube video. And we also have the lovely and talented and extremely well-endowed Ryan Probert joining us tonight. He's, of course, the mastermind behind the mind-blowing OST we're going to hear tonight, right? Oh, um, yeah. Ryan, you were saying you thought I died? Yeah, because Fred told me like 20 minutes ago you were going to the toilet and we just never heard from you again. No, this is you, you know what happened? You know what happened? Mike put on my video while he was on the shitter and then just like kept watching. <laughs> so I told uh, I, I told Fred, I, I don't think we're, we're probably not going to get to watch this whole thing. But I do want to see the, 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 the points where you guys are, you know, like exceptionally... Uh, proud of or exceptionally um you know hello um oh yeah wanting to like you know the the, re the real um the, the the real real juicy bits you know yeah i what one thing i will say is that oftentimes you know i'm a little bit nervous about how the talk how it's going to be received how yeah. well my research did um yeah. i've dropped the ball in the past on a few mm -hmm. things right um this one i've the you the universal consensus from eve players seems to be that uh that it's good awesome right? like P, like i've been getting messages from vets like vet, veteran players yeah who and um, veterinarians who i'm sure there's, pl I'm sure there's plenty of veterinarians enjoying this video there there probably are in the comments mm -hmm. i'm willing to bet um, statistically there should be right so, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm a veterinarian comment <laughs> I'm a veterinarian, and I'm here to put you down after this video, <laughs> after this piece of <laughs> shit video. Gonna euthanize the bunny boy. Uh-oh. Um, that's <laughs> demented. That's just demented. Why are we even saying this? Why are we even... Because uh, it's funny. Is he a real uh, veterinarian, or is this like stolen valor? You know, stolen vet valor. You know, real oh my oh my god like he he has a, a stethoscope and like a plush dog like he he walks around the mall right you, you know you know how fucking um stolen valor like um soldiers will put the suit on and then just fucking mall walk yeah in yeah. The castle. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like walk into jewelry stores uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, th this stolen valor like, where's my military the where's, same way where's my military discount yeah, right. I, th I yeah. thought you gave a veterinarian discount. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all no, these like... confirmed kills I got under my belt. You've euthanized <laughs> thousands of dogs. I'm not impressed by this. <laughs> I mean, this is not. This is not getting you a discount from me, dude. This is sad as fuck. Um, so <laughs> he, he fucking yeah. goes into Build a Bear and starts jabbing all of them, <laughs> all of them with a needle. Got PTSD here, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have been working on this video for over a year two years two years over two years over yeah. two this years a nightmare. Um, uh, yeah it was, it was a lot of work it, it was a fuck ton of work uh it was also a lot of burnout on my end mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah that was Imagine. a significant part of it so like it was over two years of work though right mm -hmm. like production never stopped right yeah, yeah. um so what else should we know about like product? Because I put I put director's commentary. So, what kind of other stuff should we? Do you want people to know, or do you want this audience to know about the production of this video? 
Like well, what I kind of other video. stuff? Yeah. I made the video specifically to be understood mm. knowing nothing going in. Love right? that. Like my Love that. my my rhetorical situation for the script was somebody just seeing it on YouTube and, and knowing nothing about Eve online and clicking. Love that. I think that that you've had a, a similar approach in the past. And yeah, I think that, that, that served you really really well. It's typically how yeah. I approach my topics. Mm -hmm. Like how I approach my scripts. Yeah, yeah, I, and I, I think that that's like, like yeah, I, I sort of feel like everybody should do that. Like, I mean, like, I don't know, I know sometimes, like, I guess it depends on the audience who you're making it for, where you can presuppose a little bit of familiarity with the topic, but, right. you know, I mean, like, dude, the internet is a, is a, is a wide, expansive place. Like, it's huge, and there's tons of different things, and, like, sometimes, you know, like, how many times a day are you going through the, the world, and, like, or the internet, life on the internet, right? And and you get spaghetti bobbed by somebody else. And they're just like, oh my God, I can't believe you don't know about spaghetti bob. And then you're like, no, man, I, you know, I, every day my, my own chat will be like, how do you not know about this, 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 you know, ancient, even like, even like old memes and stuff. And it's like, yo, it's not possible for everybody to know every aspect of internet history. And like, they laugh at me like I'm some kind of boomer, but it's like, dude, I only have room for so much awareness of things in life. What do you mean you haven't seen the Avengers? He's right. been out for like eight years. What the fuck, man? It's that type of shit. And I'm like, what do you want from me? And they're like, oh, it's a boober boob because he doesn't know. And it's like, no, man, I just never got around to it. You know, so when you make video, that's one of the things I always loved about your videos, Fred. Like, oh, it just you. really, no, I mean it. it. It takes you in like from the first atom, like totally cold on the topic. You never make assumptions that the person watching it has knows anything about what you're talking about which well, is huge rats. you know i was gonna say fred literally starts the video with talking about the invention of the internet I was, yeah. i'm talking about the ones where he starts with the big bang <laughs> oh yeah you no, are okay. ne you uh, are uh, never uh, fucking lacking for context in fred's videos right <laughs> you know how i feel I, about context chat i i always just when, when I tell a story, typically I tell it from the perspective of someone who... I try to recreate the feeling of being there from the beginning as an observer. That's why, like, a, a really good example of this is the Per Cat Cafe video. Mm -hmm. um, for the Per Cat Cafe video, I do not start with the inception of the Per Cat Cafe. I start with people online discovering it. Right, I, so right, I, right. What, what I try to do is and then and then kind of move the, the backwards feeling. a little bit, right, going like, right, the, because yeah. Because like, let's awesome. suppose you are someone who discovers the Per Cat Cafe, right? Like all this drama. Yeah. Um, you learn about the drama, and then you look into the backstory, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So I, what I'm trying to do is sort of recreate the feeling of discovering it, of like yeah. being one of the people who was like, oh man, this looks like a really cool project. Brilliant, right? brilliant. Um, I think with Per Cat Cafe, didn't you like come across it by chance as it was happening? You I did, like right? You said that. Yeah, if I remember correctly, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think it might have actually been a viewer suggestion. It starts with a twinkle in in Diane's father's eye. That's the beginning. The beginning <laughs> of the the beginning of the video is like the. <laughs> This something is... that does something that does kind of annoy me is when mm -hmm. like videos go into too much background detail. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like that's a really bad habit. I definitely okay. was afraid by saying, um, you know, people were exploring the possibilities of the internet. I'm like, is this <laughs> too? Fu I, I feel like it, it's. I'll never forget when my English teacher in high school said. There is a the worst habit that high schoolers make when they're writing an essay is to open with since the beginning of time. Yeah, and that's that sucks, I, right? I, I feel like uh, a lot of video essayists fall into that same trap. You know, like a lot of these people aren't experienced writers. I was really afraid. Like, we'll, we'll get into the video. And I swear to God, starting with the inception of the Internet is actually really important. Really? I swear to God. Yes. It, it moves on quickly from it. I promise. Uh, Ryan, can you say something for me? I'm doing a little audio balancing here. Yeah. You're uh, perfect. My name is... That's it. You're great. Good. Great. Good. Cool. <laughs> Chat, you really can't... You really think they're quiet? Because they, I'm seeing they're, they're not even... They're like negative 10 decibels. Like, they're almost peaking. Yeah, they're fine. I just saw one guy. You guys are fine. <laughs> All right, so okay, okay. um, let me uh get the freaking uh, freaking video going here. Hold on. Yeah, 
this like I will say Let this has been a fucking monumental task. Well, you got seven hundred. What is it? Almost eight hundred thousand views in like it, a twenty-four hour period. Is that is that right? Yeah, we're approaching a million, right? Yeah, we're we're gonna hit a million in probably the next six hours. -ish. Seems like people are liking it, man. Let's add another we, okay, one, guys. Okay, actually, actually, um, hey, Erndil. Erndil, hey there. Erndil, um, what's up, bud? So actually, I I have more current accurate stats on my creator page. Okay. This Down. so, as of right now, in the first one in the first uh. 29 hours mm -hmm. this video has accrued 851,000 views after the same amount of time had elapsed mm -hmm. with the wings video my previously best performing video that video had 795,000 views so that means that the eve online video is now the best performing video that i have ever made translation we get now, we get now the oh, the yeah. ghetto with this one, right? Yeah. Um. Every video gets the views it deserves. Yes, well deserved, buddy. Thank you. I'm clapping. That's that's I disagree with that sentiment. I don't think there are some videos that are really fantastic that do underperform. That's this oh, one yeah. is a fantastic no, video. No, that's what, what you're talking about? Really the every well. video gets the views it deserves comment. Yeah. That's yeah. a complete meme. That's a total meme. meme. That's okay. a complete. It, it, it's yeah. a meme. It's a meme. Yeah, that's, I'm, that's, I'm that's a total meme. Yeah, yeah, that's not literal. That's that's you're I'm you're a a one million percent right. Yeah, I would, he like <laughs> see he lacks the context, guys. See why context is important. So before before I explain this meme, um, yeah. in the 1980s, people were starting to experiment <laughs> with the internet, and uh, they they the people began. No, okay, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you want me to let Chewy. this rip, or you guys want to? No, let's fucking go. All right. Um, you guys can see the thing and shit? Hold on. Yes. All right. Uh, and oh, by the yep. way, mm -hmm. um, something I'd like to note, mm -hmm. the new intro animation, like start from the very beginning, please. Yep. I beg yeah, of you. Yeah, I backed it up. Um, because the person who did the intro animation also uh, does, uh, she works for an animation studio and she worked, uh, one of the things she worked on was Wolfwalkers. I don't know what that is. Beautiful animated movie. Oh, is that that, um, that thing you showed anime. me with the wolf, uh, anthro wolf had the big fucking fat red cock that got almost got me banned off Twitch? Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, that was great. I really enjoyed that 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 animation no, right uh, there. The, the animation studio does a lot of uh, Celtic. Uh, oh, Celtic. Oh, that's fun. Animation. Yeah. Ryan, it's you hear about the time where Fred Wolf cocked me in front of like a thousand people on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't actually. I, did, I don't want to. That sounds like him. It, it, we're, right? we're we are spaghetti bobbing right now. <laughs> we are spaghetti. <laughs> that tracks. All right, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this. Okay, go. okay, let's go. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's slick. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking slick. Oh, I love that. I got chills. Ooh. For over 20 years, the simulated world of New Eden has run in near perpetuity. While information about this world is readily available, much of it is indecipherable to the outside observer, replete well, yeah. with jargon and references meaningful only to those who have spent years in the community. Mega On occasion, nerds. mainstream mm -hmm. news outlets will write articles about the results of battles involving thousands of players and virtual assets valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars. Seen a lot Massive of those over the years. Massive yeah. exchanges in mm -hmm. wars fought for arcane reasons between belligerents with convoluted backgrounds. <laughs> that's, People that's who spend their time in <laughs> yeah. will yeah. begin to discuss their experiences in the game and their participation in historic events, but their gravity is often difficult to fathom for those without the same knowledge or experience. Yeah, Others you're gonna endeavor solve to chronicle that. particular cool. aspects cool. of its history, such as harrowing acts of subterfuge and its ever-shifting yeah, borders those, those were always the most interesting Many ones to me, hear about where this you had like espionage, that, while fascinating, right? the they acts would of never attempt and, to join it themselves, shit, citing know. its complexity this is and a very depth. Attractive and so, for most, yeah, right. a single question remains. What is EVE Online? I mean, even my small, like, dalliances with, like, you know, why did that happen? Why did that? Why did what that? Why did that happen? 
I, I pressed the space bar. Why did that happen? What the fuck? <laughs> I, no, no, no thanks. Whatever that was. Thank you. Christ. Wait, did you just show you my social security number? Yes. I, uh, I was, I was going to say speak. my, my, um, you know, my short dalliances with like MMOs, like not even MMOs, like Ark Survival Evolved was like, ever tell you those stories where we were like infiltrating tribes and like, you know, undermining people's trust and manipulating <laughs> strangers just so we could like, I don't know, kill a dinosaur and shit. Oh yeah. No. Um, <laughs> but one of the, <laughs> one of, um, I, one of the things that I focus on in this video is yeah. that, that sort of subterfuge. Mm -hmm. um, that comes up a lot. Yeah, right? Uh, I should yeah. put subtitles on, yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, Mike, re referring mm -hmm. to what just happened to you, have you heard of the Pauly effect? No, what's that? I, I just linked it to you. So um, it's it, there's a Wikipedia page for it. It reads, The Pauly effect, or Pauly's device corollary, is the supposed tendency of technical equipment to encounter critical failure in the presence of certain people. Pauly, please! Pauly, please! The term was coined after mysterious anecdotal stories involving Austrian theoretical physicist Wolfgang Pauli. The passive. Describing, it's the passive. Describing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> describing <laughs> numerous instances in which demonstrations involving equipment suffered technical problems only when he was present. You, you, this is not you, though. Like, you, you this is me. No, You're this so, is you. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. is you. I'm saying yeah, because that you have a poly effect. <laughs> I do. You and Vinny. I'm poly walnuts. Yeah, but Vinny's is more related to, like, video game glitches, and right, mine is yeah, just related like... to general tech shit. And, or, <laughs> right, and, yeah. and, 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 and also, like, acts of the universe. You know what I mean? Like my like my shit will be like I had one day to do an IRL stream in Las Vegas and it rained. It was the only time it rained and <laughs> like it was a statistical <laughs> fucking anomaly. The first time it rained in like two decades because I had to do something there. That shit like that, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna play this. Okay. Fred Light Keyboard. I'm sorry, you you could He's cha me. he's chatting. He's chatting. Chad did -di ding. I'm sorry. No, the, like Ryan fucking killed it with the music in oh, this yeah. video. I um, it is, it was so nice to be able to put the like when the video was done. I released it and I actually started listening to the music on its own, and like it washed over me just how fucking beautiful. Oh it my did. god, it fucking did. <laughs> what? Did it again? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what is that? Stop! Discord! It's, it's Discord doing something brain dead is what it is. Dude, what the fuck? Yo! Please stop, Discord. I'm not even- I'm not even fucking clicked into Discord. What the fuck? Did Holy you shit. Enjoy that show, do, 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 does anybody know what that is? <laughs> It's it's Windows G enable Windows G all over again. Yeah, I'm gonna can I can I test this again? <laughs> it'll do it later, don't worry, it'll do it later. So what I really what I wanted to fucking say is that you were talking about how, how great the music is, and while you were talking over it, I was trying to fucking hear it. I couldn't because you were talking about how great oh, it was. Oh, some, something I'd like to point out. Episode, Fred. Something something I would like to point out um, is there is a, would you call it a light motif being reused in this video? Um, if you go to the Deep Blue video and you mm. listen to a section one of that, it's a, it, it uses um, the same piano. That's like beautiful. The same, um, so you call it, it, it back it, it to comes that. Back in, it's just a cool. It's not a light motif. Light motif's like a really sorry to be really technical for a oh, second. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, no it, it, um, it, isn't it? It's like a EDA really fix? technical. An EDA fix is a slightly different. Uh, yeah, EDA okay, fix okay. is probably more accurate. What's the but word? Like a light motif. Light motif is like a very specific term that refers to like if a character on a film or an opera appears you always have the same music i see yeah, yeah. i was I, it's and funny it, because it, i was just sorry ryan but we were just discussing how people love to misuse that word i actually yelled at my chat for misusing it recently 
Because I was, like, well, I I was like, like, I was like, this is one of those words that fucking nerds who have no idea what's going on try to use to sound smart all the time, and I can't stand right. it. Right, like so, so like a light motif is is um, for a specific character, but this yeah. is um, th this is a composition or uh, this. Yeah, this is an Ed Fix is like uh, so. Oh God, this that is I'm not familiar with. Eddie, Eddie Fix, what is it? Ed Fix. Ed Fix. I think it's a psychology term actually, okay. but it was used by Hector Berlioz in Symphony Fantastique. Um, it's Symphony Fantastique sort of fucking rabbit hole in itself because um, it's it's about a composer who, or an artist who goes like insane and kills his wife because she doesn't love him and then he goes to hell and she like dances naked in front of, in front of him mocking him and he wrote it because he fell in love with an american actress he was french he fell in love with an american actress and she was like i'm not interested like fuck off and then she saw the piece of music so he wrote the piece of music to deal with that she saw it and she was like wow he's really smart this guy and then they got <laughs> married oh. it was like <laughs> Like Symphony Fantastic is like the this. biggest ra like red flag in history. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Damn. Um, a man, a man composed entirely of red flags. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. He just looks like you know when people make like Twitter like emojis, like stick figures out of emojis, but it's like the red flag emoji. You know what I'm right. talking about? Like the cowboys, yeah. like the cowboy emojis. Anyway. But, th but this theme, this melody, um, yeah. like th this this is sort of the um, 80s computing technology theme, which is remarkable that it comes up so frequently <laughs> in my videos that it has a fucking theme. But, you know. <coughs> I'm dying. Point was, uh, Ryan, that this, what, what is the actual, you explained the, <coughs> it just it's what just a mean, bit of a callback. It's just a it's just a uh, it's a reference. <coughs> I don't know if it's used. Uh, are you okay, Mike? You I'm alright. This is a this is you know, I'm fine. Um so yeah, uh, it, it's just one of those it's just it's just a more of a callback. I don't know if it's as technically thoroughly used as an ED fix or as certainly not as a light motif, because light motif is very specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, you have, it, so. there you have it. During the early 1990s, software developers were exploring the possibility the of the right? internet, a relatively no. new no, invention you, no, you at got the time. We have interactive someone. online yeah, spaces me. such as right, right, multi-user right, right, right. dungeons and forums were shared by millions of people, but it was clear to everyone using and creating these spaces that there was much more potential. Internet technology was rapidly improving and changing, and developers had to make certain that their creations could keep pace. Even more difficult, however, was balancing the ever-changing needs and desires of users with the services being created. So in other words, As porn. personal computers became more widespread and their rendering capabilities increased, developers grew more and more interested <coughs> in simulated, three-dimensional environments shared over the internet as the natural progression of forums. That's the AI Seinfeld department. And of these developers, there, there were few as ambitious as the Icelandic company <laughs> Oz Interactive and their creation, Oz Virtual. So they, okay. go back that far. Can, can I, they go back that can, far. They go back that far. Can I? Can I get? Um, can I get confirmation that like I was completely justified in going all the way back to the inception of the internet to like introduce our main characters here? You're asking me. I don't know yet. I'm asking but chat. I'm, I'm, asking I'm chat. sure. Dude. Yeah, this is justified. Like, usually it's really annoying, but like, I spend like less than a minute on it, and it's necessary. No smiley face. Okay, not sure yet. Okay, there's, that's fine. There's like there's that. Fine. There's that meme of um, it's like YouTube essays. It's it's, it's like um, writing an episode, like a six-hour episode about an obscure children's cartoon from 2001. It's like so we start at the beginning of animation in like 1892, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, so the... I... go ahead. Cyberpunk novelists had envisaged immersive, multi-sensory virtual experiences ah, enabled the by powerful computers networked yeah. with one another, and software developers. Thank God we have Zuckerberg to make this a reality. Finally. Had but used I, I, I love that post. Inspiration. <laughs> I, I I I love that post. You know which one I'm gonna talk about. It's like a, a writer is saying, um, "Hold on, wait, wait, wait." Uh, Here, here's yo. This will he, take two seconds. Yo, here's Here the set of nope. Look. <laughs> 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 oh, and ironically, looks better. You see me riding? Woo! Woo!
All right, what's what? What's the tweet? What's the uh, tweet? No, uh, so it's sci-fi author. In my book, I invented the torment nexus as a cautionary tale. Tech company. At long last, we have created the torment I, nexus I, I, from I have... classic sci-fi novel. Don't create the torment nexus. <laughs> I have seen that. I have seen that. Yeah, that's <laughs> outstanding. To create worldwide web browsers yeah, that allow great. users to explore websites in three dimensions, <laughs> so utilizing a coding Evergreen language tweet that, yeah. called the yeah. Virtual <laughs> Reality Markup Language, or Vermal, as opposed to the Hypertext Markup Language. Isn't or, that a Garfield character? Or HTML. V Founded in 1992. Oz Interactive sought to expand upon this concept and yeah, offer. This was, this was like, look, these things have legs. Where like Mark Zuckerberg, like, couldn't even do that in like, like, like <laughs> last year. <laughs> Sorry, the, the I, beginning of this year. Yeah, I, I like the idea of that. You. The the new metaverse. All, all, all of the new metaverse, the characters in Zuckerberg's metaverse are just these characters with necrotizing fasciitis starting in their toes and just <laughs> working its way up their bodies. Gross. And they've got some kind of ambulatory assistance, like, you know, anti-grav <laughs> anti shit. Right, yeah. Interact with other users who are visiting the website at the same time, with each person represented by their own 3D avatar, Boobies. and even allowing for simultaneous voice communication. Somebody jacked off to that statistic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at the time, they were like, oh, this is fucking hot, let's go. Time. However, this is a fucking their location cool idea. made development difficult. Iceland's internet was connected to the rest of the world by a single modem, uh -huh. and the country would turn off this modem. This, what year is this? This is 1981? 81? Something like that, dude? right around there. Really no. early. No fucking Really, way. really early. Uh, it, it might be mid-80s. Yeah. Night when few people were using it. Still, development would continue for the next four years until 1996, when they finally launched the beta version of Oz Virtual. Soon, other companies began forming partnerships with Oz Interactive. Ah, the Van Gogh, I've been there. Including Time hmm. Warner, Ericsson, the Van Gogh Museum, and Atlantic Records. Oh, hold on, I, I want to say. I'm so um, quiet. Yeah, go on. I Sorry. like when, when I was narrating this, I had to choose whether I was going to say it yeah. as Van Gogh or Van Gogh. <laughs> Because I know, I know that Van Gogh is pronounced incorrectly. However, the calculus that I performed in my head was, if I say Van Gogh, then a bunch of people are, like, the people who speak Italian are going to be like, you pronounce that terribly. And the people who only know it to pronounce it Van Gogh are going to say, why did you pronounce it like a moron? Fred's and if I say Van Fred, Gogh... Fred's not trying people, to make videos people for me. Right, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Um, I have a, I have a nerdy correction, Fred, which is okay. Well, Van, Van Gogh, as we say in the UK, was is an Italian. He's 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 like Dutch. No, he was just oh, giving an example, I think. No, like he I was just giving. I, I I said the wrong country. You thought um, something with Van in front of it was Italian. Okay, no, I'm not gonna fucking rag on you for that. Listen, Va okay, Van. <laughs> Yeah, I know. The, Van, Van Gogh's not correct either. It's like a really weird, like, guttural Dutch. Yeah, consonant. you're not. No, Van Gogh is the anglicized. I mean, you're saying you don't say it that way in the UK. You say, you you try to do we, it, say it Dutch in the UK. No, we say Van Gogh. Oh, yeah, we, we say go. Like, as in go fuck yourself. We say yeah. Van Gogh. Yeah, we, yeah. Spoke worlds within Oz Virtual for them. Most notably, Intel cooperated with Oz Interactive to recreate a New York nightclub in Oz Ooh. Virtual, then utilize a motion capture system on the performance. I wonder if Eva Mendez hung out performers there. at the club to host a party in both the real and virtual spaces simultaneously. That's, that's Eva Mendez's avatar right there. However, the company soon realized that the concept of Oz Virtual, like many others of its ilk, Why do was British say Van Gogh? Because he just explained it's closer market, to the Dutch and a pronunciation. Small group of developers and artists, as well as a single historian, left Oz Interactive to found their own company in 1997, which they named Crowd Control Productions, the Chinese or, Communist as it is Party, commonly abbreviated CCP. Okay, uh, actually, actually, um, there was someone. Who, the, okay, the vast majority of the comments have been extremely positive, like mm. weirdly positive for a YouTube video, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
weirdly positive. Yeah. But there was one person who was like, man, I don't want to like, I don't want to spend my time learning about like a game that that China ruined. Oh, Christ, and it's like, really? Except this person was, as far as I can tell, completely serious. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, my Christ. That, well, you, you, that that was the average YouTube user. That was the the, was, me, the median intelligence of a fucking YouTube user. You oh, do you think he got lost? He like got lost and accidentally clicked on my video and was like, "Why are we talking about China I making a hyper capitalist uh, video game?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's you just had an average YouTube. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, I'm I'm very happy to hear that the the uh, comments have been positive because, I mean, we've been talking about this a lot lately. Like, I it's 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 really scary how dumb people are these days you know i mean i don't i don't know like and i'm I, and again this is i i don't i don't believe i'm i'm a genius i don't believe i'm an above average intelligence person it's just that the bar is so fucking low it like even has me concerned like i just oh group. i think it's less an issue okay. of intelligence mm -hmm. and more an issue of what someone does when they're confused uh, i feel like the okay a, a person who is invested and interested will say, wait, I didn't quite understand that. Let me go back, listen again. Maybe I misunderstood or maybe put to get, put things together and go like, oh, that's what I missed. And then continue, that makes right? Sense. Like they will question themselves. The average YouTuber will say, I don't get it. This is stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. right that, that's right. the XQC method. But you're going right? to, like, I, I think, I think. Whoa, sorry, chat, we look whoa, whoa chat. Chat, I don't chat, 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 chat. The the fucking intelligence though, like I I feel like a healthy degree of curiosity. <clears throat> there's a little bit of a correlation with intel intelligence there. Like I think, I I think a a, a, a person with, yeah, I don't know, I, like like a, a re decently intelligent person, like a moderately intelligent person, what I would call a moderately intelligent person, has a healthy degree of curiosity, and is not gonna do what you just said. Does that make sense? Right, right. I don't know. Right? Or, yeah, or be like, I think, wow, I know enough now that it's time to educate myself instead of being like, no, I know everything. Darn, I think, this sucks. I, I, you know, I, 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 I think you're right. Like there, I think that it doesn't work both ways. Um, mm -hmm. I think that there are a lot of curious morons, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think that there is an incurious intelligent person. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Had once spent their time developing tech demos. Oh, that's a beautiful they were now toilet. interested in creating a finished product. And Yo, so I really like the gif of Doug Walker turning into a toilet that oh, one of you tweeted at They decided at that they would develop something <laughs> remarkably different. Like Doug Walker, like slowly morphing into a toilet. It's really a awesome. A board game. Leveraging the design experience of its initial members, they quickly constructed their game, which they christened Heitushpiel, or Danger Game. I have a note about this. Go ahead. Uh, about the box art, if you mm -hmm. look at the box art, it's very that, compelling. Um, yeah, it's very compelling. Th so, so um, the, the the woman there is is cross like that's a cross dressing man. Okay, um, that man uh -huh. would later go on to become the mayor of Reykjavik, the capital no of Iceland. No shit. <laughs> and when they recently did a re-release of this game, they brought him back. To do more photos. No shit, that's awesome. No kidding. You know why I'm not impressed by famous Icelandic people? Hmm, because Iceland has like three hundred fifty thousand people. Because there's only ten of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not really. It's never really like, oh wow, oh he did the rose to prominence. Yeah, I mean, like you know, I mean, yeah, you know, you're gonna rise to prominence too when there's ten p when there's nine other people in the country. Junction you know, with I, Alcoholics Anonymous. The game Bjork. saw play. Was she, was Bjork, you know, is Bjork that talented or, you know, is she just, you know, one of the only people Bjork's, around Bjork's for like a, hun a hundred Bjork's miles? I know, I'm being a dick. I'm just keeping fucking around. Here's right, so every time we talk about Iceland, sorry, Mike, I'm, I'm derailing this. No, um, good. I just, I have a flat because me and Fred and Ark went to Iceland. Are you seriously to going to talk about this now? N no, no, no. I was going to talk about something else. Yeah, well, you, 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 got, you, okay, guys, okay. you guys okay. went to Iceland for a con, right? Yeah, so um, yeah, they uh, CCP t uh, f actually f uh, paid for our tickets and board. Yeah, to when get was this to, to get to Iceland? Um, this was last year. Last year, I, I remember. I remember yeah. this. I remember this uh, happening. We, yeah. we we screened the first two and a half hours. I wanted to screen um, an early like incomplete version mm -hmm. to people at FanFest because I felt like 
that was a really good venue to get feedback mm -hmm. um <laughs> and and also it would just be really cool to get to talk with so many people right because mm -hmm. it's players it's the company it's mm -hmm. it's employees mm -hmm. um so they can't believe fred would take bribes from the chinese government um so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, I, um, so no, they, they, they flew friend. us out. And it was lovely. <laughs> um, and it, it was really nice getting getting the feedback. Um, but yeah, we went to Iceland for about a week. And what, uh, I what was going to say, yeah. I, I was going to say, I just had a flashback to when you were taking a roundabout, and you were like, "How do I take this roundabout? What lane do I need to be in?" And we were in the roundabout, and I was like, "You're going straight across, so I think you're fine in this lane." <laughs> <laughs> right, I, rem I do remember that. That was pretty funny. We have roundabouts here, we, though. We, it, that, that was we have them. We have them, Ryan. We 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 have roundabouts, but more often we have traffic circles. There, that's is that not the same thing, bro? They are not the same thing. How are they not the um, same thing? Traffic circles are f they're trash. Like the, the traffic circles it, are like glorified stop signs, right? Like right. It's a stop sign, but you have to drive around a big piece of shit. Um, it, with a roundabout, you don't have to stop. You just yield. Um, yeah. And so it actually I mean, speeds up traffic. I mean, I, I, I feel like in New England, like, have you ever been to New England for it? Uh, yes, I have. Like Massachusetts. Cause that, that, that they're like lousy with, with those, what okay. you just so described. They, they have right, them. Do. Um, a lot of other places don't. Yeah, I guess like the rest of the country is. I mean, like I, I haven't. To be fair, I don't really. I don't Feels see. Feels bad because he thought I was going to talk about. Hmm. He was. Oh, talking... Fred was mad because he thought I was going to talk about him crashing the car. But yeah, no, it's true. I didn't fucking it crash did... the car. <laughs> Sounds like you crashed shit. the car, Fred. I didn't fucking crash a car. Oh my god! I just. What happened? I, I scraped. I. I, I oh, scraped he... the fucking little concrete barrier. Oh, you had a little. Spot. You had a that's little what fender bender. You had a little. Yeah, that, little... that's what I did. <laughs> I do that all the time. I have a really hard time judging, like you know, the fucking like distance off the ground with things sometimes mm -hmm. in cars. In my defense, that car was quite low. All right. It was quite low, and you were used to a high car. But it, it's one of things because you you were shitting yourself. <laughs> you were like, oh, well, oh I've lost the lost. I'm gonna have to pay the for security car. deposit, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, the person uh, behind the counter at the place we rented from knew me and knew my work. That was pretty funny. Uh, you want me to play this before yeah, we get no. to? Yeah. Okay. No. Sorry. And occasionally okay. making tenuous I like, alliances. I like, I like any story of Fred crashing a car that's the cycle brilliant. of addiction to various substances. Core to the game's mechanics was a focus on sharp consequences for failure and the ability to interfere with others' play. In the game design documents, the first line read, Death is a serious matter. Heitespiel was- Fred, good job not getting into how this guy was the mayor of Reykjavik. Was ...widely successful in <laughs> Iceland, you. and soon <laughs> it had sold a copy to one-eighth of households in the country, bringing this small, independent Almost company of designers <laughs> a significant influence of capital. One of the best-selling games in Iceland to history. make board games, the company returned to the concept that had driven them to work together in the first place. While the design and technology they had made for Oz Virtual was produced too early for its initial purpose, they envisaged a game made with the same concepts and some of the same technology. And so, in 1999, using the money they had earned from Heitespiel, they began work on a space-themed massively multiplayer online game. At first, the designers attempted a two-dimensional style, but the team decided quickly that they wanted to create something more reminiscent of a movie, and soon, they settled on a three-dimensional style that placed the player in a ship out in space against a backdrop of planets and stars, and they began releasing trailers in the year 2000. Publishers were initially unwilling to believe that the graphics in the trailers were rendered in real time, but after they had been convinced, yeah, I need to CCP stress that he was able to see no, like th th I, I need to stress that mm -hmm. companies literally would not sign con like they would not invest in this project, not because they didn't think it had legs, but because they thought the real time renders were fake. Mm. They were like, there's no way you can get something looking this good running in rendering in real time. You're pulling our leg like, here. Yeah, you're full yeah of they, they had to they had to, like sit them down and be like, no, 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 look, here's the client. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they exist. 
secure the funding they felt necessary to make the game that they wanted, which they named EVE Online The Second Genesis. Their ambitions, however, were far more than graphical. Supporting the core- They had the blast processing on lockdown. Or gameplay <laughs> would be a complicated system of economics described as hyper-capitalistic by its CEO. All resources oh, yeah, yeah. available can, can in the I, game uh, would- yeah, can, can I add something to this? Mm -hmm. um, I, I interviewed the CEO of CCP for this. Uh, really? For this video. Well, yeah, you had already been really... in talks with him for a while, right? For, for a minute, yeah. yeah you you um, met him at the convention, too? You met no, him? Uh, this this was just on over Zoom. Oh, um, okay. But uh, we did get to see him in person, though. You did? <laughs> like, um, you looked at him? You get to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, he, he was there. Like, and you spoke to him later in a call, All right? Um, I like really early on, actually, in, okay. in the research for this video, I talked okay. with them. Like okay. they, they were very ready. Um, they they hooked me up with a bunch of people. Awesome. Right, to, to awesome. chat with. Um, very helpful. Mm -hmm. Like prominent. Someone's writers. asking if you got to speak to Xi Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna. That's the, the the joke of the night, I guess. These, yeah. these CCP right. comments are funny because I actually I used to live in China for for a couple of years at yeah. least. What? Yeah, I used really? to work in a company in China. Yeah, yeah. I was a I was a creative director for a British company out there. Um and it was terrifying. What kind of company? <laughs> like a like a games thing or a music no, thing? No, it was or? a piano. It was a piano school. A piano shit. Wow. All right. Um you know how to speak Chinese at all? You speak Mandarin? What is it? Mandarin? Yeah, or... it, uh, it then it then that means like a little bit. I, oh. I, I That's cool. because people in people in Shanghai where I was spoke He's dying. Oh God, he's, he's robotic. Dying, yeah. Oh God, he's robotic. Like I, I don't have as many as I like. Oh no, mega robot. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, you're you're better. I I think you just have like s internet. On I'm sorry. It's because it's like a freaking hurricane here right now. Really? It's, it's rainy. Yeah. Oh shit. All right. Um. Well. Uh. But no. Um. I I, I wanted to mention. Um. The. They, they were trying to figure out, like, they wanted to make a dark sci-fi setting, right? And they were like, how can we make this so this setting really dark? And, um, apparent, like, apparently, like, Hillmar claimed credit for this idea, because he, he had recently gotten into day trading, and he was like, what if we just introduce day trading? Uh-huh. That would make this really like literally the way they made this as dark as possible was to introduce day trading, which I found <laughs> fucking hilarious. Now, is, is there like a Gordon Gecko in the game? Like, do they have, um, you know, are there characters in the game or it's just you make your own characters? Is there, is there any lot. kind um, of narrative? Or? There's lore. Oh, yeah. There, there's tons of lore, tons of lore, but um, not a ton of like the way they that's kind of awesome. And they walked so Animal Crossing could run years later with the um, with the <laughs> with the turnips system, right? Want to play this? Yeah, that's a very interesting little footnote there. Though. Yeah, I just thought you'd like to know yeah, that. Yeah, loved it. Traded, processed, and utilized by players with little management from the company, like their board game Heitish Field. Because what? Because what, what's more cynical? Nothing. Exactly. Yeah. You know, there's nothing mm. more cynical than than, than Wall Street, yeah. bro. You know. The first line in the design document read, "Death is a serious matter," and invoking biblical language, this game world was given the name New Eden. Mm. When development began in earnest, the company had approximately 20 people, most of them from Oz Virtual, while most others were direct contacts of the initial members from Oz, including some whose relationship had been made by playing Ultima online with them, another I early MMOR. I played that for like two years. You PG. did? One of the most- yeah, Holy like, shit. In like 2000, I'm gonna say like 2001, 2002. Wow. God, that's, that's retro, that's amazing. You know, that's how old I am. Challenging yeah. aspects of creating e Every time I talk, I try to talk about it with chat, they're like, "Shut the fuck up, Boomer! None of us played that." <laughs> Would be no, <laughs> no one, <laughs> they're like, "No one cares." Shut up. The player base into Were you there when they killed Lord instances. British? I was not. I, I actually started. I, that was later. I started playing later. Oh, really? it's like the most one of the most legendary MMO events. Yeah, I wasn't. Lord I wasn't. Being killed. It was. It was. I actually started playing. I think years after that. Yeah, that happened in like the late nineties. I think. Yeah, Ultima yeah. Online yeah, it was, was, it was way after um, my time. Yeah, Ultima Online was earlier. One of the reasons I love Giga is because she also played that. We, like, nerd out about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
to reduce the load on servers, the team decided that they would place everyone in the world onto a single map. We could have been playing it at the same time, which blows my mind. Team world yeah, that, yeah, with wild. thousands of stars using different servers for different in-game regions. In an interview with gaming magazine IGN, the lead designer and art director, Rainier Harderson, said, quote, I would say the hardest thing to implement must be the server backend. Apart from that, the biggest challenges in doing EVE would be that there are so many things that we are doing in the game that have never been done before. This means that there are a lot of conceptual problems that we have had to solve without having any reference to in previous games. For instance, when we started out, the only third-person space game we had seen was Homeworld, and that was a real-time strategy game. Mm -hmm. So that meant that we had no reference whatsoever in how to navigate spaceships from a third-person viewpoint. Another example are uncertainty. Which, which, um, fucking Bethesda apparently still can't do, which is awesome. These <laughs> that rise due to the technical limitation of being a massively multiplayer game. How is collision detection handled on the server? How will the physics model run? Will real solar system sizes work in the game? Yes, they do, to an accuracy of 30 centimeters. Million security issues, etc. End quote. During production, the team decided upon an iterative process which, while effective, was arduous. Early on, we saw immediately that this couldn't be done in one go. So we decided to do... Fathead fish! I'm sorry, look at the fathead fish. 11 That's a good fish, yeah. We would do... Fat, I call them fatheads! 11 times over, its version progressively uh, moving forward to the main goal, but not try to do Eve in one step. So the first step was very simple, just get the basic client server architecture up and running. And then we moved over to having a 3D client, and then we added all the content which has been, had been created. And then we sort of added on and on. Uh, probably did a total rewrite uh, five times, and partial, re -times, uh, partial rewrites uh, about six times. And for each rewrite we did, there were always some components which were good enough to make it across the rewrites. But uh, the first five versions were almost rewrites from uh, complete scratch. Still, you you play you played it right, Fred? Obviously. Oh yeah, I played Eve. How this, is the yeah. space flight? It's just Chad's talking about this. How is like the moving, the controlling a ship in the game? It, uh, actually, I have an entire like two and a half minutes dedicated to like gameplay, like oh, how so you play I'll the game in this. So I'll yeah, shut the fuck up. The and developers watch it. determined that they would be able to overcome this He's like, well, and shut the every fuck other up and watch. challenge Maybe you'll in due course out. <laughs> and with time to spare. Their confidence, however, would prove misplaced. At first, the team at CCP believed that they could deliver the game in late 2001 or early 2002, but as the date approached, the conclusion quickly became that they would need twice as much time to complete the first iteration of EVE. With no other recourse in mid-2002, CCP called a company-wide meeting and informed their staff that there was no more money remaining- I like that lonely, what is it, like a djembe? Meaning, and that they yeah, were djembe. unable to procure any further lonely investors djembe. for the moment. That, I'm a guy, film composer from the you, you gotta admit, though, that, What happened? Here's a djembe. I said, he's, I'm a film composer from the early 2000s, and I have a djembe. His Every office film composer. Sick, though. That was, that's like a trope? Yeah, it's, it's pretty common. Did you then. see his office? I'm afraid to rewind because I'll lose our place. But did you see his office was awesome? Yeah. Like, look at his it's, desk. It's like, nice. Look at, oh, look at that setup he's got <laughs> in there. I'm, I, this is. He's got like that. That re Oh, he's got the sick Alienware computer. Alienware, Maybe yeah. in like the late 90s, that was actually impressive. <laughs> you know? People people were really surprised because I get interviewed. Like He's got he's got an old phone. Um, I get interviewed sometimes and uh, they take a picture of my desk and it's like a laptop and a monitor. And oh, you're going, you're, you're going the, uh, you're, you're doing the, the concerned ape thing over there? CC. Oh, am I? Hold up. You ever see the, concern, <laughs> the uh, concerned apes like PC set up? Uh, it, okay. It, it's like, a, it's like, you I know who that is? my voice was roboting again. No, no, no. No. No, do you know, concerned ape is the developer of Stardew Valley. He, okay. he, he farms, he subcontracts very little of the development of that game. And one day he tweeted his computer setup after, you know, working on this game for like a decade yet. And it's, it's like Is a it laptop. Like a CR <laughs> no, it's, it's a laptop on a stack of like six books. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. It's so funny. 
<laughs> and it's like and, and with, with with like a beanbag chair. And it's like, dude, are you fucking okay? Because again, he doesn't he doesn't hire anyone. He does everything, every aspect of the. Does he do anything? I think maybe he maybe the the music. He, he did no he did no he did the music, didn't he? Company yeah. Male living experience. Male living space. Why yeah. meeting and inform their staff that there was no more money remaining and that they were unable to procure yeah, any his further desk is sexy. investors for the moment. It's got really the, nice. the keyboard set. I'm sorry, I derailed. Despite this, this like driven by faith in the project. Some of the members of the team stated that they would continue working to finish Eve. According to Hilmar, quote, There was a turning point, I think, around the time the company was running out of money, which I think gave people this belief. We kind of had this feeling, whoa, we might actually pull this off. Of course, we believed, but there's a difference between believing and hoping, a turn from hope to belief. Love those, like, cognate surnames we're like that's not how you spell peterson you silly bitch end quote <laughs> this team would continue goodness, work goodness while management scrambled you know? to find more investment money after three months without pay the company was able to reach a deal with simon and schuster a publishing house primarily known for books who was attempting to expand into the field of games it's a fun uh i was i was like that's a very immediately recognizable logo right it is, it's yeah. It's the old man's face, right? You got the eye and the nose, and here's his lip. And there's the semen I, dribbling, dribbling down his chin. <laughs> you don't see it? I see it. It's a no, guy. Here's his eye, like, okay. right here. Here's his fucking his arms and nose. nose. Oh, fuck you, I see it now. This is a guy, and this is his the, the jizz dribbling down his chin over here. You don't see it? Do you think that's on purpose? Yeah. No, it might, I, it might be. It's a little fucking Rorschach, maybe. Like an old guy. I don't know what this is. is it this, is. No, is that's this, gotta be intentional. Is this like his? Well, what's well, what's the arm and the leg then? Like I'm being a dick. Like what's the arm and the leg? Rad piercings. Like what? <laughs> They're like those little body mods. A ponytail. <laughs> oh, all right. This for his tiny face. He's got a very <laughs> flat head. Yeah, I, the very fun flat necessary for it, it, it's it's like the um, yeah, it's like the, the, the it's like the dude in Adventure Time who very clearly was a parody of um, uh, not Todd Rogers, uh, fucking the the other dude who cheats at video games constantly. Yeah, and, and sues people. I didn't say uh, it. I don't know what you're talking about. Billy, Billy Mitchell? Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy yeah. Mitchell. It's like oh, it's a regular like, show, not Adventure Time. Oh. Or not Adventure. Fuck me. I, I don't know why I get those mixed up. Oh, the it's guy, like the is it the guy who right, claimed like, like the who claimed the record falsely that time? Yeah, like his whole shtick, like his whole existence is claiming that a long time ago he was very good at Donkey Kong. I know. And who like people right people yeah, just yeah. kind of started going, hey, wait a minute, none of this lines up, and he's definitely lying. And he was like, ha ha, and started suing them. Like this right. dude, Amazing. because this dude apparently has a bunch of money from his hot sauce company. Wild. It's fucking insane. Like, you know, I just re realized that's I'm sorry. the American dream being a fraudster with a hot sauce company. That's the American <laughs> dream right there. <laughs> we, all, we all fantasize about it, right? <laughs> the, we, we we all we all believe we're temporarily embarrassed hot sauce millionaires that want that that are going to sue the shit out of everybody who claims we aren't actually good at Donkey Kong. Right? Um, he he's saucing the American people. Um, hot sauce magnates. Even if you see this logo as like, I don't know, a dude in a hat walking, which is the obvious one, he's still like grabbing his cock. With his left hand. You see that? I think Dude, he's how delivering long... mail. Yeah, no, he's delivering mail. Like, how long do you think this hypothetical man's cock is? <laughs> no, I, I I, think he's, maybe he's He's got packing. really long fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like salad fingers. Rusty spoons. Do you, think, do, do you think that that will work on a date? Like, like, you sit down and the dude has his hands under the table and he's like, listen. I need you to know two things. One, I have a really, really small dick. Yeah. 
Of course, two, I'm saying that straight up. Two, and then he pulls out his hands, and he just has like <laughs> foot and a half long fingers, and he's like, "Thing number two, it doesn't fucking matter." <laughs> long fingers with really sharp nails. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, uh, I miss my calling as like a yeah, like a guitarist or some shit. All right, I'm gonna. F- <laughs> I'm gonna- I'll play this. That now. is the guitarist okay. thing. Is like they have you could tell guitarists, classical guitarists, because they have really long nails on one hand. It's actually oh yeah, kind of gross. Oh. Yeah, oh, it, no, is, I, it I was, is nasty. It is yeah. So I, I was uh, learning classical guitar just uh, self-taught with a book that my mom gave me that, that she learned with when she was little, and like I, I let my nails grow. I remember I I quit my nails, and I remember being so annoyed. Like I'd be annoyed trying to pluck with with my right hand. Um, after I cut my nails, and then after I didn't cut my nails nails for a while, I get annoyed trying to use the fretboard. You no, it's you like they cut their yeah, left yeah. hand, but not the right. You know. No, I know. Like, but I didn't. I didn't want to look like a douchebag, so I didn't. When you <laughs> said you were learning with the book, I imagined you like picking with a book, like instead of a guitar pick or like nails, just like you had a book in your hand. I could see some like douchebag in a punk band doing that. Yeah. Right. Like, like that's yeah. their shtick. Yeah. I mean, you like, know the do... worst thing. Yeah, go no, go go Mike. Well, I was just gonna say the nails as well on the right hand of classical guitarists. They like wear off unevenly. So they like are long on one side of the finger and short on the other. I worked mm-hmm. with loads of classical guitarists. Like, I and was, they get like I was dirty, probably... right? Yeah. Like, they get like rancid and like. No, they take care of them. They They're do. really obsessed with taking care of their they... nails. I worked with like loads of classical guitarists for years because I was probably like known as a classical guitar composer mm-hmm. for like at least two or three years like that's all people thought of me as how many of them like and just coincidentally I, have coke habits where like the, uh, the, the fingernails are, double as like you know a cocaine deli- I think, a cocaine right? delivery uh device you know I, I i like the idea that like all of the people all every classical guitarist was just really into cocaine and so like left all five nails on their right hand like instead of just having one coke nail they have five so they yeah. can do like all of them in quick succession and then all they're the like coke. wait a minute you're saying that there's an instrument i can play with this nail set up right right fuck yeah sign Let's me up it. like oh sweet a way to fund my coke habit <laughs> um you want to play this yeah, let's go. Right, I yeah. was going to start like to Sarah getting... for CCP no. to finish their game, but the development speed necessary would be extreme. Because if we for keep doing that, year, th- the employees would all work again. Group. Again, like, do you intend to give me time codes at any point? Or are we just going to raw dog this? Um, I at least want to show Mike uh, the first fallen Titan. OK. All yeah. Right. Little hours, sometimes 100 hours a week desperately attempting to finish the game before the money ran out again. It was during this period that a small cadre of players were able to test a limited version of the game for the first time. For many, the concept of Eve and its simulated world of New Eden were a dream made manifest. While Eve promised many possibilities, there was no prescribed definition for success, leaving players to define success and failure for themselves. Eager to explore this sandbox, space game enthusiasts congregated online to have a chance at testing the game early. Game development is often divided into three phases. An alpha stage, where the developers are still experimenting with mechanics and features. A beta stage, where the game's core mechanics have been determined and the developers are seeking to refine their game. And a final release to the general public. Some Sick. studios allow and encourage prospective players to have access to the game during Assuming the alpha I know nothing and beta about stages that either. to test features or needing and reminding. search for bugs in order to Just theoretically a have a more polished <laughs> release. And this practice is especially common for space games, whose players are particularly enthusiastic, often spending significant amounts of both time and money on their hobby. And here, the space game enthusiasts found a system ripe for exploration and experimentation. Very, uh... The first and most important... Very compelling, like, kind of a... Like a sci-fi, uh... Little hum going back there, you know? Oh, yeah, like... An aspect of this was was its hull, which conferred different benefits... Oh, no, go ahead. Depending on its size and specialization. 
Among myriad other smaller factors, each hull also had its own capacitor, which, like mana or stamina in other games, would be depleted as the ship performed actions, such as firing weapons, repairing allies, or mining asteroids. But in order to perform these actions, the ships had to be equipped with components, and each hull had a certain number of slots for these components, which were divided into three types. High power slots, mid power slots, and low power slots. Alright, we need a new emote. Is there anybody available to, to make a new emote? I just had an idea for a new emote. Chat. I just want to warn you while you're talking, my yeah. dog is awake. And I, heard I heard him. You her. did. I heard her. She's capable of violence and she can hear cats. She's, she's kind of whining in the background. <laughs> the, the, the emote, for anybody up to the task, the emote is noted. You know that noted emote that you guys like to use? It's a good one. But I want you to replace the anime girl with the chat toyed <laughs> emote. Like I wanted to be a chat, a, a chat toyed making note. That's what I want. I want. Okay. The high power slots. If anybody is available to make that. Typically, where the most defining parts of a ship were located, here could be found every kind of physically damaging weaponry, such as lasers and projectile turrets, as well as logistical components, which allowed ships to repair one another in the middle of combat. The mid power slots were where ships. Oh, you you have you have one, Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have one. Yeah, I do. Look I love it. Very cute. My, so it's my so very, my, I'm thinking the chat. You see that? You know the J Mike chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Demuck. Like make, taking, <laughs> yeah, right, right, <laughs> right, the dent head. Yeah, like taking notes. Taking notes while like drool sl just slobbers down okay. his fucking chin. <laughs> yeah, Re request, <laughs> request. Could, could, could they be using the pencil backwards? <laughs> Like writing with the eraser. <laughs> if it, I don't know how well that'll read, but yeah, yeah. Like it would, yeah, it would be for people oh who like God. look closer. It'd be a, a little detail. <laughs> well, most ships were fitted with propulsion be physically modules, damaging which weapons. Other than the damaging weapons in the YouTube comments. What happened, Ryan? Oh, I, I said those are the physically damaging weapons. Are the mentally damaging ones in the YouTube comments? <laughs> oh, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, Don't even. Uh, why are you even looking at that cesspool? <laughs> why are you I'm, even? It's not a cesspool. It's, it's really that, wholesome. That's the thing. Is, yeah, yeah, it's not. Right, like the that's, comment yeah, section cool. is so sweet. Like everyone is so kind. Like the the word that I have. Like one of the words I see most often in there is masterpiece. Wow. Which is like mind boggling to me. Like wow. when when yeah. I released this video, wow. like when I was making it, I'm like, I hope this is adequate. <laughs> Right, like that was my hope. Like uh, Fred, I hope you this can't, is adequate. You can't read. That says masturbate. Um, people are masturbating oh, to the video. Oh shit! Beat me no, to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm, you know what? If people are wanking to my video, that's also a success. Yeah, well, I think they're suggesting your wanking, Fred. Yeah. What's your um, voice? It would be your voice. Okay, right. that's that's still. Good. I mean, statistically, it's happened. It ha it has to, to have happened, right? I mean, I just <laughs> busted a nut. Like thirty seconds ago, so I'm telling you, we, I, I'm control group. Okay, it has happened. To drastically increase speed, the tools to ensnare targets were also placed in mid power slots, including stasis webifiers and warp disruptors, which were necessary for preventing an opponent from escaping. Low power slots were usually That's used to help support a ship in its given role. For example, a cargo ship might have fitted inertial stabilizers in order to travel more quickly and evade targets, while a tougher combat ship would fit components to further strengthen its armor or actively repair itself. Many mid- and low-power slots simply offered passive benefits to the ship, such as reducing incoming damage with no capacitor cost. However, each ship also had power grid and CPU limitations, meaning that a player could not simply fit the most powerful components. Rather, they had to carefully balance the different components to create the most powerful combinations for the lowest cost possible. It's actually kind of how the upgrades work in No Man's Sky to the, to the relatively hmm, simple yeah. matter. Like the tech in No Man's Sky is kind of a similar game. In a window on like the screen, similar... right, allowing them to approach it, orbit it, keep it at range, or target it. Like Targeting ships and, a ship and the multi -tool. player to attack, heal, recharge, or disrupt it with whatever modules it had equipped. 
In order to use these ships and modules, the player's character you can, would need the requisite skill Because you points, can overload which, it if you use too many, like, um, modules or whatever. You, like, it literally won't let you fit it. The the, the idea is you, you can't just right. make a big boy. You gotta be tactical yeah, with yeah, how yeah, you yeah, which is, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we it's more interesting. Your sweet voice in your video as masking noise for our nicely act nightly activity. So yes, Fred, we did do it to your voice. To Fred, they're I saying responded. they had sex to your voice, bro. Could only be gained That's not passively too over my time. Voice. Even yeah, it is. when the player was logged out of the game, a ensuring a more even distribution of progression for players. Numerous space game enthusiasts petitioned CCP for access, and those who were granted their request began probing Eve and making plans for when their friends, clanmates, and companions could join them and multiply their strength upon the launch of the game world. Eve had not yet been released, but already the struggle for dominion and survival in New Eden had begun. Hi. So. You, you you mentioned, right, like, we we want to make sure that you see everything that, like, we really want you to see, right? Yeah. Because we're, we're pausing constantly. Yeah. And how how deep into this stream are we right now? I, I think we got, like, hour, a, an hour. hour and a half. And I almost oh, no, an hour, because you were an like, hour, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm all just, right. So I'm just thinking, when do we want to start jumping around? Um, because there are a few things that I really want Mike to see. Well, um, why don't we do the, the making of the game and its release? Yeah, so sure. Get, like, Let's do that. Let's do that. And we can jump around because that'll be good that'll idea. Be good. I think that's a good idea. Because I probably got to have a hard out tonight by like 11 p.m. or, or midnight at the latest. Tonight. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Because I'm, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm, run, I'm feeling run ragged lately. Like, no worries. Oh, no worries. Yeah. I mean, you were just in Vegas. Yeah, that and... took a lot out of me, guys. Yeah, I don't know how much of that you guys watched, but yeah, it was M Mike. Through. Mike, I just released a video that took over two years to make. Yeah, I'm I don't feeling gotta it tell too. you. Yeah, okay. Um, so I work for Fred. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's exhausting enough. My, my... <laughs> I. <laughs> so, do you want me to just watch this bit, section two? Yeah, let's watch okay. with it. Despite yeah. Eve's unwelcoming nature, the promise of such a cinematic multiplayer experience was enticing to a wide breadth of players and drew a significant audience long before it had been released. Captions. Starting like who's Drew? Did you see it capitalized Drew? On October 24th, 2002, Funny. a blurb <laughs> appended to news releases would proclaim that the game would, quote, allow up to 100,000 gamers to compete simultaneously gamers! across a full 3D yeah, galaxy know, right? of 5,000 solar systems. Currently, 5, EVE Online is in phase That's 3 of beta some fucking Sean Murray shit right there. Beta testing, right? with thousands of gamers playtesting the game daily, trading in more than 300 fan and player corporation sites. Yo, real quick, everybody subbing and resubbing and give subbing and shit, thank you so much. I'm not going to call them out while I have guests, but thank you. I do appreciate it, guys. Thank to you. date, there are more than 80,000 gamers signed up for the beta test, and at least 50,000 are estimated to participate before the game is launched. Just like in the real world, money will be the commodity of choice. Players can earn cash by accepting work from non-player characters who will reward gamers with cash which can be traded for gamers. goods or other items. Also, <laughs> gamers can earn money by working for a corporation. These corporations are comprised of gamers who have pooled their resources and are working together to dominate. Just replace, like, you know... We're gamers with like minters, you know, uh, it, you know, and just and and just like uh, you know, corporation with like I don't know, like a, like a, like a miner, like Ethereum miner, you know. Oh, we so absolutely like, have to. So, uh, Ryan, we absolutely have to uh, get to the part uh, of the video where we talk about that dog shit Forbes article. Yes, the, the Forbes what, article. The what article? Shut the. F <laughs> <laughs> I will. You understand that I uploaded the video with that error, like, less than 30 minutes later, took it down and re-uploaded it with that fixed. Fred, you know what- There is no what, physical you, evidence of that remaining. You, you know what it you is, bro. You keep that alive. Bro, bro, you know what it, you know what it is? I'm gonna, can I, can I be honest with you? Yeah. It, it's, it's not even that, 
like it's funny that like you you made a fucky wucky. It's not that. <laughs> it's that you made like a cute one. I'm serious. Like that's cute. Oh my god. Like that's fucking cute. Like four oh bees. God. Like that's fucking adorable, bro. Do you understand that? That's why. It, that's why it, it 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 stays in the public consciousness just because it's. Oh my god. Like that's like that's it's like it's like oh he, oh oh God bless him. That's adorable. You know. Oh my god. And, and you get so <laughs> annoyed about it, which is beautiful. Today, there are the, more than the, 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 the stry sanding is definitely not helping you, but... <laughs> no, I, it's not. It's, but it's I, not the only explanation, okay? It's not... No, like Fred I, being attacked by four bees and crashing his car. No, it's, four, it's fucking. It's it's not. It, it it's not even like when that was happening. I was like, okay, you know, this teasing is kind of cute. It's the fact that it hasn't stopped for six years. <laughs> <laughs> Again, with no physical evidence. Cause it's funny, bro. You, but my, fi I wouldn't know about that if you. Didn't I didn't tell even me. encourage it. I didn't I even encourage. I wasn't. I, I didn't me. even stry sand it. I was like, "Oh my god, you guys, shut up!" Right? No, it just kept, <laughs> it kept it kept cropping up like fucking cold sores. Four cold sores <laughs> on my fucking lip. There's these all these little things that are like very cute. And... No, it's it's because it, it's like it's it's a genuinely funny, you know, like mispronunciation. Like like some mispronunciations are just funnier than other ones, you know. It's yeah. like when you got back from holiday and Why like someone happen? had stolen uh, this is tech technomancy. Yeah. <laughs> when you got back from holiday, Fred, and someone holiday, like stole um... your catalytic converter. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you were so you were like a little bit sad, and I was, I was like, <laughs> that's so sweet. That kind of that did 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 bother me. I think right? you told like, me. I think you told Jesus, me about that. Yeah. You came home and I used to party. Your fucking car was missing because crackheads, <laughs> a crack a crackhead stole your. Yeah. I was going to tweet like, can whoever stole Fred's catalytic converter return it? He's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be sad? You, you know? just, you were just so, you were like a little bit down about it, and it was like if somebody stole my exhaust pipe, I'd just be like, "That's hilarious." You um, let me well, out. Like, yeah, I, 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 I but think part of it was already convenience, you know. I, part, part of it was already you, that I like, was like. <laughs> I, I think the big thing was that I was really not in a good headspace. Mm -hmm. Like I, I was not okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Fred. Because. Like it was, it it felt like, it felt like you know, it felt like life was kind of smacking me around at the time. Like I I was really not doing well, mm -hmm. and then like I, I'm laying on the floor, and then like I'm I'm laying on the sidewalk after like getting cold clocked for no reason. Yeah. And then like a homeless guy sees me and then decides to take like a big wet shit on my leg. Yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> icing on the on the shit. Cake, right. It's right? like yeah, it's... I I can change my pants, but that on top of all of this yeah. Yeah. really <laughs> makes this. Suck. Oh man, this isn't fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that happened, buddy. All right, let's stop breaking his balls yeah. about the four about the four bees for now, bees. I'm sorry, okay. Fred. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm gonna level. I'm gonna level with you. The production of this video has like I have not been okay. Like prof I have been profoundly unokay. I have I I made this video through burnout. Like I was burnt out. Yeah. For the entirety yeah. of year. this video. Like, because for the first four years of Down the Rabbit Hole, my days, um, and it was funny, my, my mom was in my chat, I was telling my stream earlier about this, uh, my mom came in and corroborated this, I would roll out of bed, crawl into my computer chair, work until I slept, and my mom would bring me food and I'd eat while I worked. Like, literally all I did for four years was Down the Rabbit Hole. This man needs a beach. That's you need like a like a nice ex, like extended like beach. I don't like th this isn't an inspiring story, by the way. Um, no, he's not trying. Yeah, to, he's not bragging maybe, right now. No, no, no this is this is not. I, I didn't even think about that. No, this is not bragging. This is this was stupid. And then like something bad yeah. happened and then I collapsed. Right. So this has been brutal. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, we're gonna we're gonna the, we're enjoying the fruit of the the, the pain right now. Right, right now, like so. this the, this and so this far feels... it's been fucking beyond you know worth it, man. I mean, I not that again. I'm sorry you went through that, but like so far the video seems fucking mega legit, dude. I'm I'm so glad. I I'm I the big thing I was worried about was Eve players, Eve veterans. You know mm -hmm. the people who have played for 10, 15 years, um, coming in and saying, "Wow, we fucked this one up." Um, and haven't seen it no it, it's it been awesome it's, people nice. have been reaching out and being like you did a like people are saying i did the game justice right That's like awesome. i'm like yeah. i'm glad that this is here right like big shots even just like normal players that has been so validating because awesome. i really <laughs> did my best at the con all the eve players seemed really really chill they, they were really yeah nice. No, they, Which they is were very kind of surprising because it's a very intense. Yeah, know, I was just thinking that. Because yeah. the experience of playing this game must must be very yeah, intense, like you said. Okay, there's one a good more, line One more up, anecdote. Actually. Yeah. One ahead, one more anecdote. I think like it, it's very funny seeing people say like why. There's a genre of comment where someone comes in and says, "Why would you make a video about this? Like, even reality is just really boring." Right, like it, you're you're spending ninety percent of your time just sitting there and like watching a laser hit rocks, and then a tiny percentage of the time there's something exciting happening, and then it's back to boring. And all I can think is, why do you make war documentaries? War is so boring most of the time. It's just a bunch of people sitting around in trenches and eating bad food. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you why would you make a documentary about it when it's so boring? Good can, can war you documentaries just... <laughs> like articulate how boring war is. Right. Yes. Like right. good war films show that like a lot of war is sat around waiting for days on end and then fifteen minutes of terror. Could could you extend oh, Cody, this to after... only uh, to to like almost anything in life? Actually, yes, absolutely. Like 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 Ryan, like like how many like like learning an instrument? Like how much of that's exciting? But almost none of it. Well, I mean, I think yeah. actually that's probably unfair. I think it's, it's, it's um, I like writing music. I enjoy it, but it, it involves a lot of me sitting down for hours on end. Just like, right. It's like, doing I, I think very that, little things. Exactly. I, I'm, like yeah. for, oh, like for me, like a, as a creator, right? As a writer who is making something and also someone who plays an instrument, it's mm. not exciting, but it's satisfying. Yeah. And then it's punctuated by exciting moments, right? Like when yeah. I'm practicing, yeah, when I'm yeah. practicing, but yeah, you're a yeah. musician, you get this. Um, when you're practicing something and you're fucking it up and it's not quite right, and then you play it just right for the first yep. time, yep. that fucking adrenaline rush yep. is addictive. Yep. Like the dopamine just floods. It's kind of like, you, it, it's like a Souls-like game. A little bit, you know what yeah. I mean? When you it, beat it's that, that, it's that same dopamine. It's like I fucked it up, I fucked it up, I fucked it up. Yeah, it's like you fuck it up over and over, and then oh yeah, right. That was like good. I'm, I'm thinking of the the, right. the 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 fucking cumulative years of my life spent like you know playing double stroke, single stroke roles to a fucking metronome, absolutely, and like being absolutely. bored, and being bored to tears, like and just being like, when's <laughs> the part where I'm a rock star? You know, like, right. you know. So, so like, anyway. um, Whiplash isn't like a hugely accurate film about music making, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like the scene where they're like trying to play in tempo for hours on end mm -hmm. is basically what Music College is like. It's like just people learning to like of your day of your time, playing in mm -hmm. time properly yeah. and doing like practicing scales over and over again because that's yeah. how they got better right. mm. and i think i think there's um people when we we're at university they practice like five six hours a day yeah and i think there's a little bit of a pushback against that now because people said you shouldn't be like trying to just put in the hours you should yeah. be doing good practice so yeah, they're doing yeah. a bit less quality right. over quantity. quality yeah yeah so if you can do quality practice for like six hours that's great and it's actually smarter, I, I didn't... not harder yeah. yeah, I did a I did a interview where I, I mentioned that I was like, you should if you're a composer, the best one of the best qualities you can have is be lazy, because <laughs> when things oh, aren't yeah. working, you can just go fuck it and do something else. Right. And there was like this guy who was like, you got to grind, man, who in the comments of this interview I did. <laughs> and I was like, yes. fucking hell. It's a kind and of I, a, <laughs> not a good mentality, right? He was like, you'll never be successful if you don't grind. And I clicked on his YouTube channel and he had like five videos and two subscribers. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> Love I was it. like, okay, whatever you say. Loving, having a big yeah, conversation right, last night about critics not who like don't make things or can't make things. They just critique mm -hmm. things, you know, maybe out of 
fear because I'm sorry to br- I'm so sorry, chat, but but you know what I mean? Like if Anthony Fantano is so fucking learned in every aspect of like what makes music good, then why isn't he able to write the best album that anybody's ever heard? Like, shouldn't he theoretically be able to do that? I think they're two different skills. Yeah, I mean, no, that they are. I, I, th- I think it's th- there's also a bit of difference between theory and praxis. I'm just really unhappy with him right now. I won't get into it. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I, I wanted I wanted to mention um, Co- Cody in chat was asking, like, what's next? I'm going to take a couple of weeks off. And then I'm I'm going to structure my time so that I'm working where I actually take weekends and I'm going to start research on the next video. I'm I, I, I think I want my next topic. I'm going to look into a topic mm-hmm. and see if it'll work, but I'm going to look into the Luddite movement. Fred, fuck that. When is our next uh, uh, podcast? I actually oh, yeah, wanted, I, I was going to ask you about that. I was talking about that on my stream. I have. Um, I want to record that. I, I want to get my sources together and like re you know read up on everything. Maybe look into any new developments uh-huh. and then uh, and then record that. But no, let's set times. You know, uh, soon, soon. Okay, I I um remind me that I want to talk about. I have a very specific thing I want to ask you about that later though. Okay, yeah, um, sure. Do you want to continue this video? Yeah, let's yeah. go. You know, um, so someone says that how many hours spent looking at paused videos? Shut the fuck up. Corporations already <laughs> established, even though EVE Online has not yet been published. These corporations have elaborate web pages detailing infrastructure, location, business models, and mission statements. End quote. While this blurb emphasized competition in EVE Online, many were more excited about the concept of participating in a perpetually running economy, where the goods that they harvested or created would be actively used by other players. It is really free form. You can uh, choose from a lot of uh, possibilities. You can be a, a market uh, operator, you can be a transporter, miner, you can operate a factory, you can research, you can operate a big corporation. Wait a minute! No, no, this isn't. This, 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 this is not you, Ryan. This is the 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 forty. No, this is like this is, yeah. this is just the two thousands music. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is, no, okay. this is not Ryan. Yeah, yeah it's it's, I think actually, I think this is the only instance where we don't have Ryan's music. Being uh, by being the military arm or being the accountant of corporation, and uh, the current games uh, sort of more focus on on having people going up against monsters, maybe in small groups, whereas EVE uh, sort of focuses on building a society uh, and supplying the tools and the rules to operate it. At first, these news releases announced that the game would be launched in March of 2003, but again, the studio needed a delay. In a press Nobody release, say like Art Fred's video. Ban anyone stated saying that. like Fred's video. Why? Because I said they needed a delay. Um, I'm <laughs> so... No, I... Nobody say fucking anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you did. Nobody did but you. I know. Quote, I'm, I was making a joke. We have always stood firm on the commitment <laughs> to release Eve only when we felt it was time. Although the game is nearly finished... You should like the video, though. Like, go put the... Click the like button. We that. felt it would be best to hold off an additional I'm gonna do that. six weeks. This will allow us to fully optimize the performance of our new server cluster, implement features we have promised, and continue testing to Fred assure the made elimination up a guy, of yeah. bugs that would interfere <laughs> with the player's ability to enjoy the EVE experience to its fullest potential. End quote. These delays likely made prospective players nervous. Space games at the time had a notorious history of ever-extending <laughs> delays. Can you pause a second? Uh-huh. You're going to bring this, this guy's cock? I am no. Uh, <laughs> I I wish. Um, free mom found the freelancer cock edits. No, I am. <laughs> I am tempting fate so badly by putting Battle Cruiser three thousand AD in here. I don't know why. I don't know what the fuck. To, I've never seen either of these. I don't know what the Ryan. Do you know? No, I don't. Uh, you have to tell me. Oh Christ! Battle Cruiser could have been a down the rabbit hole. 
Um, yeah. It is made by a particularly infamous developer named, yeah, people in chat already know, Derek Smart. This man was an indie developer who loved making space games, but forever lived in the shadow of Chris Roberts, who made stuff like Freelancer and Wing Commander, the big space, no, the big exciting space games, um, the cinematic ones. And he never quite got rid of that chip on his shoulder. He he was particularly notorious online. Oh, he's oh for, he's making Star when, Citizen. No, 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 not Derek Smart. Uh, Chris Roberts is making Star Chris Citizen. Chris Roberts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Um, yeah. He he like left for ten years and then came back to make uh, Star Citizen. But Derek Smart would find forum posts bad mouthing his games and start flame wars that became <sighs> legendary. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he would fucking shout, like he, he, awesome. he would just go forever, like, and he was proud of it that he would start flame wars posts. on forums. It's like the guy Some who made posts. Braid. Yeah. What was that, that, that? The guy who made Braid oh, yeah. did that, right? Was that fucking yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like log off, you're done. Right. You know, like I will. John I will Blow. never. <laughs> I fucking I fucking love the the clip of uh, the developer of Braid Crying. juxtaposed yeah, with yeah. a soldier boy going yeah there's nothing to this look at him go whoop and just this like being rules. a fucking moron yeah <laughs> like I mean dude like you can always find like people shitting on you if you fucking do anything if you do literally anything you can go down a rabbit hole of people shitting on you on the internet. Like, oh, you just, yeah, it's no, a choice like, not to do that, you know? Like, it's a choice. Right. You're making a choice to do that, you know? Like, it, it's, it's wh why do that to yourself? Like, you do that to yourself, you know? Like, you think going and arguing with these people is going to stop them from shitting on you? They're, they're, no. They're, it's... The, the, their mission is to shit on you. You ain't changing that. You're just going to no, look like if... a, like a fucking asshole. Right. And yeah, yeah. even if like even if you prove them wrong, right? Like you can't prove people them wrong people if... like this, you know what they'll do? They'll move the goalposts. Yeah, they're not trying so to have a good there's, there's no good yep. good faith arguments there. No, no. They, you know? they they just they they just want to shit on something and be right and feel good about being better in in some way, right? Like and even if they're proven wrong, even like the goalposts will move because the core desire is still there right to just like if it all depends on what the person wants yeah. right mm -hmm. it's a it's, very it's, small kind of person who's like that and there's lots right. of right it's yeah. it's not good faith critiques most of the time you know oh I no well, well but make no mistake derek smart's games were buggy fucking messes Right, yeah. like oh, unplayable yeah, yeah. battle cruiser a battle cruiser three thousand A D would crash more. Like you would yeah. you would struggle to boot it up and keep it stable more than it's, you would. It's play got it. big Scientology yeah. energy. Battle mm. battle cruiser three thousand A D. That's like, just because oh, you're like, like, battle like, like having a battlefield. Earth, battlefield, yeah, battlefield, yeah, battlefield, battlefield, battlefield Earth. 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 But the yeah, look yeah, of it yeah. as well, and the the graphics and everything, it it feels like it could be a sequel to Battlefield Earth. It, it could be, yeah. Uh, well, you, I think the so, point that you're making is like some of the criticism um, he could have used to learn from, but instead of you know doing, instead of accepting like, you know, uh, e even even any any kind of criticism, even if it was constructive, he would just get like defensive and like fucking freak out on people and and engage right. in in you know, right? Fucking like flame it, wars and shit. And just I, I feel and, like. I feel like for him, it wasn't so much about proving the haters wrong as it was the thrill of combat. Wow. What a, <laughs> get help, right? <laughs> you know, get help. <laughs> Fucking get, see a therapist, talk to somebody. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I mean, some, some people are argumentative by nature. You know, and they literally like, like debate yeah. words, you know? Mm -hmm. Just um, don't have the energy in me. To do no, a, like I, I feel like I have, yeah, exactly. No, I'm, I'm the same way, Ryan. I, I feel like I don't have the time, the energy, or the desire. Like I have too much shit to do. Yeah, which yeah. matters more than being right. Right. No, like, how about instead of proving people right, I just do shit, and they decide that I that they decide yeah. on their own. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Mike, you chase the high of combating with chat on a weekly basis. No, that's different. That's my content. <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm not combating with chat. I'm making streams, dipshit. That Mike, is my. You just Mike, fucking. Mike thanks like, for the help, Mike, jackass. So big DSP uh, would Mike, say. Yeah. Mike, is, Mike it? is like a. Would he? Really? He's like, they gave me the ingredients to <laughs> make. The my... Is that is, is that a real? What's the, the what's, the, what's the actual quote? There's a quote. What did you say? What I paid them their fee. Uh, fuck, what was it? It's in my DSP video. <laughs> but he calls like the game like the ingredient to make his yeah. content. I know, yeah. I, I paid them their fee for my ingredients to make my con my content. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I you, you know, I, I I I do feel a kinship with Dark Side Phil. This is not this is not on familiar <laughs> territory. Absolutely. Can you please make noodles on stream? Um, that, I've got, you know, I, I just incredible. want to make, like, I know how hard it is. honestly, H like, I'm guys a little bit concerned that. that, you know, uh, the noodles will be a one trick pony if I do it. So I'm not <laughs> sure, I, you know, maybe, maybe I should. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a comment fapping on stream when. <laughs> <laughs> That's, no, a I, night, like, that's a nightly occurrence. I mean, fuck. I, I, I like the idea. Like, I, I'm envisioning Mike fighting with chat being like Mike being a gladiator in an arena and like, <laughs> a, 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 like a hamster crawls out in front of him. He takes his trident. He just fucking chucks it at the hamster and beheads it, turns around to the audience, spreads his arms and yells, are you not entertained? <laughs> It's more like this, Red. It's like I'm all right. So I'm in the the center of the arena, like fully, yeah. you know, fully armored up. Yeah. And yeah. I've got like a trident, you know, whatever. And there's birds flying around, shitting at me, like shitting on me. <laughs> and I'm and I'm fruitlessly fucking jabbing the weapon up at the birds and not hitting them. <laughs> and that and that that's the, that's the the that's the content. Right. Face to fist style. Yeah. No, no, it it's face to foot style. How do you like it? <laughs> what are you referencing? But you're also right? in a bath, higher <laughs> shit. It, uh, oh, you I'm, saw I'm that? Rent yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fred drew my attention to it. Wow. Was, no, um... I, I created I created a group chat with um my brother and Hina so we could watch it together as it was happening. Oh, and shit. I what, what did I name it? I named it. I named it. I'm scrolling. I'm, I'm looking for it. Uh, I I named it trauma bonding. <laughs> <laughs> this was it was an event for you guys, right? Huh? It That's was awesome. no like you went you went live. I'm I'm watching you in the bath, and I'm like, this is an event. <laughs> I just That's, had this what, I image of That's Mike what I was going for. Going home. <laughs> so I just had this image of Mike going home for Christmas and like putting out a projector, being like, "Guys, do you want to see the highlights from my streams this year?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I don't show him that one. It, it's trauma bonding. <laughs> maybe I don't. Maybe I don't show him that one. Maybe we leave that one out. I don't know. There's so there's so many other ones to show them. You know? I want I want to emphasize the fact that Mike did not warn anyone that he was doing this. Oh yeah, no that that was the idea occurred to me like the previous night, and all of every you know you just like I'm 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 not inspired like this this often, but like you mm -hmm. have an idea and then like. And then a bunch of other ideas just fall like dominoes, like almost immediately in your head. No, I. It does I get not it. happen to me very often, but but, I, I, but I just, when it does, I'm like, holy shit! And it I just want you yeah. to know, I want you to know that mutual friends were DMing me on Discord, going, "Is Mike okay?" Good, good. That's expecting good, good. me to know. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> and frankly, they were good. correct. I'm so to glad to make good. that expectation, good. and yet. Sorry, I'm like blowing out my microphone. No, you're fine. Yeah, me too. Mine's going like, got the warning light on. Somebody commented midlife crisis behavior or yeah. midlife. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm past midlife at this point. Part of the reason I was freaking out in the bathtub. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm glad Fred you, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys had an existential crisis over it. I'm glad I, I, I I'm glad I scared people legitimately. I'm looking like, what, good, what did I good. write? 
I, I feel I, I felt different. Good. Good, good. After True. Hearing, like, Art I... changes you. <laughs> Art... Art should make you feel things. It should it should broaden your emotional scope. I, I remember know. saying like I like yes, I'm worried about him, but objectively this is funny. Good. Good, good. I'm glad you liked it. I'm so glad you liked it. That was um that was, that's my version of the Eve online video. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, is that's he okay? As, as I, I close feel like, as I could come, you know? Yeah, like, people watch your stream and we're like, is he okay? People watch my EVE Online video and they're like, is he okay? I, I didn't have time to even tell anybody about it. Because, again, it was just, it just, it all happened so quickly. Like, from the inception of the idea to the execution. Plus, there was tech issues. Plus, I, I had to go buy things. It was like, you know, I was, just, it was just very, it was very rushed, you know? I'm terrified you had enough presence of mind to buy things for it. It, yeah. you know, it, it looked like a scene that would be used in a video essayist talking about like the, the Twitch streamer who died. You want to make like a you, you want to make like a spoof down the rabbit hole about me and like my fucking descent into madness. Mike, it's, I need I need wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. I need Spoof. you. Spoof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mike, I I need you uh, to send me all of the raw footage, like all of the <laughs> all of the raw footage Yo. of your trip to Vegas, your streams right. to Vegas, yeah, and right. the bathroom stream. All right. You want? It? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need you to give these to me. The the uh, the wings of jabroni, right? You want to do? It? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love like, it. Like, like, hey, 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 Ryan. Yeah. Could I like? You can. Could, you can could I? Could I like? pay you some extra money to like do a hypothetical project oh you want to do this for real <laughs> no yeah. listen what you it, thought but you thought i was fucking joking we'll get listen 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 we'll, we'll get okay listen listen mike it would be an honor to make a video essay about you dying from it, eating David eating. if if you if you make a script and narrate it like if you could write a script and narrate mm. it okay We'll get, okay. I'll get, I'll get my fucking editor to edit it. And, and Ryan, we could just use music you made already if you want. If you'd be down for it. No, I'm writing custom that, music. You, you want to? I mean, you want yeah. to, you want to make more? <laughs> uh, I think, I think the scene of you in the bath <laughs> could be really, with the right music could yeah. be really unsettling. Are you in, you, you got a vision? Oh, yeah. You got no, a vision? Like... <laughs> No, Mike. Like I Apocalypse have utmost, Now type shit. Utmost right? faith. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my no, god. No, Ryan is going to fuck this up. Like, in, in the good way, <laughs> right? Yo, like, please, he... let's do this. Yo, Fedicini had a great idea. Mike, tell Fred to edit out Mountain Dew so it looks like you're talking to no one and are going fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. We strategically cut it so, like, the first day he's there... And then, like, partway through, like, one of the later days, he disappears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he bails because he's afraid. He just disappears. Like, could we... Could, could could we? And was never seen again. No, no, no. Okay. No, I'll write it in the script. I'll write him some lines. But maybe we could get him to, like, do a fake scene where he's, like, talking about how he's worried about you. And oh. you're, like, being a dick. And he's oh, just he leaving. Would he would do and it. Then, would and then do you it. just yeah, continue. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then you yeah. just continue... <laughs> uh, as though he's there and you're talking to no one. Well, he just disappears and Mike's just wearing his watch afterwards. No, we <laughs> pushed it too far. You, like, I, I need you to understand in this Discord I call right him. now, I ate him. Yeah. we hold so much power in our hands to <laughs> fuck with people on YouTube <laughs> so hard. 
it, I, listen, listen. Like I, you know, I was. We have me I was so much power. I was memeing, but if you wanted to fucking guess like the absolute fuck out of a out of a lot of people, you could do that with this. Like I because because like dude, like again, it, it, a lot of people. I, I'm I'm not that well known, especially on YouTube. Like mm. a lot of people don't know who I am. Like if you want to make a like yeah like a fake fucking video. Like if you want to make a fake like do, like docu documentary like that and just fucking again gaslight like the fuck out of a ton of people, that would that would be unfathomably fucking funny. Right right now, I, I right now I feel like a star baseball player, uh -huh. and <laughs> through a weird series of circumstances, a particularly round dog has come flying through the air while they have a baseball bat in their hand. And they know that they have an opportunity to do something terrible, <laughs> but hilarious. <laughs> I feel like oh, I am no. I, I feel like what I am watching metaphor that, that is. I feel like right now at this moment I am watching uh, that particularly round dog start a pug. start <laughs> to like yeah. Pug. yeah yeah a, a pug yeah it, it's like a particularly round pug I feel like uh, at this moment in time I am looking up like th this this dog is about to reach the height of the arc and I am lifting the bat over my shoulder because I've made a decision. And everybody is looking on in horror from the bleachers. They're like, right, no right, exactly. way he's going to do that. Right, exactly. If, if, like, if, like, nobody thinks I'm actually going to do it until the moment the wood hits that pug. Guys, I... I <laughs> I, I, I really do think, oh, like, no. <laughs> like I, it, this is a meme that we shouldn't let, like, stay a dream, because if no. we, I unironically think if we did this, this would be extremely, like, avant-garde and, like, fucking hilarious. Like, I think this would really would. fucking be, like, like, wow, these people are fucked up. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it would be something that people would, like, remember. Like, it would be... Yes. So, it would be classic. Like, I think that'd be crazy if we did that. <laughs> you know? We... Like, <sighs> we have to. It's like an ARG, almost. You know? It's like one right, of the, Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let... I say we revisit this. Let's there. Yeah, no, there, there is a non-zero chance I get canceled over this, and I am here for it. <laughs> if, if this is what I get canceled for, why would I'm here you get, for it. get canceled over it for for well, lying? Like, people being like he's being irresponsible with with his responsibilities, right? Like people hear his voice and they expect uh -huh. to hear the truth. Oh, we're not gonna. Right. Well, well, it's, it's gonna be. It's not gonna be on your fucking. We wouldn't put it on your actual YouTube channel. I mean, we could. We could put we, it on my secondary we, channel. It, I, if you wanted to, but even. I mean, I. You know, you could get away with that. Maybe. I don't think people would get mad. I think people would be like, I get if it. you do another Warren, if you do another Warrens, like at the end, it would be good. That'd be like a good like way to close it out. Uh huh. Tack it onto a uh, a Warrens. <laughs> Maybe. Fuck this. You seem very disappointed that idea. Maybe, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, maybe. maybe. I can't. I, I, I want it just stand alone. If, if it's, if it's standalone, <laughs> it'll, it'll fuck with more people. Yeah, right? uh, absolutely. Yeah. What if you put a disclaimer at the end of the video? Nah. Right. I, I, no. I, I, I want. <laughs> I, I want. I, I want to. I want someone finding this video to evoke the same feelings as someone finding a like a smashed beaker labeled anthrax <laughs> <gasps> oh my god it, it, you know holy act, shit actually Scummy hybrid is a great idea put uh, re-upload in the title yeah I was thinking <laughs> that's, Fuck, that's so, so good evil dude oh my god that's fucking great <laughs> There's a lot you could take because I remember I was riffing on like, you know, like when I was when I was tripping out, I was riffing on like, you know, the nature of of like fame and like Internet culture and shit. Mm -hmm. So like there's stuff you could just like run with in there, you know, like you could just ex extrapolate that into like the fucking, you know, the theme mm -hmm. of, the of the entire fucking like script, you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, hundred percent. God, we even have footage of him firing guns. 
<laughs> yeah, but like at obviously at a gun range though. No, we need we, we need to obviously. get the clip of him like fire like firing and then turning around and saying that feels good. There's a lot of I, I think that happened a couple of times. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh my God! They get Vinny to do an interview, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he at my funeral, you know. <laughs> Like there's not a day that goes by where I don't Oh my god, could we get him to write like like <laughs> Okay, 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 Th theory, right, you die. <laughs> and then like you and Vinny were writing a song together uh -huh. and and like it, you only write like twenty seconds of it, right? But we play you a use AI to finish it. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I love that. I love that. <laughs> this is what he would have written if he was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just calm, like it just says calm repeatedly, like all the lyrics are calm, are calm related. We used an AI algorithm to determine what Jabroni Mike would have written for the lyrics. And it's just all, right, it's like, all, it's all semen. Right, we, we, fed one, we, we fed 100 hours of Jabroni Mike streams into chat GPT and then asked <laughs> it to finish the song. This mag com opus. Bro, uh, oh my god. Holy fuck. There's there's footage of me being put in a police car. From yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Get your, oh, you could like, do you could get do your something. hands off my penis. You could do something really <laughs> fucked up with all that footage this actually. Is democracy actually. manifest. Yeah, you, you could do something demented with all of that footage, absolutely. Eating yeah, a I, meal? <laughs> oh fuck. You do, yeah, a succulent a succulent <laughs> Chinese meal. <laughs> And are you ready to receive my limp penis? <laughs> I see you know your judo well. Fucking, I love that. That's one of my favorite videos I've ever seen. I think what really caps it off is the dude was completely innocent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They thought he was a big... F I think he was guilty of, like, dining and dashing, but they thought he was, like, a huge fraudster and he just wasn't. That's what it was. <laughs> like, he got their attention and they misidentified him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, when they... Holy... The the, the dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bit with you and Do in the helicopter. Uh huh. It's the, the fucking joystick is moving of its own accord. <laughs> Yo, just, just have that over some, like, with, like, some really haunting fucking, like, music. I'm talking, like, like, Ryan, you remember what you did for, for, uh, for fucking, um, the the uh, the time cube or like temple os like that time. Temple remember OS, temple yeah. remember temple os what you did like near the end of temple boom, os boom. the uh, no, uh, yeah. he's, talk, he's talking about the uh, shepherd tongue yeah yeah that yeah. that 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 type of shit but that's the that, same track yeah. fred come on is it yeah yeah, yeah. no I, I i we're talking about the same track i i, I think the effect yeah. I, I just wanted to specify thing in there. get chills i just wanted to, to specify the effect <laughs> No, Fred's gonna narrate. We can't get chills tonight. No, I'm gonna narrate, yeah. Chills. <sighs> Guys, can I point something I'm, out I'm, to you? Yeah. yeah okay. No, what were you gonna say? Oh, just I was gonna say we need to get back to the video because been... this is quality content, bro. I'm good. This is this is, is better than the video what we're doing right is now. Is twenty two we... minutes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wait six hours. Two minutes in of a six. Almost hour six video. hours. You see why I was? Hey, what's up, Hina? Good to see you. What's up, Hina? Remember how I was saying like. This is why we're never going to watch this whole thing. I also have to pay, so can you uh, hang out with chat while I pay? Yeah, no problem. All right, I'll be right back. So, like, you know, we actually have to do this. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very much up for it. Like, I, I am, I'm not joking. Like, we need, we need to do this. It's amazing, like, there's so much incriminating footage. No, it, it actually is incredible. Like, if if someone wanted to build a case against Mike for literally <laughs> anything, they could do it so easily. Right? Like, like Mike Mike could provide that footage to prove that he that he could not have been at the scene of the crime because he was in Las Vegas, and the jury would still be like, I don't know. <laughs> He's definitely guilty of something. Oh yeah, exactly. Right, like, like yeah, the like there's physical evidence that he could not possibly have been there, but there's something.
<laughs> We're doing society a favor. Right, yeah. By getting Jabroni Mike off the streets. Right, yeah. <laughs> and off Twitch. <laughs> Rehabilitation centers for Twitch streamers. See, if you said something so offensive, his account got banned now. You'd be doing society a favor, Fred. So that wasn't that a challenge. Could <laughs> <laughs> you could, I, I know you could hear the gears turning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, hold on. We have a potential chat. Or I saw that, yeah. Please. Please, Say I beg. penis, please. Your wish is my command. Penis. Bless you. Balls. They're like, dance, composer man. Dude, no, Ryan, I am... Okay, um... I'm back. Hey there. Okay, never mind. I was going to talk. Yeah, well, tell, tell me later when, when Mike can't hear. Oh, great. Okay. I, this is awesome. Awesome. Chat, what were they talking about? You're not going to tell me, are you? You're not going to fucking oh, tell no, me. Oh, no, <laughs> It was just reaffirming. Right. I'll watch the footage. Right. It wasn't worse than anything you've ever done, Mike. That's, listen, there's a lot there. Okay. <laughs> Fred, it, seriously, if you wrote a script and narrated it, I get, we'll get somebody else to edit it. Like, I don't, you, you, I really do think. It's, I think it could be a thing for real. I will know in the script where I want particular clips to be used. Yeah, well, and we'll communicate that. But so you, so yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. to edit it because I know you want to do real things with your time. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, let's move forward with this because it's been Push like the waffle button. two hours. Yeah, fuck. Please. And under delivering on promised features. However, the iterative nature of MMOs such as EVE meant that any missing features could be added later. And because many players were able to test the game early, they could see how many features were being tested and what would likely be available. As promised, the team at CCP were able to meet their release goal and had sent the client to be printed by their partners for physical release in late April. And finally, on May 6th, 2003, players were able to play the final release of the game which featured a total of 5,201 star systems. But those who had participated in the alpha and beta were not novices. Their months spent testing the game had given them significantly more knowledge and experience than those entering New Eden for the first time, and they had spent months strategizing with one another to decide how their first hours, days, and weeks oh my would God. be utilized in There's... order to make the most money and establish their presence most solidly. As a cheeky nod, there, trying to there say is, something yeah, yeah, there is a really funny story. Like I, I can tell it in two sentences. Um, one of these, one of the beta players was uh, playing while a journalist was at CCP, and the journalist was trying to figure out how to play and was just kind of messing around. And as he was doing so, one of the beta players just ran up and 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 fucking shot him with a gun. And, no, no, in game. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's Eve Online. Okay, Anything so like, could have happened. Yeah, just a, a player sees a dude just kind of sitting there in space, and he's like, "Fuck it, I'll shoot him." Uh, and then he got banned, and he was like, "Dude, what the fuck? Why did I get banned?" And then the company's like, "Yeah, that was a journalist, and uh, <laughs> so you just made you just made his first experience in the game not knowing what to do and getting blown up." Sorry about that. Listen, he was a game journalist. He would have blew himself up. <laughs> yeah, deserved. If given Question enough mark? time, you know, he would. <laughs> Holy shit. That's that is that is fucking funny. Yeah, you got you you sh you shot a journalist. Onto their home country, the abbreviation for Icelandic kroner and the game's currency, Interstellar Credits, was the same. Isk Many of the most organized groups scattered away from one another and prepared to lay claim to their own territory. However, they could not simply do so anywhere. EVE's star systems are connected in a web-like pattern with stargates, which may be used to traverse from one star to the next. In the center of this vast web is Empire Space, an area controlled by the non-player oh, Empire. Quick. Something I want to point out, these points are not star systems, they are constellations. So there are many stars within each of those dots. Right, is there's over 5,000. Yeah, this map is fucking huge. I just wanted to emphasize that. Mm. 
players where people may fly their ships in relative Crazy. safety. The safety afforded to players is determined so by... So the, the, the dots are like the clusters. Yeah, star, we're zooming stars. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the we're stars zooming in on one security now. level, mm -hmm. given a rating anywhere between 0 and 1, divided into three basic categories. High security, low security, and null security. Or, as they are typically called, high sec, low sec, and null sec. In high security space, the Empire Police Forces, named Concord, would intervene. You're telling me you can have sex in this game? In any aggression between high players, sex. affording some if level of safety play, in these you areas. Sex. <laughs> high sex, low sex, and of course, if you're playing the game, no sex. <laughs> in contrast, <laughs> aggression would not summon protection in low security space, but the offending players would be granted a suspect status that would make them a target both for players and Empire forces. However, for the groups looking to establish their own presence in space, the most tantalizing area was Nullsec, surrounding Empire space Ghost. in a large ring. Spooky. Here, there were no laws, Just no rules, Halloween. and no protections, other than whatever the players could enforce, and many- and That's where pretty much all the fun stuff happens in this game. Because outside of that, it's all like baby shit, right? Oh no, there's tons of crazy shit that happens in low sec and high sec. Oh, okay, so that- Oh, that's... oh low sec is fucking wild. Well, they, again, you're saying, well, th this is low sec. I'm just, maybe I'm, like, not following. <laughs> well, uh, that that's Empire Space, and Empire Space has high security and low security systems. I was looking at it backwards. But, so the juicy shit happens out, out here. Yeah, when when an that? article is written about EVE Online, it happens yeah. in null sec. Right, it happens. So the white, yeah. the cumby bit. Right, yeah, like, for what, no... what, anything that you have read about EVE Online would yeah. have been about Real null sec. Wilderness. yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> laws, no rules, and no protections, other than whatever the players could enforce. It's like, I'm seeing it, like, as somebody who played UO, like, this is, did anybody, again, I know you're gonna yell at me again and call me a fucking boomer, but, like, eventually, because people were complaining about griefing and, like, PvP and shit, hmm. they, they split, every server in Ultima Online was split into two. I, they called them, I, what did they call them? A, the realms and they were identical versions of the same server they were it was right. feluca and trammel they were called and trammel had no pvp no fucking stealing no fucking it was completely just sanitized experience and feluca is where you know you could just fucking get, get nasty and many were eager to establish is that like themselves a good allegory kind of is that like a good comparison in this new and vast frontier a little bit rich yeah. in the most valuable resources but holding on to these regions would require work and coordination. It's more complicated. And so Indeed. the corporations that had organized before the release of the game began to establish themselves in particular regions of space that they found enticing. The factors involved in these choices varied from proximity. Do you think what you're explaining is a lot of the beta testers had a little bit of a fucking unfair uh, advantage out of the gate? The the game game Empire yeah, I, I, I'd like I'd like you to imagine you, you pick up a new MMO mm. and you're like, all right, I can't wait to like learn this and get into it mm -hmm. and, you know, get better along with everyone and become a veteran. Imagine on day one being like months behind everyone yeah. else. Yeah, not, not fun. Yeah. First though, <laughs> the corporations sucks. people did it. require ships Poor fuckers. to people, buy and equip they, people these adapted. ships. They would need resources right. and money. While the EVE developers wanted to provide a world where the trade of goods was managed almost entirely by players, they realized that in the early stages of the game, no player economy would be established yet, and so they allowed non-player characters to buy and sell some of these commodities in order to stimulate the player Sword economy. Sword Art Online plot point. I actually do think I remember <laughs> that from what, from seeing that anime, right? That is, he was just... Me. They had the, the that that same thing. They probably fucking were inspired by this. This provided an early when they I wrote mean, that yeah. anime. I I mean I probably. really don't. I mean I again, don't forget I exclusively used that anime to fall asleep, and it worked so well. So I don't really remember <laughs> the plot that well. Early but. revenue stream to players who quickly devised a plan to make significant amounts of really capital good for during it. this crucial early stage. This was plan not one of the was based around the I daily server life, downtime, which occurred at 11 a.m. UTC. That's just my opinion. See, 
Andrew Groen <laughs> detailed what he called the merchant races in his seminal work on the history of New Eden named Empires of Eve. Quote, Back in the earliest days of Eve, one of the best ways to make money was by buying and selling commodities in different markets across the game. Later, right. Eve would place all of its emphasis on a player-controlled market, but in the early days, players could buy items and wares from characters in stations all over the mm -hmm. game and then sell them elsewhere. Wild that NPCs were eventually removed from the equation. Like there are still right. NPCs there are. around for yeah. stuff like missions, yeah, where okay. um, which which provides uh, more is to people, mm -hmm. but this sort of thing uh, disappeared. Wow. Yeah. What resulted was a daily series of early morning races along the most profitable trade routes. Merchants would log in as quickly as possible after the server came back on. You know, there was some significant. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm going to say, right, Ryan? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Would place Fuck. all of it. Why is YouTube being dog shit right now, dude? Come on. Uh, you're in you, a good spot, yeah. Fucking Scott, damn it, Along YouTube. Along the most profitable <laughs> trade routes. Merchant. There was some significant fucking meme potential here. Digital Hama, it's all Fred's videos. That's what he did. Look at that. Per cat oh, cafe. There. Look at that. The, there. There, there is, um, yeah. Where's there, Wolfcock? There some, Where's there. Wolfcock? Oh, there, there, there's some stuff in there. Like, take take a close look. Channel awesome, right? Deep blue oh. furry research. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the one on the right too. Which one? Where? where? To the right of furry research. Uh, uh, Fred Frederick Nude. So Nude. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dark side Phil. Mother horse eyes. Plague doctor Henry Darger. Oh, oh, also, yeah. you, you, you like the mistakes folder? Where's that? Yeah. Where's that? No. <laughs> Hold on. Where? Can't see. It's like the biggest folder on the whole passed over desktop. All right. I'm so stupid. Where? Uh, I can't. Second from the left, uh, fifth one down. <laughs> what do you mean the biggest folder? They're all the same size. I mean, in, in terms of capacity, Mike. In, oh, oh, like in terms of size, so where do you, where are you seeing fucking folder sizes? Second column. It, it, it's a joke, Mike. It's not it's real. A, uh, <laughs> he's he's Christ. What Empress Teresa? Oh, mistakes. Here. It's off center. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Okay, I love that. I'm in. I'm. You, brain. I'm in that folder. I'm in there. I'm right in that. He. That's where. That's where. He keeps me right in the mistakes folder. <clears throat> oh, log up. in as quickly oh, as possible after the server came back online from the daily maintenance shutdown and fly down the. Imagine being able not being able to comprehend file size simply from simply from looking at the folder. Trade routes to the most profitable destinations. End quote. Trading was far from the only profession that players were looking to exploit. There's a text the file with a link to Mike's to Twitch channel in that folder. In <laughs> were a limited resource. And so, upon the release of the game, players scrambled to buy these factories as quickly as possible. However, there was an issue. Due to its worldwide release, players in the UK were able to purchase the yeah, get copies of the game before anyone else, Not and fair. therefore, they could buy the factories much earlier than anywhere in the world. Mm. These buyers were feeling a intergalactic tea party coming on here. More than just colonizing those factories. Feeling a bit <laughs> getting the urge to throw some tea out the airlock right now. Industrialists. Many of the factories <laughs> had been purchased by real estate speculators, hoping to sell these factories for a higher price with no intention of constructing ships. Fucked According up. to early player Ramin Shakrazad, quote, Within days of the retail launch, all factories had been bought up and idled by speculators who were charging $300 to $400 per factory wow. without any way of knowing if they really owned the factory or not. Fucking open sea vibes, bro. And oh, oh, yeah. Straight up. If speculators were idling the factories, then that meant fewer. What's up, hacker? Probably for not, ships, realistically. Restricting hacker. players from accessing Somebody. the core mechanics of the game. This illustrated two challenges that the developers of EVE now faced. 
managing a complicated economy to keep the game fun and interesting, and struggling against the black market. Black market economies for MMOs like EVE are not only common, but inevitable. While developers typically will include you, clauses Hacker. in their terms of service that stipulate against it, players are... It's Ultima. It's Ultima. Yeah. I, I, um, I, I was using Ult Ultima as an example, uh, mm -hmm. just because like uh, Ultima had a black market like early yeah. on. It was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. contemporary. Ultima's economy is actually like fascinating because it just went insane. Right. So, yeah. I, I remember I remember something that was really contentious in the game when I played it was real estate. I remember right, what, what had yeah. happened because because the map had you know limited land, and they weren't about making new land for the players. So it was like it became. I think at one point they did, but it was like there were some really like strict rules about placing buildings down because the way it worked is like you bought a deed and then you could use the deed to place a building somewhere. But like you know, I mean, the map ran out of space, and then people were like buying houses from each other with real money i don't know how i did i i don't think the like, metaverse <laughs> yeah no on i on ironically that was a i um I remember I ended up with the house, but I think what had Mary. happened was I, I did it with uh well, what's up Mary? Good to see you, ma'am. Hey Mary. I, I punch yourself in the balls today. I um... uh, FYI, <laughs> F F FYI, yeah. um Mary is the person who put together um the uh the VTubing group that I'm in. Astral the, the line, yes, yes, for those yep. of you who didn't know. They're also a very talented artist who um, is a really VTubing enjoys, group. Really enjoy no train line. CBT or is brand so of lube. So I've heard. Uh, I think yeah, I did. Yeah. No, they did. Oh yeah, I I did tell you that story. Astraline makes my ass all slippery. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to say was the I I was able to buy a house, but I think I did it with in-game currency. But a lot of people were were like. You know, I bought like a really small unit, and what what struck me about it, like I, I this the, the thing that stays with me is finding out like where my house was gonna be and going there, and it was like just some big open field in like an irrelevant part of the map where like you know there used to be spawns of of like wild creatures, but now it was just fucking vivarium. Because it was like, there was just like plots, like I did, I, I feel like some crazy motherfucker must have bought a bunch of, um, uh, like deeds to houses and then placed them down with the intent of like reselling them because it really did just look like American suburbia in like, but it was like, you know, little castles and shit, I you know, love in a fucking the, MMO. I, I love the idea of white flight in Ultima Online. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I swear to God, that's like, you nailed it. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm, what I'm fucking saying. And it was like, I was like, well, this is kind of lamer than I thought it was going to be. Like, I'm surrounded by identical houses. Like, this is just, it's just like fucking, I don't know. This, Get this, off of my lawn. It's just an American, it's just an, I'm just sitting in an American suburb in a, in a fucking fantasy game. You know, it's, it's fucking dragons flying around, but it's the same shit. I hear other MMOs have the same problems, though. Like, I feel like there's, I heard there's a similar issue happening in, in, um, in Final Fantasy 14. But yeah, I think what actually happens in Final Fantasy 14 is um and I and I think this is the play because just like in real life what ends up happening is the map becomes ugly as shit. Like that's not aesthetically pleasing at all. Right. You know, and then like you know you're, you you know and say you don't even own one of those houses and you're just adventuring, you know. You're you're a fucking regular dude trying to have a little fantasy adventure and you're going through the woods and you know you're fighting some like you know ophidians or whatever or orcs orcs and shit. And then like you stumble upon, you know, I don't know like 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 fucking uh, what was it called? Like like Tempe, Arizona, or some shit. So like, <laughs> oh look, oh look, I'm in fucking Scottsdale, Arizona. This is cool. Really takes you the fuck out of the Rendon, experience. Washington. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it really takes you takes you out of the fucking experience. But I think in 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 Final, I'm, I'm fascinated by this shit. If you can't tell, especially as somebody who had a real estate license in, in real life at one point, in Ultima Online, mm, they yeah. or not Ultima Online, Final Fantasy 14, they had pre determined like there's a city and there's like condos so there's a building you have a building with a room right mm -hmm. and they let you go and it doesn't look like shit like they did it right right fettuccine we're like you go but i mean yeah but, but that's still limited supply 
So you end up with, you know, really, really fun. You have, you have a fucking real estate bubble. You have a fucking massive real estate bubble because as long as the player base continues to grow and the fucking, you know, the, the amount of housing doesn't, I, I think it's fucking fascinating. If you can't tell, I'm fucking... It's it's I, really interesting to me, like Mike. I, I think I think you are going estate, to be right? you're going to be really interested in this game because like so much of this, uh, uh, so much of this uh, of the stuff I talk about in yeah. this video yeah. is tied to the management of the in-game economy. Yeah, there's no um, real estate in in Eve Online, though. Are you fucking kidding me? No, there's no houses. No, like, Right. The, the, well, the, there's you can make your own. You can, they eventually inter, they quickly introduce posses. We're going to get to it soon. All right, I'm sorry. The, his, his translation, Mike, shut the fuck up and click play. No, it, I'm right? actually excited. <laughs> I'm excited that you're interested in this. Oh, yeah, because absolutely. this is exactly the kind of thing that I talk about in this video. Yeah, like, good, good. I, I'm starting to think like maybe this actually is a video made for you, right? I knew it was when you when you told oh. me the concept of it before you <laughs> fucking before you did a single ounce of research. I knew I was gonna fucking gab have an erection for this. Oh, they want captions yeah. again. Yeah, sorry. When did that on caption? I don't know. I'm deterred from trading in-game assets for real-world currency, and the consequences for doing so only tend to involve an easily circumvented ban, which is only implemented if they're caught. And so, many of the factories intended to fabricate ships for players remained dormant upon the release of the game. But this was far from the only problem that new players faced. Those who purchased EVE Online with little foreknowledge the were met with a game of full of promise, mm. yet strangely, empty. Played primarily through various menus, it was difficult for new players to decipher what their next steps would be. What's more, Starfield. the game world was almost preposterously massive, especially for the time, and players were spread thinly across New Eden. But according to Hilmar Pedersen in an interview for Down the Rabbit Hole, this was in part by design. Quote, Eve is about people sailing into the starry night in ships. That's sort of the inception story of Iceland, Vikings escaping taxation from Norway and hoping that there's a new land somewhere. That's what happened? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold I on, actually... Hold on, hold, hold, hold on a fucking second. Mm. Vikings had taxes? Oh, yeah. Why didn't they just fucking go put an axe in the skull of whoever was taxing them? Well, the, like the the raiders were only like a, a small, limited portion of the men. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm very vague on my Viking history. They used to seize parts of the like the UK. Well, we, before there was England, even they used well, to seize parts of the country and right. hold on to it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You're like well, Norway, Norway, and like that area had some pretty sophisticated political systems. Yeah. Well, they, they. I'm saying. I, I'm saying they did the taxing on other people. Like they, they, they did it. They taxed. Wow. Okay. The ships belong to the nobles. The ships didn't belong to like the raiders. Really. I, I, my I, Viking, I, I, I know. Thought, like I thought Vikings were just like. I didn't think they were that organized. I thought they were just like. Everybody was for themselves. They just went out there and fucking just. You know, oh, if you no. were, I'm, I'm Danish. You're Danish. You know, let's do this together. Let's. Let's invade England no, together, um, you know, I thought. No, ra raiding was a very sophisticated practice in terms of finance. Yeah. Not necessarily, I, like, unorganized, but, like, I don't know. I, 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 I You know what? I'm going to tell you exactly. I am, always imagined Vikings like pirates. That's the problem. Okay. That's the no, problem. Well, yeah. Right. I, I see what you're saying. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. This was, like, a very institutionalized thing, mm -hmm. like, raiding for the Vikings. Wow. Although, I From don't the want to extend myself... Top. I don't want to extend myself too far because the person that we really should be asking about this is Alfie. Mm, Alfilda. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I met her She's at TwitchCon, the right? Yeah, yeah. Um, isn't, isn't she lovely? Um, she's fucking awesome. Oh, my God. Like, she's awesome. No, oh, I had yeah. so much no, fun I... hanging out with her, dude. We absolutely should all stream together soon. And now that the Eve video is yeah. out, I, I can do shit. He can do shit. Finally, his mm -hmm. ass can produce feces. This is no, so exciting. Yeah. Dude, I can uh, release it all. I've been, like, anti-batching. so constipated. Anti-batching. 
<laughs> so they they fucking all right. The point was they went to Iceland to evade tax. I thought they went to Iceland because fuck it. I don't know. I thought they went there like because that's what they did. You know, they you know fucking immigrant song. You know, like I thought. They, <laughs> they, they as well go where you want to go that way. All right. It was, they, they did it to do it. That's what I I always thought. You, you can know, just because it was cool. They did it because it was cool. Imagine being on a quiet Actually, ocean um, in the night. While Ryan and I were there, we got to go to uh, Thingfilir. What's that? Uh, my my very impressive. Is probably that. Thank you for uh, saying. Thank you for saying the word. Thingfilir. Yeah. Um. I. After after listening to it so much, right? I feel like the R. I, I understand the R a little better. Um, it, it's basically a, a place where they had their first uh, meetings because Iceland had one of the earliest democracies in the world, mm -hmm. which is really like just fascinating. The politics of Iceland is fascinating. It's got to be for a, a land of so few people, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, those those ten guys doing democracy, right? Fucking. Looking at the night sky, sailing on a Viking. You know what? Either you watched The Last Kingdom. I, I watched the first series. Mm -hmm. I kind of liked I, it. I, I burnt out on it a bit. You didn't like it. It, it, it gave it another chance. It's pretty. I don't know. I thought it was fun. I liked it. Jeff. Eve definitely has those kinds of feelings. It tries to be. It tries to way. be historically accurate in a way you might appreciate. I think that that, feels, that thing about Iceland yeah. was 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 uh, was depicted in in the show at one point. Mm, what were yeah. you saying, Ryan? Sorry, I, it feels sort of somewhere between like a, a historical show and like Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, it's no, it's it's total, it, it, it's total like you know it's schlock. Like it's definitely fucking schlock. But it, I feel like it, it, there, there is. I feel like there's an effort to make it yeah. reflect, somewhat reflect real events. You know? And so the inception of the game and the country are not far apart. Iceland is this place that really wants to kill you. <laughs> you get the very distinct feeling of that when you're a child growing up there. There's volcanoes, there's lava, there are earthquakes, there are freezing gale yeah, winds yeah. unpredictably any month of the year. It's a That's very really remarkable. Hostile. Even the food's trying the to kill ground. you all the time, right? The rot, the, the fucking food was... shark and shit. I think that's... Food's trying to fucking kill you too. Sorry. The food was like sometimes it. You can tell they don't get some things in Iceland. Like they have to uh, ship them in. Yeah. Because yeah, some yeah. things you're you're very used to are very expensive. One of the most remarkable things is like the ground is just like rocks mm. with like rocks that have punched <laughs> their way through the rocks. <laughs> like it feels so Holy unstable. God. It's like Rock, a, it's like another planet. In in in, in, in Prometheus, in Prometheus, I think they filmed in Iceland uh -huh. to. Um, to uh, as a, as like an alien planet. I don't quote me yeah. on that, but when I was watching Prometheus, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Iceland. Yeah, I remember it. the scenes you talk the outdoor scenes you're talking about. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, where it's just yeah, it's like I don't do. Do they grow anything there? Can they? Is there uh, any arable have... land there, like at all? Is there... They have. Well, is, like, isn't the volcanic ash? And... Is, isn't the volcanic ash like like good for fucking crops? The, or something? the problem's the weather. It's the yeah, okay. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Cold, it's it, fucking cold. The, the, Something that's very eerie about Iceland is just like like trees, any trees are an invasive species. Yeah, they don't have like there's like no fucking trees out there. It is very do you remember I know that this is very specific, but do you remember in Mass Effect the toxic planets that you could land on? I, I didn't play a lot of Mass Effect. Okay. Um I was just gonna say the um a lot of the expanses of land look a lot like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that stranding uh, they was supposed to be the United States, but it did look a lot like I, what I imagine Iceland looks like. Environment. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they did Eve that. Eve but... like that. It has the toughest environment, but to some extent, the nicest people. I, why do I not buy that? People in Iceland are nice because we've been forced to learn how to cooperate, because the people who didn't cooperate are already frozen to the ground. Eve is kind of like that. It forces you to cooperate with others, because alone you can't really achieve your full potential in Eve. It pushes you to connect with others. There are aspects of the game that almost intentionally make you feel lonely when you're alone. And that creates the foundation of the friendship machine, as we call it. This forced cooperation due to the hostileness of the environment and, later on, other players. 
that has created a very strong bond between people that play together in the game. End quote. This forced cooperation manifested as new players quickly gathering together for safety in this alien game world. While numerous small corporations endeavored to eventually take and hold Nullsec territory, it was much easier in this early stage for players to base their operations in Empire space and venture out into Nullsec to gather valuable resources from these unprotected systems, then return with a haul and sell or utilize what they gathered. But with so many players traveling through Nullsec, a clear method of generating profit emerged, one that played into the fantasies of many science fiction enthusiasts. Piracy Traveling together in small bands, pirates began roving the common lanes that miners and traders would take from Empire Space through Nullsec, seeking quarries. To do so, pirates would designate one or more of their group members to act as a tackler tasked with ensnaring their target, and to do so, they would outfit their ship with specific modules. First was the stasis webifier, which, when applied to a target, would reduce their speed, making it nearly impossible to evade weapons fire. Second, and most important in a pirate's arsenal, was the Warp Disruptor, which, true to its name, would prevent a ship from entering faster than light travel and escaping. Both of these components would be placed in the mid-power slots, making the tackler more vulnerable than its compatriots, and so, it would rely upon its allies while engaging a target. This, however, would often be unnecessary, as traders and miners were frequently unfamiliar with combat, making them easy prey. To counter so this it's created a need for, like, bodyguards. Act this, these That's where this is going, yeah. players would chart new routes and learn tricks to evade pirates, initiating an ever-evolving game of cat and mouse. An early player named Night Freeze recounted this their experience. This is one of the things I really wanted you to hear. Uh, all right. This yeah, next part. Because this is, uh, yeah, this is really compelling shit right here, right? Her Thank first you. trading run, shipping goods that they had bought with weeks worth of isk. Quote, At the time, I naively believed that any security rating above 0.0, .0 would be safe because nobody would be ballsy enough to dare provoke the wrath of the 5-0 in space. I turned out to be wrong. I knew that something was wrong when my- When they say 5-0, what do they mean? No, oh, the 5-0, the police. They, like they, the Hawaii 5-0. So, so they, they mean- and are those players or are those NPCs? NPCs. Okay, like if you do anything to, you know, so when you're in that protected space, there will be, and you, and you commit an act of aggression, fucking these NPCs spawn and will kill you. They'll blap you, yeah. Shift started to beep, and a red target lock cursor appeared in the horizon with the name Deathbringer. The beeping accelerated, and a so red the, 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 square... the fucking pirate raids sound almost like boss raids in like World of Warcraft, but like PvP, because you have you have to coordinate with like multiple people. It sounds like. Well, this right? is just individuals being this caught, is... okay. calling shit. Okay, right, okay, like, but, but like, again, the pirate crew, like, you have multiple people. Like, you just explained that you have the oh, guy. Oh, yes. Who, yeah. I see what you're saying. I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about coordination. Yeah, which is yeah. awesome from that perspective, too, you know. Oh, yeah. It, it, gets, it gets way more intense. ...around my ship. Since I hadn't even bothered trying to fight a training pirate yet, I had no idea what the hell was going on. He sent a message to me. 250k or die. I responded to him, okay, <laughs> the sweat dripping down my armpits past my side and accumulating in a little puddle at the edge of my shirt. Five or more seconds must have passed as I fumbled for the micro warp drive hotkey, and just as they started to warm up, the first missile slammed into my ship. The warp gate was 15,000 meters away, I had to be within 800 meters to pass through it, and I was currently flying at about 300 meters per second. And where did you find this 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 account? Just digging. It was like People on a forum each somewhere? Uh, this is a personal website that's still being kept up. Okay. A second missile exploded against the hull, bringing down my shields and tearing apart my hull. 
I knew that if one more missile hit me, my ship would be nothing more than space debris, and this f who couldn't even spell death correctly <laughs> would have access to all I had worked for. Yeah. Come on, you f pieces of sh I shouted at the monitor. My dog started to bark in the background, but I could barely hear it. The only thing that mattered was the gate, because I knew that if I had lost that cargo, all my week's worth of hard work and all my finely tuned bull it would be down the drain. Whoosh! I hadn't used the you have small pinor micro warp drive since the <laughs> night before and forgot about just how powerful they were. <laughs> I was now shooting toward the warp gate at three and a half kilometers per second, and all Deathbringer had to account for his two expensive missiles was a trail of dust. If you're reading this right now, Death, I'd like to give you a hearty f**k you. I arrived at the specified starbase in the Galente region, my ship battered and bruised, and my ego several sizes smaller. I sold the computer hardware for a total of 3.7 million credits. The whole repairs amounted to 100k. I felt my heart with my left hand. It was still pulsing rapidly, and the realization that I had netted 600,000 credits in 25 minutes, along with a healthy dose of action, sent it shooting up even further. I did several more trade routes that morning, and by 9am, my credit count read 5,780,000 credits. Gamer. End quote. No matter what tricks were discovered, yeah, the sweat was uh, prophetic. However, right? piracy <clears throat> remained a lucrative trade due to the heavy traffic in the lanes used to haul ore. Because of the distances involved in transporting ore from Nullsec to Empire. Wow, that sounds like a lot of credits. You kidding me, dude? And you know what? He didn't pay for a single one. Yo, he used the fucking the promo <laughs> code Lucky Triple Seven, and now he's got a 3.7 million <laughs> credit power level. Fuck okay, off. that he can use. All right, to get all the Isn't ladies the and the accolades at work. You know, right? He's fucking. Ready to roll, and dude. Little safe He's way to store it during the process, a mining operation would often consist of one mining ship to pull the ore from the asteroids, and five or more transport ships to haul it back to Empire Space. And those are all players. Like, that's yes. not, you know, yes. those aren't NPC um, cargo ships. Like, that's somebody, you need a person to do that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mike, finally able to drop in. Do you think you could start from the beginning for me? Thank you. <laughs> All of which were easy targets. <laughs> go, Soon. you know what? Here, go and watch it. Right? Yeah. Like, I like, mean, like, hang out here while we're watching it, but then go and watch it on YouTube. Well, guys, when the, when the stream's I done. will even link it. Hold on. I'm going to give you a link. To the video. No, like, don't watch here. it now. We're 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 watching I mean, together, like, later, together right if now. If you wanna, but, yeah. yeah. If you wanna, it'd be cool if you could hang out. Oh, by the way, I'm live streaming this to YouTube as well. If anybody here is watching on YouTube, stop being a penis, stop being a boner head, and come on over <laughs> to the, the 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 Twitch channel and hang out with everybody. <laughs> Chats, you know. They're, 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 I don't. I don't. They, they don't look contagious tonight. I could be wrong, but... Piracy was lucrative enough for the first pirate gangs to lay claim to territory in Nullsec. Outfitted with various combat ships, they moved into the most valuable star systems, seeking flighty mining and transport ships. On occasion, groups of pirates would find trade routes frequented by the more economy-minded players and perform one of the most feared and most obnoxious practices to those in Empire space. A gate camp. Essential for transit between systems, Stargates also acted as choke points for players to exploit, as there only ever is one linking two systems together. And so, pirates would often wait at these combined ingress and egress points in low security space, waiting for unsuspecting players to appear and destroying their ship, sometimes before they could even load the new system. Eventually, Gross. CCP were yeah. forced to add auto turrets onto stargates to prevent routes from being blockaded for long stretches of time. <laughs> In the months following the release of the game, CCP was also able to address the issue of those who had bought factories for resale by a relatively simple method. 
In order to keep a factory, the player holding it would be forced to pay a regular maintenance fee for it, relative uh, to the amount yeah, of shit. money that could potentially be made from yeah, its Yeah, there you go. In essence, Dicks. a land value tax. <laughs> Just as in the real world, mm -hmm. this made the factories a significant financial burden to speculators who weren't using them, mm -hmm. leveraging the speculators to either begin producing yeah, ships or, or sell the factories stop. to yeah. someone right. who would. Yeah, in yeah. short order, the factories were serving their intended purpose. Serving? The game hadn't oh, oh. even been live for three months, and already CCP was being forced to adjust their game to contend with the space game enthusiasts, notorious for exploiting any system that they could as a part of their fun. Just for fun, fun yeah, just take, how can we... <laughs> how can we break this completely? Yeah. Right? Like how, oh, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Empty. And then the and then like the cat and mouse between those people and the developers like like you know is 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 interesting too right like having to add those turrets to the portals and to complete oh the yeah um, the, the system they have now mm -hmm. um is pretty good um when you arrive you are cloaked and invulnerable okay um uh, for like a minute okay so it it basically just gives you time to load and yeah, it, yeah. it's and, a and simple solution figure out like what's happening around you and, yeah, the, yeah the moment you do anything you lose that invulnerability and in cloaking but mm -hmm. did for That's the fair. game maybe and these Moral. new systems promise to create even more unforeseen and perhaps unmanageable problems all right yeah where are we gonna go now fred all right so that's section two that's section two. Uh, section three. What does section three have? Oh, I discovered, oh. by the way, one of the main political parties in Iceland is the Pirate Party. Oh, yeah? That's what it's called? Yeah. The and platform they're... is based on pirate politics and direct democracy. <laughs> it's... That's your dose of politics for this uh, stream. It's based on just going back to, like, you know, traditional Viking behavior and just... Right. Throwing off the modern world, you know. Kind of, let me pull up the script. Rejection. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, what we can... Okay. This is the problem I ran into. I actually tried to trim down this script, and I couldn't. Like, yeah. I... This is, by far, the densest script I have ever written. I do, like... If, if you told me to truncate my script... I wouldn't know where to trim. Yeah, there's like, a reason I it's six do hours. No, right. Like, it, like I didn't make it six hours because I felt like having a big e penis, right? <laughs> like, it's six hours because it fucking has to be. Well, yeah, while uh, you do that, Fred, can I suggest we do Katia says? Is that how I say, say, say it properly? Katia say, yeah. Good, that's a good section. That's I mean, like, we we also could just do this again another time. Well, let me ask you a question. In your own work, because I've been, I you, you explained this to me at one point, but I don't really remember like what you said because I'm fucking stupid. Um, why didn't you do this video in two parts? Why why uh, why was it why was it not two three hour videos? Hours. Fuck. YouTube um, reasons, YouTube fuckery reasons. YouTube reasons. That, that, that's yeah. one of the reasons. Um, the the main reason, I don't know if it's the main reason. Just one of the reasons is because splitting views between parts tends to be disadvantageous on YouTube. You mm -hmm. would rather have the views concentrated so that it pushes it in the algorithm more. Absolutely, that um, makes sense. The other, like, also, there are a lot of people who just like long videos, mm -hmm. right? Like having one long video, everything is in one place. And ch and the chapter system also sort of makes breaking it up into mm -hmm. pieces mm -hmm. unnecessary. Um, okay. Because you can also, like, just leave and come back. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it also, like, YouTube has done a lot to make it easier to get through long videos without losing your place. It'll save your place. And that works Decently what about well in the sense in the of having a you know like a less of a time gap between videos published on the channel is that a, is that because i feel like that might be a concern for a youtuber sort of but like the problem that i run into then is that Everything in this video, everything that I wrote 
builds off of what came before it on mm -hmm. su in such a fundamental way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that if I were to release part one and then a month later release part two, people would forget what happened in part one. They'd start part two. They'd say, I'm confused, then click away and leave. Absolutely. Okay, that makes sense. Or they wouldn't click it at all. Or they just wouldn't bother. Yeah, like I yeah. can't remember what happened in part one, so fuck it. Right, like I'm, I'm not going to keep doing this. Um, mm -hmm. Also, also, just kind of personal taste reasons. Personal like taste I, reasons. I would. The way I have my channel set up, I have my channel set up, kind of like, almost like a coffee shop. Right, like you walk up to the wall, right? Like a fancy coffee shop. Mm. You walk up to the wall, you look at all of the different <laughs> put, coffees, put the, and you're like, I yeah. want this one. And it's the right? one like, with the synthetic semen in it. Right, right exactly. Mm. Right. Like I want monk shit tea. Like okay. I want monk yeah. shit tea today. And so there's a like there's a con one container for each one. Easy to figure it out. I want this one right now. Yeah. So I'm going to like pick it up and grab it. You don't have to worry about like assembling it. Right? Like, I have to, oh, where do I start? Okay, I need to start here. Uh, no, it's just, I want to learn about Per Cat Cafe. Okay, click on the video then. Not like Per Cat, you don't want like Per Cat Cafe and then like Per Cat Cafe, like exotic blend or some dumb shit. Right. Yeah. Well, also, yeah, ima yeah. imagine someone gets recommended Per Cat Cafe Part 4. Right? Like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go digging for Part 1. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I right. guess, oh, no, I'm gonna have sense. to find the playlist. Okay, yeah. well, where's the playlist tab? Oh, ultimately, oh, well, but maybe, I, maybe I'll. I know you maybe did I'll this just... correctly. I just wanted to hear. I want to hear it in your own words. But I knew no, that, you made that's the right. Fine. I knew you made the right choice. No, my, that, that. One of my favorite YouTube comments, Fred, is um, somebody commented in one of the videos I did music for, and they were like, "You should credit the composer who wrote the music," and you'd credited me in the description and a pinned comment, and in the probably video <laughs> itself. <laughs> Right. And in the video yeah, itself. And in the video no, itself. Like, yeah, you're always in the, like, I always credit you in the video. Yeah, so. and it's just like, people, people, it's, and it's probably because like, YouTube, I'm going to say it's really stupid, but YouTube's like quite a complicated thing to look at. There's a lot of buttons and stuff. Uh -huh, so you can uh -huh. easily miss things like that. <laughs> but you know, you, you can, you can miss little things and people just like, don't find stuff on there. Ryan, have you seen my emote um, that we have there that, well, I mean, like, this is, okay, but that's not, like, a YouTube viewer-oid, you know, it's a chat toid, but I think it... Chat. They, they would, you know, they wouldn't have a pencil, they'd pick up something that you couldn't write with. Mm -mm. So you don't have my saying, chat open, do you? And, and actually, I do, I, oh, I you, do see you, see, you see them? Okay. To, well, to yeah. that point, actually, um, someone in chat uh, mentioned, like, in terms of trimming, I, I, they mentioned that I repeat some facts, and it's like, yeah... Be, the, the reason that I repeat some facts is because it became relevant. I counted. I counted at one point. There, like most of my videos, have maximum two narrative threads. Usually just one. This video, I counted at one point. There are, what was it, eleven, <laughs> thirteen, like. Oh, like that, that's why oh, this video God. kind of jumps around right like there are a bunch of different narrative threads happening at the yeah. same time and then they they happen parallel to one another and then they intersect and they affect one another and then we get to see how both of these narrative threads are affected by what happened yeah uh, wild. It, this wild. script was fucking complicated yeah and i knew if i as the writer was struggling with it you bet your asshole that i'm going to have to re-describe some things yeah to just to refresh people's memory. Funny you called him George R. R. Martin. I made a similar comment about him once. What? Yeah, he's the, the, I said you were the George R. R. Martin of like fucking video, YouTube video essays. No, but I actually release shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like people shit, can pe people will complain that it's taken me a long time to make a video, but I at least I eventually release it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you're not like I need to put out like one more video after this and I'm done. Right. Right. <laughs> right yeah. No. Like. Oh my god. It's the like, number. The I, number I don't plan to live that long. <laughs> the 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 number of dickheads who are just like Fred started VTubing. He's quit YouTube. Yeah. It's like, what the.
you like i i just want again gently take them by the shoulders and say you know that people can do more than one thing yeah right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like like why the fuck are you playing like hey hey mike hey mike why are you playing guitar you're yeah, a drummer yeah. are you yeah. just gonna quit drums now mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like are you never gonna drum again <laughs> 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 Never gonna drum again. I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people, but yeah. Like, um, hey, I can do multiple things. Not when you. This is what. Oh yeah, oh. right. Trigoli ravioli. No, that no, anyway. No, we're gonna. We're not even gonna. Not when this you. This is ha- what that Weezer song was about. You know, that's. This is what that Weezer song was about. Which one? Yeah, buddy, Buddy Holly. It's like, what have we done to make these people so violent? Well, right. you're, you know, um, it's the audience, right? Like they tend to be entitled. You, you have entitled. Again, there's just I, I think <laughs> that yeah, it's entitled uh, YouTube viewers. They just, I don't know, they feel like uh, a certain weird degree of like weird possession over you and what you do, and when it feels threatened, they get emotional in weird ways. That, yeah. That's that's the only right. way. I mean, like it's it's um, it's bizarre, if you ask yeah. me. But um, sorry, I interrupted. Well, I, I you. think it's... Like, I just wanted to talk about Weezer. Go on. No, you're you're <laughs> fine. You're <laughs> fine. I well, I mean, we've talked about this before, right, Mike? Yeah. Um, because creators frequently are not perceived by the audience to be humans. Right. Like the, it, it's not even that they are dehumanizing mm-hmm. creators. It's that the thought never occurred to them in the first place. Mm-hmm. They they see the content, they consume the content, they figure, oh, the thing, like, it comes from a, th- like, this content comes from a thing named Frederick Knudsen, Frederick yeah. Knudsen. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess, like, and when that thing isn't producing, yeah. you you have, like, you go and inspect what's wrong. And you yell at it to get like because you're angry, right? Like mm-hmm. you're the thing that produces the thing I like. Where's the thing I like? Yeah, right. Like I, I, I don't think it's malicious because ma- like oftentimes, sometimes it's malicious. Oftentimes, it's not even malicious because in order for it to be malicious, you have to you have to conceive of the person as a person in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which they never did. Right. Uh-huh. And I, I think I think that it is encouraged by our by the way that we consume media nowadays. We are very divorced from the creator. In some ways, we are much closer to the creator because of social media. Mm-hmm. But in other ways, because because social media is at once like accessible, but creates that distance. It it is to some extent dehumanizing. Yeah. Because now they, this person is just text on like text on a screen that I can interact with. All right. All right. Although in the case of George R. R. Martin, it's like, bro, it's been 10, 12 years. That's probably and, a little excessive. And and then he tweets about like, you know, oh boy, did you see the Packers at the Super Bowl? <laughs> and it's like motherfucker i do not want to see you tweeting about football right now i i i feel like again it's like and and again i know he's a person but 12 years i hate to be that guy you know he's doing other shit. Yeah, I know he's doing other shit. I want to. I don't want it again. I I I understand where they're coming from, but he. They, but then they. But then they get. I don't know. They get shitty. Also, you know, he's like, like I, really old as well, and we're yeah, we're gonna be right, yeah. before he finishes the oh, fucking I, series. Yeah, yeah, yep. It, it is. It is kind of funny that he seems to approach finishing his series with as much impetus as a fan fiction writer <laughs> yeah well i think i think him seeing like the tv show fail at the end so spectacularly has probably put a bit of pressure on him right oh my god mm. what if this was the plan all along maybe 
Maybe. What, what if the idea was like partway through they're like George R. R. Martin isn't going to finish this without l us lighting a fire under his ass. Let's fuck up the show uh, that to encourage work. him to finish the book. I actually see it as the like, next level play. If I if a, if I put myself in the situation, the failure of the show, like the absolute fucking you know like aviation disaster of that would have actually disincentivized me from wanting to finish it. Like, yeah. I, I, if, it, if it were me, I'd feel like, you know what? The story's been told. Um, it's been told in a, in a way, a disgraceful fucking way. And I actually, like, I'm disgusted, and it makes me not want to continue working on this. Maybe. There's that. I don't know. That's a possible way he's feeling. You know, right. Like uh, this series is now tainted. Yeah, exactly. Like even if I continue writing the, these books, it's like, I don't know. They, they, they aborted my baby. Like what the fuck even someone said, what show are we talking about? And then another chatter replied, total drama Island. <laughs> 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 Such a fucking epic chat moment right there. That's that. <laughs> that, 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 rules. that rules. That fucking rules. Is it a real show? Help me. I'm, I, don't, I don't watch TV. Is it real? <laughs> what? Total Drama Island does exist. Yeah. yeah no, it exists. Yeah. It's like some shitty cartoon network. It's a cartoon. Oh, uh, it's okay. like a fuck. It's, it's just to be like a reality show. No, nah, it's like a cart. It's a cartoon, right? Chat That's a great idea for a reality show. Shakespearean actors mm -hmm. living in a house on an island together, <laughs> and you vote out your least favorite. You know, Benedict Who's Cumberbatch, that? Patrick um, Stewart, Patrick Stewart, absolutely. Um, and then um, Helen. And Helen then there's a special rule, however, that if any of the actors, when voted off, say et tu brute, they are immediately stabbed to death. <laughs> they act, literally stab them. <laughs> literally stabbed to death. Yeah. Olivia Coleman, that's a good one. Fuck I, like you, I, I like that. Oh, that's fucking great. Dame Judy Dench. The Dench, dude. Get um. Oh my god, David Tennant. Yeah, David Tennant. And you just have that one guy, Skull, who's uh, Yorick in, like, all the productions since the 1930s. They reuse the Skull. It's it's a real guy, Skull. He When Stop. he was an actor, when he died, he was like, I want my Skull to be made into Yorick. And how long have they been using his Skull? A long-ass time. I can Google That's it. That's so Google. cool. I, I would want that. They put him on the yeah. island, too. Fuck. What a great legacy. Have your skull. Right, okay, 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 okay. Mike, you remember guys. when I said that that you don't get to choose your legacy? Yeah. You don't get to choose your legacy except the dude who wanted his skull used for Yorick. Yeah, that is crazy. Right. That the, he's the exception. No, that is that's fucking, fucking awesome. awesome. That is awesome. And I can find out how long he had it. I'll find out his name for like you. The vibe of like you know one of those Scandinavian metal bands that are like yo use my fucking spine for a fucking you know a guitar neck. Right, right, you ever yeah. see that? You know that shit. That shit. That's that's happened more than once. Yeah, mayhem moment. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. Um. But yeah, no, be getting to be Yorick and like, did he's he's been Yorick? How many times, probably, since the thirties? Oh, that's so, that's like, so fucking cool. He's the most prolific <laughs> Shakespeare actor of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the guy's name. There's, there's a really long article here. I'm trying to read through, but I remember it was like he's been. In loads Yo, I of heard things. he's I gonna play. I heard he's gonna play Sans Undertale in the uh, adaptation, the film adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be starring Matt Pat, um, as Frisk. You know, if Matt Pat was Frisk, I would have just let Flowey do it. <laughs> He fell from the light. Should he talk or should he fight? Jame, Dame Judy Dench is Toriel? Maybe. <laughs> I am Toriel. Sometimes, I don't know. I, I sometimes I'm the caretaker of the group and of the group in Astraline. Uh, you're to, you're saying you're the Toriel. I I might be the Toriel. Like, yeah, if, you make if, if you're trying to make a pecan pie. Make a pecan pie. I have not. 
But you could make a mean pecan pie. That that'd be cool. Snail pie would be good. Mm. Didn't John Malkovich do some Shakespearean acting? Why did I think that he could have been on? He could be on the show. Did he not? Where did I get that from? I think I'm wrong about that. No, I, uh, I, have, I have the guy's name by the way. Oh, it's William Shatner. William Shatner Sorry. too. Sorry, what's the guy's name? Uh, Andre Tarkovsky. He died in 1982, and he bequeathed his skull. Oh, 1982. To the yeah, I was kind of oh, guessing how long yeah. he'd been, but he's he's obviously like been in almost every production of Hamlet. There, like his um, uh, well, Hamlet, Hamlet, where? Uh, Royal Shakespeare Company. So that is, and that tour doesn't that tour around? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. He's I'm, a very uh, exciting I, death, like an exciting life and an exciting death. Avon. Okay, that's that's it. Uh, but they play in London. So Stratford upon Avon was where Shakespeare was born, which is nearer to Birmingham. Okay. Um, and then they and they they have a big theatre there, but then apparently they perform in London and tour across the UK and internationally. So, yeah, all over the place. Okay. Chad, when I die, use my ass. As an ashtray. I like. <laughs> I hit Birmingham the for the dickhead. I, 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 I like the idea. I, I'm, I'm inventing a guy. A guy who sees the dude uh, whose skull is being used for Yorick and is like, fuck that guy. I'm going to one up him. And has his corpse like preserved in formaldehyde. And then, like, has someone carry it around and, like, deliver the lines behind him and <laughs> puppet him? You just created, like, a blasphemous boss. Oh, yeah. Well, you can do that these days with the horror of CGI. Oh, yeah. Oh, and AI. Oh, yeah. When, when, when you die in 800 years' time, Fred. Oh, you'll, you're 78, though, already, so in, in two years' time. We'll bring Old you back as CGI, a CGI Fred. And we'll just have oh, him thanks. keep. We'll just have him keep cranking out down the rabbit hole videos, long after your death. Just kind of, we'll feed it all your videos and have the algorithm learn like how you made videos, and then it'll just keep cranking them out like way after you're in the fucking ground. What do you think of that? Isn't that awesome? Uh, Don't you love that? Well, like now, now I'm kind of tempted to try asking chat. <laughs> Mike, are you okay? Fine. It's my fucking controller fell off my desk. What? What? Uh, is, go ahead, Fred. Sorry. You're 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 good. You're gonna <laughs> ask. You're just... gonna ask chat what? Sorry. I completely lost my train of thought. You, you, that was a very uh, visceral. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you fucking tried to cat fell through my fucking fingers like four times. It was very annoying. I'm sorry, chat. Oh, oh. that's what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you're going to tell chat. Right. So we're talking about having an AI algorithm just replacing right, you no, and making like, videos. Y you say that. And now now I kind of want to get chat GPT to write a down the rabbit hole video about Eve online. Oh, that'd be hilarious, actually. That would be fucking amazing. Like we will have AI, uh, an AI mic watching gay porn on stream. And being like, ha ha, come. Ha ha, <laughs> yeah, semen. Yeah, just spits out come over ha, ha, and over semen, and over again. Semen, semen. Ha ha. Fuck. All, All right, right. So we can do, do you the video? Hold on a second. I okay. <laughs> take my headphones out. Fuck. Yeah, no, no. Uh, no. Yeah, did you want to, what sections do you want to, or do you want to just carry on, Fred? What do you want to, what's the plan here? You're in I charge. mean, I'm going to level with you. I kind of just, well, section three... All right, let's just watch session uh, three. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's we'll just, just go. We'll, we'll, we'll just get as far as we can. What I'm saying. Mm -hmm. right. I got like another two hours, I think, before I got, okay. Yeah, like lay down. Over the following months, the more adventurous corporations began to establish themselves in Nullsec and already the diplomatic situations in different regions were developing in distinct ways. These early groups of players, typically no more than a few dozen people, would form the first alliances with one another to stave off competition, typically naming themselves after the region of space that they inhabited. 
In this early stage of the game, there was no way for players to officially lay claim to territory, but over a decade later, Andrew Groen would resurrect information that had largely been lost by trawling through long-abandoned forum threads and speaking with numerous leaders from the time, and by doing so, he managed to chart early Nullsec. To the southeast was the pirate nation of the Curse Alliance, who frequently warred with the rigid and authoritarian Stain Alliance. To the west and the north were the Fountain Alliance, the Coalition of Free Stars, and Venal Alliance, which boasted more democratic systems of governance between their constituent corporations. While a significant contingent of players sought to take and hold territory in Nullsec, most made their home in Empire space. Though maintaining a Nullsec presence was lucrative, it was also difficult and time-consuming, and for most, this was a distraction from the more specific activities which drew them to EVE. This also meant that much of the money within the player economy was held in Empire space, and so, even Nullsec powers would have to enter this safer territory and trade with the players there, though many Nullsec dwellers found them tepid. For the industrialists, <laughs> trading with Empire Space was not only efficient. Tepid. 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 Like, lukewarm. Like they're not as passionate about the game as they are. Right. Yeah, it's just like, like oh, the... you're, like, stay in your hug box. Yeah, that's right? the little normies in there. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, the people in <laughs> Nolsec definitely had a, 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 an era, yeah, disdain, superiority. There is a direct comparison to Ultima Online, the Trammel and Feluca thing. Oh. Yeah, there is a direct corollary there. Like, that's exactly right. They would they would mock, and the, the Feluca players, again, Feluca was the anything goes realm. They would mock and deride the, the fucking, like, the the hog box people in, in the other realm. Yeah. Shint, but right, necessary. Yeah. While the most valuable Absolutely. materials were in Nullsec, the basic materials required for all ships could only be found in Empire space. And so, it was impossible to maintain a Nullsec presence without some Trammies, sort of supply yeah, line. And, fel and Felucoids? Isaac and Losec. This meant that these two worlds of Eve, while to in the, most uh, ways separate, stream tonight, were Willow. fundamentally tied to one another. And while the flow of resources between the two was imperative, the most stark example of this interplay was illustrated in the Mercenary Corporations. Varying widely in terms of background, these mercenaries would take contracts to harangue whatever target yeah. was desired, and during this early stage, so their they price would be like escorts for you if you were doing like um, mining and trading and shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. These were often cheap, with the thrill of the fight being a part of the reward. The people or corporation issuing the contract could also be kept secret at their behest, and in this way, competitors could be weakened or eliminated without any fighting on the part of the- Hey, Dom, crap. The drones are going down on us. I to own us. Whoa. It's my favorite episode of The Sopranos. The, what, the drones go- what, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dom, just... crap! The drones are going down on us. Hey, Dom, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> so you could eject from your from your starship in space. In a, in, um, in, yeah, in, so in a fucking when... emergency situation, you could eject. Right, like this. This is one of those things where, like, it, it's a basic mechanic, mm -hmm. but it never really like comes up in an important way. Like, it's an it's an important part of the game, but like, it doesn't really mean anything to any other part of the game and i didn't want to overcomplicate things yeah yeah, um, yeah. but when your ship is destroyed uh you are ejected into your pod um and then your pod is like a tiny ship and if that's destroyed then your clone dies yeah and you I respawn mean, back i mean your home so, somebody could just shoot that yeah, yeah th there's no reason that someone can't shoot it right yeah, um, yeah. it's it's kind of and, a last it's a hail mary like to get out of there that thing. right yeah but yeah. like y oftentimes if someone's just being a dick right they'll they'll shoot the pod um and, and that's pod racing yeah but, um <laughs> stop <laughs> but no if you if you kill the clone then like back then you would lose skill points um mm. not anymore but but you used mm. to they made but, it more casual you, well 
Not really, because when the clone dies, you also lose any implants that were in it, which can give stat boosts. Okay. And okay. Lo so losing a good clone can really be expensive. Wow. Okay. But so when you when your when uh, your ship's destroyed, you're kind of at the mercy of the other person. And if if your pod is destroyed, then that's called getting podded. Okay. Pod. pod I love that you. I Sorry. love that you're telling me off on my extreme friend. It's it's very funny. <laughs> Just like, stop it. Stop it. How did you tell Bad him? Boy. Oh, the, Bad boy. the pod race. No, I, I was just like, stop it. <laughs> and stop. stop. And, and, and exasperated stop. It's very pinky in the brain. It's one of you know, the Incredibles dad where he's like, shut the fuck up. Please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just shut the Please that's me. just shut the fuck up. That's, that's me yeah. with Ryan oh, constantly. Fred, if Fred said that, I'd break my heart. <laughs> shut the fuck up, please. Shut the... <laughs> um, I love that. I love you, Ryan. On spell says no, they, so they, they got podded hundreds of times. No shit. Yep, that happens. Fire. Pirate gangs were eager to loan out their services for interstellar credits, but many of them were unaccustomed to attacking targets that fought back. And so, a niche began to develop for players who had experience not only trapping vulnerable targets, but engaging in proper fleet-based combat. As the demand increased, various new mercenary groups were beginning to form, often out of ragtag clusters of players who were more familiar. And this con this gameplay footage is from YouTube videos you here with the praxis of yeah, combat like than theory stuff that was yeah. backed up. Did you get permission from from them, and, or did you just? Did They're you ancient. I I don't think I'd even be able to contact them if I wanted. Yeah. Like yeah. all like all of this footage, they might even they they, they probably don't yeah. even go by the same name. All right, I'm right, gonna call, like I'm gonna is... call you. F -f 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 Fred K -k -k Knudsen. Because you X. well, you credited them, right? You credited them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see in the corner. Okay. Um, this okay, actually, this footage. Um, I like. You this is see. from Celine, and I interviewed Celine and asked oh, if I could use cool. the footage. Cool, right. Cool, that that, cool, that was cool. someone I could even. That was someone who I found. Right. F -f -f -fre like F -f Frederick. F -f that's someone I could actually find. Hey, hey, yep. now. Fred, Fred's, Fred's like, oh, hell no. They just potted this motherfucker. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, hell but, no. Yo, oh, bro, hell. yo, bro done got potted. Damn. <laughs> oh, hell no. All right, I'm going to fucking play but this. Yeah, no, like, so uh, actually some of the videos that were backed up, um, they, we don't even know who they're made by. If Fred, please don't post my house on Instagram. Um, yeah, you don't, right, you don't, <laughs> you don't even know who made them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. This I know, this is Sorry, Celine. Mike. Um, Celine actually comes up as a character in, in the, in the video. Okay. okay. But, um, but a lot of these are like, so a, 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 most of these videos were videos that were like uploaded to the forums and would have been lost forever if someone didn't back them up to YouTube. Right. Yeah. So you don't even know where the who where the fuck they came from. Oh, some of them know. You'll actually mm -hmm. see in a couple of places like unknown taken mm -hmm. from Eve Online Video Archive. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And play. But sometimes it was simply enough for a player to be familiar with combat to disrupt the supply line. All right, chat. How long can I realistically keep that fucking server icon as as Doug Walker? I, I have to change that. I'm gonna change that back later. Lines of more economy oriented corporations. It's confusing people. Allow their no, it's confusing people. Them. Such aggression meant that it's most causing, the, it's causing problems. Creation is a server. Did you, are you in my server? Do you see it? I see you. Yeah, I, I saw it. The on, meme. On, did you see the meme? Like the whole fucking no, no, no nostalgia critic no, November. What's going You'll have on to with that? All right, all right, all right. This, I, okay, it, it's very simple. It's it, this is not gonna take long to like explain to you. Like this is not a spaghetti bob. This will take two seconds. All right, I'm gonna open you again. You see you my you see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you see the the image file refusing to load. Oh, hang on, no, I see the video. And do I need God, to like, yeah, actually yeah, I load see it? I, I, see it. I see it on stream. God, that's awesome. No, I don't see it. Once. Yo, why can't Windows 11 open a JPEG chat? Okay, now straight, I can see straight it. up. Why can't Windows 11 handle a JPEG? 
It's this is Windows a 11. fucking. This is a fucking JPEG. This is you and technology, Mike. Yeah. Get used to it. It's Holy the poly effect. Christ! It's the poly effect. Okay, I'm going to put a a fucking image in our Discord chat. Dear <laughs> fucking lord. Did you see the picture of my dog? The simplest thing. Oh, I did not. But I, I know you did. Oh, Take I that that's that's a a blue um. Oh God, what breed is that? Chat, you want to <laughs> see you want to see Ryan's? Can I show chat? Yeah, Your you dog. can show you can show chat. The bed's muddy because she's a muddy dog who just jumped in my bed and went to sleep. Oh, so there's like now there's oh. like there's like there's like animal shit in your bed now. No, I think there's just uh, what breed is this? I want to say it's a blue something. It's it's a blue nothing. What's the? It's a blue waffle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, a, like there's a there's a breed of dog that looks like this. It's like a blue hound or something. She's just a silver dackle, a silver dapple dachshund. She's oh, it's a, a dachshund. A oh, okay. Oh, it's a dachshund. All right, all right. I didn't see the. the I can dachshund. show you. I can show you a full a full body picture. If Let's you, see if you're interested. the full body pic. Um, I have to dig one up. All right, but in the meantime, the showing the wiener on stream. Of, yeah, I gotta show you, show you, show my wiener on stream. In the meantime, guys, <laughs> check out the image I I posted in there. Uh, li li literally the extent of the meme is I fa I saw this on Twitter. No, that that's that's valid. And last night we um were watching a gay porno on stream, and there was a dude who looked like him, so I decided that that caused me to lose. No nostalgia November, so I had to change my Twitter avatar, and I made my like the Discord server. The, the... You guys take the pledge, chat. You taking the pledge? I'll take the pledge. Fred's taking the pledge. Um, Fred, that means if you fucking yeah. end up seeing even a second of a nostalgia critic video, you have to change your fucking avatar. It's not a joke, bro. All right, all right. Like, are you That's ready to do that? Are, are you ready That's to do that? Like, one. we're not fucking around. Like, you're gonna have to do that. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't seek out. The nostalgia critic, but I might see it by accident. I'm I'm gonna look on your server at like how many people have changed their profile. <laughs> that is a lot of nostalgia critics. <laughs> that is, I'm scrolling down. That is not as many as I I would. Oh, that oh that's nostalgia critic as the law. Oh I, oh no, I'm looking closer. A lot of these are like edits of Doug Walker's face. Oh, yeah, thumbnails. Shit. Thumbnails. Okay, I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting out a request. I'm putting out, out a request yeah. to my community. Yeah, if yeah, one yeah. of you can take that one picture of me that exists, you know, the one with like the hair swoop and, and my neck looks way too long. Could you like take that photo and like Photoshop the nostalgia critic's face on it for me? Or better, better yet, could you like take the owl? <laughs> that I use and like Photoshop it so nostalgia critic's face is on it? Just did generate you, an AI. Just generate, generate an AI image. Chat, it's like, did it's you get, so it's so shitty and like chat, did uncanny. You, did you guys Sorry. see the fe the fem dogs? The fem dogs that somebody that somebody posted in the Discord, bro. Um. Yeah. All right. Dude. Yeah. It is amazing how the AI was able to capture the same yo. like seventh hey, grader yo. energy. Yeah, because it's it's weird and uncanny, like every nostalgia critic from there. That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, yo, who just lost? Yo. <laughs> the fem, the fem dogs, dude. I'm telling you, damn, fuck. I, w I I'm just hey, imagining yo? fem dog doing the nostalgia critic laugh now yo, yo can i can i say something without everybody getting mad <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. yo fem dog hold on a minute wait a minute wait a minute hold on that's face app give me a yeah it is doesn't yeah, doug walker no it like, doesn't no, uh, does, doesn't doug walker have square glasses uh, I don't In know. The original I don't... photo. Hold on, let me just look at your profile picture. I don't know. Give me a um... second. No, they're round. Okay, I was gonna say like, did they make them round? I'm, I'm looking closer. No, seven, they're seven. round already. Okay. Hmm. Yo, look at the fucking stream real quick. 
No, I'm not doing Yo, it. I know what just, you're doing. You I know what you're fucking, doing. I know what you're just, doing. No, 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 you no look, I looked away. No, I looked you, away. Just, you just fucking lost, bro. No motherfucker. You just fucking no lost. Motherfucker. You just no lost. motherfucker. No, 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 you just no, lost. No. Everybody. Fuck, I saw, I saw it in the reflection of my window. God damn it. <laughs> heard no, I, you <laughs> take the pledge, dude. You took the fucking pledge, dude. Everybody here heard you take the pledge. You know what this fucking means. I'm Yo, so pissed. Ryan, I'm so you pissed off. I looked. I looked. I away the from the screen yeah. and saw yeah. it in the reflection. Yeah. God ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got him. Oh, fuck we you. got him, and we got everybody here. Become that's not dogs. fucking fair. Like as you part of the, the stream, I have to look. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. I wasn't able to watch the stream because my internet can't take you know both Discord and the stream. Uh, so you're saying you didn't see it? Yeah, jokes on you, Mike. Any pictures you send me will not load. I don't have enough bandwidth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? Because of the constant robot, you you get a pass, but Fred does not. <laughs> okay. Pass, but, right? but 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 um, <laughs> yeah. may I may I may I make a request? What's up, Mary? No, you got to change, bro. That's it. We got you. What's up? What's the, what's the request? Sorry. May I uh, wait? Until like someone makes an edit of my owl with Doug Walker's face on it, yeah, to, to yeah, change yeah, it. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. No, because like I, I know, I know. <laughs> it's such a bad meme. I, I know that some like just by suggesting that I have manifested it into existence. Like I. Uh, oh, by the way, why is um, this remember funny? Where, it shouldn't be funny. Remember okay, what? I'm sorry. Um, okay, I. You remember when I was talking about the dude who said I like Eve is well documented and like e like this this shouldn't this should have been easy to make. I, someone found the comment. Blind oh, Archer found said, the comment. For me. May, may I read it to you? Yeah. yeah so someone yeah, found yeah. that. Okay. This I I love head ass comments. Like obviously you know what is the fuck you are a ghoul is legendary. Oh that's yeah um, that, that's <laughs> that's the holy yeah. the holy ghoul grail right there. Yeah. Um, this one is really good. Preemptively post Are, chat toys chat. Mm, so someone was say, like saying that, you know, movies take a long time to make. And this person said, Are you seriously somehow comparing a modern movie that has thousands of dollars in special effects, multiple actors, and thousands of reshot scenes, marketing, and all of that to a video game essay on YouTube? Unless you're actually referencing indie movies, which are more comparable to this video, but they definitely do not take two years to make on average. This video is him compiling an already well-documented MMO game history with some gameplay in the background. Not exactly two years of full-time work worthy now, is it? There's a YouTuber called Never Knows Best that created the entire history of MMOs and then the entire history of video games, a six and seven hour video respectively, and he did them both like six months apart. Then Your Favorite Son, which releases hour and a half videos every week. Come on now. And then um, someone asked, like, where, like, where would you have started then? Like, where would you have started with this video? Like, how would you have started making it? Mm -hmm. And then this person replied, the question, oof, where I would start on a documentary of Eve. What is that even supposed to mean in this argument? I'd start at the beginning. Obviously, absolutely irrelevant question. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> This I, is also someone who doesn't I, know how long and how much it takes to make a movie. Oh, right. Like, special <laughs> effects do not cost thousands I'm, of dollars. I, I, I'm, I'm like, too shit. annoyed by that to laugh at it. Wow. I'd start at the beginning, dot, 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 obviously. <laughs> <laughs> fucking that's, that's, To be fair... His video, yo, his video is going to open... He won the argument. His video is going to open with the 2001 scene of the, the, the monkeys at the obelisk or some shit. <laughs> It's it's like one one of them like instead of the obelisk, it's a computer, and he like walks up to it, presses three buttons, and like like the the entirety of my video appears on the screen. What a fucking what a penis! What a fucking, <laughs> I fucking I love what this a shit. fucking penis! I'm so, I'm sorry. It's just it's it's so funny. Yeah, I'll, yeah, you know, I, like, I, I'll, I'll find it funny later, but I'm just, I'm like too annoyed by it right now. Oh no! My, like, my when favorite I read it, I'm good just... one, come on, come on, Fred. Oh, I've got a good I, one too. I have nothing, I have nothing to add. What did you find? 
Oh, I had one that said, um, oh, they were bitching about how like a bit of the music sounded really noisy. And they were like, for reference, I'm listening to this on my mobile phone. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, I can't win, can I? Because here's the thing, I, I fucking test it on a mobile phone, right? Right. Yeah, all yeah, mobile yeah, phones yeah. are different. Yeah. And some of them all like, their speakers are like so small, they break. Like after, like if you play something too loud of like an iPhone speaker, it'll just break yeah, and yeah. just sound terrible all the time. And I'm just like, fuck, I'm, uh, I, I'm just, I'm just so, so amused <laughs> and tired. Oh my I'm God. amused and tired. I, yeah. Oh, I, by the, by the way, I want to point out for such a well-documented game, while I was editing the video and trying to, you know, I, I was trying to capture images of a website for it mm -hmm. crossing zebras which comes up later um like i reference it quite a bit what's that um crossing it, it's just an eve it's an eve online news source like they okay. it's just eve players talking about okay. like events okay. like okay. events in eve um the website's gone oh my gosh well wh yeah. why you, as why i was making as i was making the video link rot happened oh shit well because it, it the website isn't wasn't in continuous use Right, like they decided not to renew it, so it's just dead. Crossing Zebras while is gone. You, while you were making while the video. While I was making the video. Of course yes. that happened. Like, I am making, I am actively making this video as the history of EVE Online is yeah. rotting in my hands. Yeah. Wow. My friend didn't, he's a composer, not very, not, not I mean, he's, he's, he's not mega famous. He's, he's a successful composer. And he forgot to renew his website, like, um, server but i don't know i i don't do websites i guess someone to do it for me but if it got to new, renew the license or something and some like chinese company bought it and like put loads of adverts on it and want like 500 dollars to get it back so he just made it suckers. yeah oh that's gross it, it's so gross Wow. Oh yeah, N Neri, Neri is pointing out, yes, this is true. Um, Crossing Zebras is now parked as ads for cri for a crypto gambling site. Gross. That might be what happened to them. They just didn't renew and they got their, their you know, uh, URL stolen. Yeah. Um, you, want me to, you want me to play this? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so... I, I just... Maybe? No, no, I figured... Yeah, we're having I, so much fun. I, I this figured, is good fun. Yeah, I know. We're having a good time. I, I figure okay. yeah, if we can get to part six, <laughs> I'll, be, <laughs> I'll be happy, okay? Okay. Three hours and 40 minutes to get through 45 minutes. All right. I, feel, I, guess, I feel like yeah. I feel like that's good, right? Like yeah. content. Right? Yeah. This is content. Yeah, I mean, again, like, again, if you're getting annoyed, just just use the link and go watch it. I gave you the link to the video. Just here it is. I'm, here it is again if you're right. getting annoyed. I'm not going to complain um, about you watching my video. Here it is again if you're getting annoyed. Go ahead and click that. Just kidding. That's the, the Doug Walker nostalgia critic. Get fucking dug, you fucking penises. Get fucking <laughs> dug, bitches. Get dug, you fucking nerds. Mike, when did you become such a cocksucker? <laughs> I'm joking. That's the no. That's the real. That's the always, video. No, that, always has been. That's the video. I'm joking. That's it. <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. But yeah, always has been, bro. Um, what do you mean become? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all, you all lost. You all chat got raw dugged. <laughs> Shut off. Oh my god. <laughs> Get dugged, you pieces of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh Christ! Oh, uh, but no, oh if, you're, if you're getting annoyed, you, you can you can, you can just go watch it without us. But I mean, like we got the two people, two two of the people who made it here. So I mean, you know, and this I think oh, yeah. is is pretty cool. And I guess we will do it again uh, at some point, um, if you want, guys. If like it, it's totally yeah. up to you. If you want to, like, no one can understand this. what he's saying. Sorry, Fred. No, you're fine. Uh, like, if you want to continue this, I'm so down. If you want, like, skip around, that's fine. Yeah. Whatever you want to do with this, well, I am. I am more than happy to return to like. I will return as many times as it is necessary to like get through this. 
Uh, yeah. Because remember, the video's done. I have fucking time now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, until you start the next one. Which... Oh, no, 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 no. I... I am going to set healthy work hours. I am not fucking burning out again. Happy I refuse. Happy I fucking that. refuse. Fred, why is the next video not out yet? <laughs> it's so easy to what do. Pathetic... All the history is already there. What a pathetic fucking YouTuber. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm uh, sorry. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't get, get over this. I'm, oof, oof, spicy. Whole man, when next video? All right, let's. Oh um, yeah, no, yeah. I I have um I, I have a counter because at one point someone came in and said, "Do u more video again?" And uh, why so this now guy no asks, make more video? Why this guy piece of shit? Fuck this guy! <laughs> he ugly fuck. He look like a ghoul. What is the <laughs> fuck? Why he no <laughs> make more video? For free, for me to watch. <laughs> Fuck this guy. He, f he sucks. I want everyone to make video together for free. Fuck this guy. He is... make no video. He furry fuck. <laughs> Why he no make video? He jerk off to wolf cock and no make video. This guy. Fuck you... this guy. Do, do you want to know the hilarious thing? <laughs> Nobody started what? getting on me for having a furry avatar until I traded the furry avatar for an anime one. I think it was like jilted furries. Maybe. It was fucking what? <laughs> you, you, th you think it's furries accusing me of being a furry? Like, at, furries because, like, are the furries demographic. demographic. <laughs> Well, I love Serbian and Mike. I'm just ripping off like Vinny's, like his. Well, I, I think it's like I, I don't know Vinny's like generic like Eastern European voice he does. Right. Yeah. I remove your trouser snake. Do you yeah, wish that, to continue? Yeah, yeah, that, yes yeah. or no? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's bullshit. He's. Bu <laughs> I okay. He no, is a Mike. fuck. Yeah, there, there is a video that I, I don't, I don't know if we should show it because the dude uses um, the Arsler in it. Oh, um, but it is my favorite Eve Online video. Like, if you can handle one use of it for like well, the best Eve no, video. No, I mean, what do you mean the Arsler? Like, I, I know what it is. Oh, I, I remind me what that is. Like, I know I'm here. Not... I'll, I'll type it in chat. This. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it. All right, right, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. you were gonna put it in the 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 uh, the Twitch chat. The I was Twitch like, chat. no, Fred, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my god! If you can handle one of that, I have the funniest E video that you have ever seen. I don't know, chat. Can you handle one of? Can you handle one Arsler chat? Can you? Can you? Can you be? Oh, <laughs> Historical can, use. Can we? Can we behave and be, <laughs> and be mature for two minutes, please? This video about EVE Online contains negative I've... stereotypes. They were wrong then and they're wrong now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh fuck okay so all right let okay, me get I, let me get this, I send it, I send let me, it. and how long is this this is it's like 50 seconds okay uh let's get it going here <laughs> uh can you see it? I, yeah i can see it okay let's find out what's going on this is so good secondary is going to be dk so close to Liv livonia is damaged they're close they're freaking very dude do, do you want to is there do you want to provide context or is it better without you it? don't need it okay Okay. Keep going. Livonia is damage primary. Livonia is damage primary. Secondary is D. Tertiary is going to be Lee Gort. Secondary is going to be D King. Okay, pull your damage on Livonia. Pull your damage on Livonia. D Th this is a war. Th they're in a fight. Yeah, they're in a fight right very... now. And when he's calling out primary, secondary, tertiary, these are targets in order of which they should. He's target. like a raid. He's like a raid boss. Yeah, Basically. he's a raid boss. He's yeah, raid yeah. bossing. Yeah, he's gonna be uh, like, but so, it's so what he's doing here? It's so, so, yeah, this is PvP. So yeah. what he's doing is this is like a temporary. Um, uh, they're training up one of their FCs and they're letting him do a fight just to help train him. And so okay. and the like, What's the an main FC, FC is list fleet commander. Okay. Sorry, 
Um, like, and then, oh. then you have like the main fleet commander they're in like the back listening, they're listening training, and helping. Yeah, they're training, training a guy. Yeah, yeah. To Interesting. It's like it's like have, this game's like having a fucking job. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. Ironically. Problem, yeah. dude. You Why fucking you call the target. Shut, 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 okay, shut, shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Kurator is primary. Shut. You're so retarded. Kurator is uh, primary. <laughs> the accent. Okay. Yeah. I know, right? What the fuck is wrong with you? 17 That's kilometers. Him. Fuck you. Yeah, but, well, dude, armor hack. Armor hack. Armor hack. <laughs> Keep going. Kurator is primary. Blanco is secondary. Tertiary is sordio. <laughs> the accent. Dude, it's why, so good. Why is everything funnier in that accent? It's like, so good. <laughs> this is amazing. You didn't put that in. This doesn't appear in this video, right? No, anyway. it does not. It does not. I, I just love that video so much. Holy shit. Armor hack. Armor hacks. Holy fuck. All right, he was so, completely right, by the way. Like, no, I, I, I understand the fits, and I understand like what's going on. He's completely right to be pissed off. Like, th this like trainee fleet commander is completely dropping the ball. Fucking awful call, yeah, right? Like, yeah. fucking terrible call. Don't um, way you shoot the ship wrong. The, the, that fleet commander with the accent is Shadu. Yeah. He is legendary. He's a legendary fleet commander. Okay, did you talk to him for this? No, I did not. All right, well. I'm gonna. Uh, you want me to play this? Yeah, yeah. Should the, should Poopy, his name is now. Began to learn the methods by which to defend themselves, along with hiring their own mercenaries to protect their ships. Meaning that anyone paid to disrupt another corporation had to expect pushback. While miners often weren't familiar with the finer points of combat, many already had the most important equipment necessary to participate: a battleship. During this time, there were no ships dedicated to mining, and so, miners chose the ships with the most available high slots for mining lasers. A particular favorite was the Apocalypse, which boasted eight high slots and a large capacitor. All the miners had to do was trade their mining equipment for weapons, and they were ready to defend themselves in a minimal fashion. What had once effectively can, been paid can... piracy was more and more- And, and, and you can- <laughs> I, I just, why doesn't shit work the way it's supposed to, bro? Ever? Why don't things just work the fucking way they're supposed to? <laughs> Holy fuck, Aga! Now, oh my god, you can do. You can do. I'm glad you. I'm glad you guys are having a good time. You can. Do, you can do that. Like on the fly. Like you can have this shit on your ship, and when the the com a combat. A combat situation arises. You could just swap the, sh the fucking the modules uh, out. In in some circumstances, uh, not all circumstances. Oh God. Okay. Or you're very funny, man, Mike. What happens up? I said you're very funny. Oh, th oh. Well, well, I, well, well, I, I think. Well, thanks. <laughs> I, I think. I think what they would do is they would just like have a couple of miners dedicated as like defense. And then uh, the others would just have so, the lasers. Okay, so you could go. In other words, you could go mine a bunch of shit, and then mm. and then swap out your your fucking shit after. You, so you have all the the ore on board. You can then equip the weapons and shoot people. You can then equip the weapons yeah, and do combat. Um, well, not not really in uh, in space, right? Like what, when you're free floating in space, you. I don't know if they introduce the stuff that you need to do that. At this point in the game, I actually could not tell you um, okay. if they had introduced it. You yet. have to be docked to swap out the modules. So we don't not work. in all cases. You if, if, there there are some consumable items you can use to like, okay. to like, and there are some modules you can swap. I don't know about the weapons. I think weapons you have to do docked though. Um. Well, the again, you do have the, to the do weapons dock. are going to be fucking important. Uh, you know so. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, could like the, mine and then dock. Or is that like well, not well a the thing? idea? Well, you have a whole team. You have a team of miners, right? Like so, some people are dedicated miners. Some people are. Um, some people just have weapons equipped. Okay, I understand. So you're rolling out with a whole posse. Yeah, yeah. I can fuck it. So if somebody came out with weapons and not mining <clears> equipment, <throat> I could mine a bunch of shit, put it on their ship, and then keep mining. And fill yeah, you up, could do that. and and th and then fill up like all, so. All the ships Again, are going yeah. are going back full of ore, but like only a couple of the guys are strapped with weapons. Right. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. It, it feels very um, like 
uh, his, historic in some ways because you have like certain industries they get pissed off with their lot and they have like access to tools or stuff and they smash machinery using those tools. This is like the Luddite video. I'm getting into the next video, Fred. But it feels like the miners like having access to like laser weapons or weapons and high slots and stuff. It feels strangely historic, you know, like that a certain industry would have access to things and just completely You ever watch The Expanse, wild. Ryan? No, I'm sorry. Um it's you, you've heard of it. No. I have heard of it, yeah. I've I've seen I, there's like a cool picture for it. I've just never got around to watching it. it, it I have noticed. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to tell Ryan that there's like uh, uh, some, like, yeah, like working class political like fucking commentary uh, that's reminding me of what you're saying right now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, um, but we're like, pretty uh, almost exact the exact situation you were just describing. But what are you what are you uh, saying, Fred? Sorry. Oh, I was saying that some people in the comments of the video were saying that um, we're, we're getting to it, like we're about to get to this, but um, this eventually leads to the creation of mercenary groups. And yeah. some people in the comments were talking about how this almost perfectly mirrors real life and the creation of mercenaries, like how, how yeah. mercenaries came to be in a lot of places historically. Wild, yeah. Yeah, it, it's cool. Like, it was cool for people to see it, like, see something that has historically happened play out in a game for the exact same reasons that they happen yeah. in real life. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play it. And in and, and, Am I going to play it? Place was mercenary work. Just Among see, who knows? early mercenaries were a few corporations that attracted attention. Unparalleled were the Masters of Onage, or Mu, who Onage. had become infamous after their gate camp in Mara and Pasari that shut down trade in the north for weeks. But there were a few smaller corporations that were beginning to gain a reputation, namely Body Count Inc. This group, led by the charismatic Selene, that's the guy who plays Yurik, was one of the first to dedicate all of their <laughs> corporation's time to handling mercenary contracts. And while they accepted paltry sums to begin, their fees grew as both the demand for mercenaries and the demand for Body Count Inc. increased. But as mercenary corporations fought one another, there was a surprising effect. Since warfare never resulted in the permanent deaths of any of the players, it was possible to fight against particular enemies repeatedly. And as they did, they grew familiar with one another, especially those who could fight exceptionally well. Such exemplary pilots would sometimes impress their enemies so much that they would be invited to join those they had fought. And so, a core tenet of EVE Online was discovered. In the words of Celine, quote, The best way to recruit people is by shooting them. And so, the best pilots in the game began to conglomerate into groups and charge hefty prices for their services, Prices that corporations were more than willing to pay in this key moment in the history of the economy of EVE. During the production of the game, one of the envisioned roles in EVE Online was that of a trader, traveling from location to location in order to find places to buy goods low and sell high based on an asymmetry of information. Players would only be able to see the goods on offer in their current region, and then they would have to travel to the station where the good was being sold. But as players traded with one another and the player economy began to establish itself, the need for a centralized hub of commerce grew. So how long would it take you to like get back to the front? Like if you were in one of these battles, you, 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 you were killed. Like, how long would it take you to be in a ship and back there fighting again? Totally depends. Totally depends on your distance from the fight. Okay, because um, where, like, where do you res like? Do you set that respawn point? Like, as a yeah, you can set a station uh, as your home station, and then uh, uh -huh. what what you'll do is you'll have clones that are like in stations around. Yeah. Um. You'll have, and then when you die, you respawn in like that clone, and uh, it would depend entirely on where you stored that clone. Okay, I love and the you can jump between them. By the way, but. I, I love the idea that like there there are people who have been like nemesises for years. Oh my god, the bad blood in this game is legendary. Right, right. Because in the old, like no one can permanently die in Eve. 
Like th this yeah. is something that that kind of already has been brought up, right? Like yeah. best way to recruit someone's by shooting yeah. them, and that's yeah. because they can't die. Yeah. So because nobody can die, that means, and this comes up later in the video as well, like much later. But um, it also means that alliances, corporations, uh, like federations, can't necessarily die unless all their players leave. Yeah. But if they want to keep playing, there's no way to stop them. Yeah. So they're just going to keep playing. So they're still around like you've you've beaten them, but that doesn't mean they're gone. It's like it's like a fucking shonen anime. Uh -huh. It's like I thought I killed you. It's like yeah. no. Like no no one's ever really gone. No. And never, never, never. Wow. And that that becomes actually a really important part of the politics, right? Like in real life, someone's causing you problems, like in a in a political sense, kill them. Yeah. Right? Get rid of them, like historically yeah. speaking. Yeah. Um, but in Eve, nope. Yeah, it's uh, it's fascinating. You you get it. So 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 different methods probably have to arise to like you know neutralize somebody from being a problem to you. Right. Yeah. It's it's tricky. Um, it it yeah. creates a lot of drama. Let, let me let me tell you how we did that in Ark Survival Evolved, if you don't mind. Yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> you put somebody in a in a in a cage. And keep them drugged up for like weeks at a time. Oh my god, <laughs> you cock! <laughs> because if they can't respawn, then they can't. They're not a threat to you. Oh my god, it's just the Avatar. Like this yeah. is the plot of Avatar: The Last yeah. Airbender. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I thought you meant the Blue People Avatar. No, 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 no. Avatar: The Last. <laughs> no, no. Avatar: I The Last you meant Airbender. The Avatar from Ultima. <laughs> oh my god. They, um, no, it, it's, yeah. it's Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, they don't want to kill Aang. They want to capture him. Like, they want to capture the Avatar to make sure that, like, a new... Like, they delay the creation of a new Avatar for as long as possible. I, I wish... They caught him and put him in an M. Night Shyamalan Or was movie. it... Or were, were they trying to kill him? Because, like, what was next in the rotation? Wasn't it, like, Earth was next in the rotation? Are you, you're talking about Avatar The Last Airbender. Last Airbender, yeah. It was water that was next. Okay, okay. So yeah, they wanted to imprison him because if right. he dies, he's going to reincarnate in right. someone else and then they have to go and find them. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Right, yeah, Korra. Cool. Right, Korra was the next avatar yeah, after You, you know, right, one so of my water. biggest yeah. regrets is, Chet, is not streaming when me, Static, and Wamba played on that official ARC server that time where we like went, we, we had like a feud with the Chinese players. Remember that 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 fucking story? Because if we if <clears throat> if we had streamed that, oh my fucking god, that was oh, oh my god. Fred would have fucking if, if Fred enjoys this type of shit, right? <laughs> we could have made an unbelievable like highlight video out of that. That would have been fucking legendary content. <laughs> oh, all right, whatever. I don't want to get into that. I'm gonna press play on this. Okay, okay. In order to maximize visibility and convenience, you could have had a chat army. Oh, don't. I've been thinking about the fact. Don't forget, Ark <clears throat> just Ark just got re-released. We could be we could be bastards on a fucking official server. Actually, the the game of that kind that I've gotten into recently is Foxhole. Yeah, Foxhole. I've been loving Foxhole. Yeah. David yeah. Fox. Oh, shut up. What is it? I didn't hear what he said. It's just a simple pun, Fred. I said down the foxhole. Oh, uh, down the foxhole. Oh, I thought, I, thought, I thought you were being horny. Okay. Well, I'm, ne I'm never horny. I'm, you're being I'm a furry. I'm perfectly sexless. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a Mormon's wet dream. Have you, have you ever forgiven me for making that meme? Oh, I didn't need to forgive you. Uh, I'm, I, I, I just like any form of attention. <laughs> I think puppy. I, I I think Rev was playing Foxhole at one point, right, chat? That game is so good. Yeah, I'm loving it. I, I'm actually like I'm at the Did point you stream where it? no, I've not streamed you, it. You could get I'm like thinking... you could get minions from your stream. Like, you you could get well, like. What I was thinking of doing was making a server that I can ping whenever I'm playing Foxhole and want to like lead people. And it's like, hey, you want to hop in? Sure, right? Like, I'm, even if I'm not streaming. Yeah, maybe we go play on chat one of the ARC official servers and we just become like a problem. <laughs> you know? Because you know what? Fuck that game. <laughs> like, fuck that game. You know, like, that who cares? Is... 
Like you know, well, like who, fuck. Why the why the fuck do my my brother and his wife got into it and they Arc? played it about? I can yeah, I cannot fathom why anyone kept playing that game. I tried to play Fucking it and I'm just shit. like, this is kind of bad. It's it's and so I just stopped playing. Chank and shitty, but like, I felt really bad because a friend bought it for me and I'm just like, this is. It has that social aspect. Good. I don't know. I I just got into it because I just enjoy dinosaurs mackerel. But like, if if we made a if we went on a server and we made a tribe. I think a lot of you would. Uh, uh, I, I think I think we could have some fun. I'm I'm just I'm just thinking about. I'm not saying we're gonna do that, but my God, if we if we did, there's gonna you know, no PVE. No no no. I wanna I wanna hurt people. <laughs> I wanna I, I wanna no. offline raid and grief people, and I I wanna I wanna be the reason. That people stop playing that game. Yeah, no, you're saving people. Yeah. That's what I was yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, you're yeah, saving people yeah. by like making them quit. Yeah, exactly. I'm doing them like, a fucking like, favor. Yeah, right, right. The, these people, what, what, what's going to happen is they're, they're going to be sitting on the couch and like like yeah. drinking like a cup of coffee. Yeah. And they're, like they're going to have their feet up and they're like, like their wife is going to be uh, uh, like across the room and they're going to look down at their cup of coffee and they're going to say, ma'am. It's a really good thing I quit Ark. <laughs> <laughs> like if I hadn't quit Ark, like I I wouldn't have gone out, touched grass, met my wife. Right, right. right? You know that guy Jabroni Mike. He was a real piece of shit, but man, he he did me a favor. Yeah, but if it wasn't right. for yeah, if if it wasn't for that cockhead Jabroni Mike, I I wouldn't be married. St my, right? Static has already been playing it. Like Static bought the the fucking remake and he's been gooning over it like he's already Why? put he's already put like a thousand hours in it because i don't know because he likes pain because he's a I, fucking masochist i guess i don't know it's fucking why i i guess like i feel like arc is a good game if you haven't played anything else if you <laughs> <laughs> if, oh yeah i have two, no no, no I, I, I i have i have two thousand hours in the game Oh no! Like yeah, I, I, I feel like yeah. I have never met someone who looks at their playtime in Ark with pride. No, that's not like exists. like 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 when I when I'm talking with people who play Stellaris, right? Like yeah, Stellaris yeah, is one yeah. of my favorite games. I'm yeah, looking at it yeah. like, oh yeah, I've got a thousand out. Like I have one thousand, oh, almost one thousand four hundred hours right, in Stellaris. Right, a lot right, of that, right. to be fair, is AFK time because yeah, I'm like yeah. getting up and getting food and eating yeah. shit. Yeah, because you can yeah, pause it. Yeah, yeah. but. But I look at that number and I'm like, yeah, that that's time that I really enjoyed spending with Stellaris, right? Like, man, right. That, like, I, I look at that and like, I, I remember all the experiences I have, and I, it yeah. makes me want to play it again. Right. I, I have never encountered a person who says I have a thousand hours in Ark, and boy, were those times good. Nope. Never. Every, every hour was th thoroughly fucking hated. Like it's I mean, fucking insane, right? Yeah, like, it's and, and, such like, a and, and then like game. the obvious question comes up, like, and and I have had this conversation multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inevitable question comes up: Why did you play it? And the inevitable response is always, "I don't know." <laughs> maybe you're just like, a, maybe you're a glutton for pain, Mike. That's why you hang I, out with friends. No, no, no. And... I... I can Go explain on, it. Bro. I can explain it. I can explain it. All right. It's very, very, I do appreciate the dig at Fred. Very, very funny. But um, so I was going to say my name as well, but... but uh, no, I, stop. I, I, <laughs> but the fucking... I feel like I'm not on Fred's level of... No, you know, you're just... You're, 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 oh, oh, stop. You're just as painful as he is. Don't sell yourself short. You suck <laughs> just every bit as much as he does. No, but seriously. I thought you just wouldn't want to hang out with me. Fucking... So that, that's what I was, that's what I was You're getting. fucking great. Are you kidding me, Ryan? Doesn't... <laughs> The thing is, when I played Ark, I did have fun. But I didn't have fun because of the game. I had fun because like of the, the people. This sounds was... like a confession, like an apology. Yeah. <laughs> Get my um my ukulele. I, I wanna I, I, I wanna point that out. It was that I had fun it was the people I was playing with and like what we were doing. Like, like, just kind of like, I don't know, 
fucking with people and like being a problem for somebody it was fun does that make sense like being no, a piece does. being a piece of shit in that game is very fun okay with the right, right. people like you don't want to do it all. you're not gonna have fun by yourself but like if you and a couple of friends want to be a complete piece of shit you're gonna have such a good time in that game i you know made like, a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment <laughs> by keeping on installed given. on my computer right i think i am simply here to apologize i think the reason that everyone played arc is because everyone knew that everyone else already had arc yeah and i mean like, it was one of the best selling games on steam of all time and, right and most played like everyone game, yeah. knew that everyone else had arc and like I feel like the only way that you are going to get people to stop playing Ark and stop, like, abusing themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. was by, like, staging almost like a protest, right? Like, uh -huh. we're all going to commit to spending another, like, 20 bucks <laughs> on a different indie game. Right, like yeah. on a different game we can play yeah, together. Yeah, but like yeah. the effort it takes like to get people to do that is like, all right, hey guys, you want to like play a different game? And they're like, I don't know, man. Barrow Trauma is 30 bucks. Like, yeah. And yeah, then, I already have ARC, you know. I mean, yeah, it's like I, I have ARC. Come on, it know, runs. I mean, like how bad could it, how bad is it? It runs. Ba barely, barely. Could be the Nintendo I, Switch version. I oh, never Christ. There's a mobile felt... version. Ugh. Could you imagine? Oh, how? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to know. What <laughs> phone could possibly run it? Well, none of them. That's the th that's the problem. That's the fucking problem. None of them. Oh my god! You know what? I think Mike you know what? You, you know what? I think we should. All What'd you say? I said you're the least angry New Yorker. <laughs> I feel like we should all play Ark together. That's what I'm getting out of this conversation. Like I'm, this is just, I'm feeling like now I want to play it. It's a great time. They just had a remaster. It's a shitty fucking rebuild that corrects almost that changes almost virtually nothing. Without all the Does DLCs. It run on Mac? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Another reason not to own a Mac. <laughs> I like. <laughs> If you're if you're gonna play something like Ark, play Valheim. Valheim is uh, great. Val Valheim is cool, but actually I haven't played it in years. You know, it's great. Uh, oh, they made so many additions. Is, did they? Is they, it's, it's come a long yeah. way? Oh yeah, it's come a long but way. But again, like like Valheim doesn't have that like scumbag potential. Like again, that's what I'm telling you. That's what what the, the thing that made Ark fun was. Fucking like fucking with people and like ruining their life, you know. Because in Ark, like you could do things where, like, I mean, like I'm just gonna give, I'm, I'm gonna give you a very, very abridged version of this. Like we were getting fucked with by these players at one point. Okay, they had us, they had us in cages and were drugging us the way I described to you earlier. <laughs> and one of us. You're not selling me on this, dude. <laughs> this is and, horrible. And, and, but, but here's the thing. Like, we escaped eventually. Okay? Like, Static managed to somehow, I think, kill himself by eating shit. And respawn. And, no, listen, listen. And respawn. Okay? And they had us in cages on the beach. So he respawned and then rolled up on the beach where we had like a fucking like like a raft that was filled with auto turrets, okay? And it fucking killed the their entire tribe. Like it killed like nine people in like seconds. Because all we had to do we had the ability to defend ourselves, but just not in that moment, you know what I'm saying? So we, we get there and we, we, we killed all of them. We escaped the situation. And then later, now this, this was like, a, they were a, it was a bunch of Ch like Chinese players that had, we think they were playing in shifts because they were almost always online, right? And okay. it was a little bit funny because the server that we were playing on was a, a fucking um, um I'm, we're gonna get back to the video in a minute i'm sorry i'm just it's not gonna take more than five no, minutes to tell no, the story no it's fine we were playing on a server that the idea uh, of it is that it self wipes like every month 
And it was weird because the the other players, like that, the players I'm talking about, were dumping like hours and hours and hours of work into it, almost like they didn't know it was gonna get wiped. But uh, like, I think we had like maybe like like a week or two before the server wiped, and we were like going and fucking like looking at their base where they had auto turrets set up out outside. Right. So. We tamed a bunch of we tamed these big stupid bullet sponge like giraffe animals. Okay, Paracer <laughs> Paracerotherium if you are a paleontology nerd, okay? And we parked them outside the base so they soaked up all the bullets so our, so then we could enter without getting shot. And then we went in there and one of my friends they had this very elaborate system of turrets set up. But he climbed under a a platform and reached <laughs> the center of their power grid where they and just caught one of the cables essentially and completely caught all power to their base so then we were able to go in there and just completely demolish their base down to the final foundation and there were three of us and like 30 of them in this tribe and once we completely dem killed all of their, you know, their tames, because don't forget, it takes like hours to tame things and everything, right. and demolished the entirety of their base, there is no video of this. And I hate, I fucked up so bad by not streaming this. <laughs> or, or, or at least recording this, guys. I should have recorded this. I'm such a, I'm such a dick for not recording this. I, I, I cursed myself to this day for not recording this. When we demolished every last shred of their base, we erected a billboard and put an image of Winnie the Pooh on it and and put free Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things we did was we stole we stole okay so there's pokeballs in Fuck. the in the game, right? And that have okay. you, the di you tame a dinosaur and you can you put it in a pokeball. Okay, it was Hong Kong. Right. I, 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 it was Hong Kong, free Hong Kong. Yeah, my bad. Okay, okay. And we put. I got fucking. I got confused. Geo Guesser Champ over here. We got so we. They had refrigerators full of Pokeballs, and the way it works is like if you take the Pokeball, it's now your dinosaur. And I took one of their stupid dinosaurs, and we we all did. We all took a couple dinos for ourselves, and. There's this image of me and Static went back to the base. One of them finally logged on, respawned, and was standing there forlornly staring at the at the billboard naked. <laughs> and Static killed them with his own dinosaur <laughs> while he was staring at the, at the at the billboard. Holy and shit! And then the guy went and chat, and he was like, "I hope you get cancer." <laughs> you know, like, it was just. <laughs> And, and, and Wamba's like, you know, USA number one, you know, and all that fun. It was just fucking. It was just, <laughs> it was just magical, guys. It was magical. Oh and this my God. Is, and do you see what That's I'm saying? So like, like here's the thing: the game, full stop, fucking sucks. <laughs> it is a. It right. is. A, it is a. It is held together with toothpicks and fucking scotch tape. Like it is a miracle that that thing performs <laughs> at all. It is dog shit. But oh, right. I don't know. I can't think of many other games in my life where I had that much you fun. Know, you know what it is. Did you beef if with an Indonesian tribe? We did, but then one of them joined us because he was a f he was awesome. We made we we I that I I love that Jecha. I still think about that guy and what he's doing. One of them we we fucking we poached one of them and he played with us for like a year. Sorry, what were you saying? No, I, I think Sorry. I think I know why it's. It's so much fun to fuck with people and troll in that game. Imagine fucking with someone's base in Minecraft, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, building in Minecraft is fun. Yeah. Right? Like, going in, collecting the resources, and then coming back out. And the, yeah. the way that Minecraft is built, it's just inherently fun. Yeah. So if you go and you destroy someone else's base in Minecraft, like, they're going to feel like, oh, well, there goes all my work. But, I mean, the work is fun. Yeah. So, so right. I'm going to do it. In Ark, doing <laughs> anything Sulk. is suffering. <laughs> That's right. You spend fucking hours building a base, and every moment of building that base is absolute hot trash. So, but you know what? You persevere. Like, you know it sucks, but you persevere, and then you get the pride and accomplish, like, the sense of accomplishment yeah, for yeah, building yeah. this base. You stand, you look at it. Which means yeah. that if you destroy that base, 
Yeah. Suddenly, that work they have to do to build it again still fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. You 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 fucking nailed it. And then I want you to think about like from our perspective, just as like gorilla scumbags. Okay. We were motivated by nothing other than pure fucking spite. Okay, right. we also knew, had to, to do knew. that. We had to grind to do that to them. Right. You, you know, knew like, that the best way to though. fuck with them was to do something that would make them play the game more. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, it just uh. three three men motivated by absolutely nothing but pure fucking spite. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. It helped. It helped enjoying each other's company. Okay, like I do really enjoy hanging out with the both of the, the both of them. There was only again. There was only three of us. It's just three three guys <laughs> kne kneecapped a fu a fucking like thirty person strong fucking I mean, like, like mega mega sweat fucking tribe of players. I I, yeah. I mean like do like playing the game with friends makes it more fun. I'm yeah. sure, but like. Friends also make shoveling cow manure more fun. Right, yeah, right? yeah. Like, that yeah, doesn't yeah, mean yeah, that yeah, it's yeah, fun yeah. shoveling yeah. cow well, manure. I don't know, doing that to them, and then just, that was a very good feeling. Doing we, that to we those played, guys. Uh, that was fucking... Human Fall Flat together, Fred. We had Human fun Fall playing Flat. Human Fall Flat. I never yeah. played that. Yeah, because that game's fun. I, 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 it can be a bit of a grind, but I, I enjoyed playing it with you. I, had, I was playing it when I was in China, and there was like a quarter second delay in every input that's that's like vpn oh, yeah, yes. that. yeah they you had to huh no that sucked um uh human fall flat is kind of like almost the predecessor to party animals oh and yeah like yeah like the, the, you the like sort of oh party animals is fuck i think great. we should play I that love... i think we should play yeah that let's soon. do it we should play fuck that yeah soon. you know why because i have time i can do <laughs> things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. holy shit you know who I was thinking about asking to play that with me, Lord Ethelstan. What if we, what if yeah. three of us? Yeah, um, I played. I played with um, with him and Hina and Heavenly Father. That's see, a little yeah. while ago. There you go. Um, no, like I, I love party animals. Yeah, I, it's a fantastic party. I don't party think we, we we didn't we didn't play it. No, I played it with limes and and simple flips. And uh, you were... no, you you invited me and I couldn't join. Oh, I you couldn't come. You couldn't come. And Rev, Rev, Rev played with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what I was doing. She was just jerking off. I don't know. Damn That's pretty cool. important. Fucking extended Mike, goon sesh. Yeah. Mike, I was you know, laughing so much then. I thought I was going to have like a cerebral hemorrhage, by what, the way. What? The... My, my head felt, at your story, my head felt like it was going to explode. Oh, that arc thing? I, I have yeah. to tell you something. One of the I, I think maybe one of the biggest regrets in my life was not was not at least recording all of that. Yeah. You know, I should have at least I, I, I should have at least locally recorded all of that. There was absolutely no reason I couldn't have done that. But you know what Sorry, I, Fred, I it, 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 it was it was, it was it, it, I wasn't thinking of it of even doing I wasn't even considering it because it was like leisure time. I was just like, you know, I was I was just like dicking around with my friends. Like it wasn't like I but like my god, would that have been amazing as a YouTube video just just editing that down, that saga. It it immediately you know? makes me think of um of Daniel, Daniel from SL. SL? Have you ever have you ever seen any of Daniel's videos? How spag how many spaghetti bobs deep are we right now, chat? J just Three actually? Daniel I, sure. Daniel from SL. Okay, literally, hold on. He is he's he's a troll. Like he he's a troll who does who just messes with people. Um Oh, is that the guy who pretended he didn't know how to do anything in Rust? Yes, yes. Okay, I have seen his shit. Okay, I have seen good. his shit. Yeah, yeah. He does Second Life. Oh yeah, you can't show that. You can't show any Second Life on uh, Second Life's banned on Twitch. Wait, what? Yeah, All Second right. Life is banned on Fuck. Twitch. No, yeah. I forgot about that. Gee, that's that's one of those weird rules that like is easy to forget. Yeah, it's it's. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I, I don't. Okay, we could watch a video of it right now. I don't think we should. By the way, I think we should go back to your video. No, that's not. That's not. But yeah. I, but I do believe that wouldn't be a problem. I think it's the streaming of the game that's that you're not allowed. to Oh, do. okay, gotcha. 
you know, I mean, if there's big titties in the YouTube video, then that's a problem. But then there's going to there's, there's gonna be a problem if there's any big titties in any video. <laughs> you know, all right, I'm going to I'll play this. Because I'm going right. to make the problem. I'm, I'll, I'll play this now. Right. Okay. Many chose one particular system from which to base their trade. You lie. You lie was a natural choice, given that it was a you? high can, can you pause a second, actually? the maximum value. No, like apparently I can't. That no, there was actually, no, I safe, fucking can't. But more <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> what, what, okay, so, okay we, got, we got to fucking talk about this. Why is the space bar occasionally <laughs> not working? What is that shit? What is going on? So Guys, I noticed that when you press spacebar, the play button is being <laughs> highlighted in blue, and I wonder if that has something to do with it. Uh, Wait, I, 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 at no point did I click out of this fucking window. Why is chat saying K? Where the fuck did K come from? Use K. What, what, what is this, fucking Sesame Street? What K? Why is K involved? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus fucking Christ! Where since when? <laughs> Senile moment! I'll fucking eat you alive. K for Kaplay. K, K for Kaplay. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I pausing this for it? Um, because I, I wanted to ask any Eve players I in chat, how many of you, when I said they they set up the the first like they set up the the trade hub for all of New Eden, how many of you thought I was about to say Jita? And how many of you were like, wait, what? Jita? What's you lie? I, I'm I've always wondered. Wait, like. When I when I wrote this, like I was wondering how I always wondered how many E players are going to be like, oh, he's going to say you lie. And then I say, or no, he's going to say Jita. And then he, and then I say you lie. And I wonder how many people I've caught off guard that way. Because why? Because Jita is the current trade hub. Mm -hmm. But you uh, lie was the first trade hub and you lie doesn't last forever. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it's like, like it's it, kind of an obscure bit of history. Like it's it's ancient history nowadays. G like B like Gumai Kandai resided at the precise center of you Empire like, you space, like making a trip to Yulai a reasonable distance, no matter where a player was. Soon, I would have pronounced that Uli. Personally, all Yuli. manner of players Yuli to travel um, to Uli, Uli Uli. Well, I mean, when Yuli. I when I interview Nord. people, they all called it Yulai to buy and sell goods and almost anything could be purchased there. This posed a problem. So many players in a system tax the game servers. It's the type of thing where I would have pronounced it that way for years and then found out like I was wrong and then like ignorantly continued being like, no, you're wrong. Ryan, if you say four bees, I'm going to strangle you. You try and strangle me through the fucking screen, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Come, come, come to Smevic, Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Cold out. for Tony Chief. Cold out. People began to use Uli as a trade hub, then the servers would be unable to accommodate them. But soon, an even greater existential threat to the game would appear. So more interesting than living in China, I used to live in Ladywood, Birmingham, which is next to Smevic, Birmingham. So I was within fighting range of the the original Danny G. Oh, who's Danny G? He's like a bit of an internet meme. He just left an angry message on Xbox Live telling people to come to Smevic. Oh, <laughs> and then you're telling and then you're telling Fred to come. Okay. <laughs> Someone says, "Ooh, Birmingham. Birmingham's fancy, man." What's wrong with Birmingham? Why why is it why is it a meme? Uh, it had like it was a bit like Detroit, maybe. 40 years ago so it had like lots of heavy industry and then it all disappeared oh there's mm. so that that's uh like the I mean, british rust belt it's yeah it's way like in america it's way more than detroit dude yeah but, but i would say detroit's the capital of detroit's the, the capital belt. yeah detroit's yeah. the capital of like rust belt unemployment <laughs> it's basically it's it's pittsburgh cleveland it starts at pittsburgh pittsburgh cleveland Detroit, this, um, I don't know, like, like, like Indianapolis, I guess, uh, Gary, train Indi is, Indiana. Train is taking jobs out of Cleveland. And I, I mean, I don't know. That's what's, there's, that's pretty much it, right? 
Trying to think. Yeah. Round kind out. Of fucking Ohio. God, fucking Ohio. God. West Virginia to an extent. Right? The northern West Virginia. <laughs> Cincinnati. I... But I I feel like what, what was Cincinnati like industry heavy? Dang fuck go oh my god Akron Ohio. I would no. okay Akron. um <laughs> tonight. <sighs> what Fred? T tonight I would at least like to get to the Zombies Inc. Where's that incident? What, what section is that? Um, like we'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there very soon. Um, section five. Just, just press this play. This section. Like... It should be this section. Yeah. Let's hit play. Very penisy ships. Toward the end of 2003, the deal that Pien, CCP uh, had made with the Pinusians was them, concluding. Fred, the Pien... But Simon and Schuster uh, had no intention ooh. of renewing the deal, and so they reached oh, an fuck. agreement. Was it like Peen Bros? Was it Peen I think Bros? it was just Peen Bros. I think it was just <laughs> Peen, Bros. Peen Bros. That would return the publishing rights the to the game Brosians. developers. Yeah. And while they had no infrastructure or connections to print physical copies of the game, CCP had another plan. On December 3rd, 2003, CCP made an announcement on their website. Quote, CCP, the developer of the highly acclaimed MMORPG title EVE Online, announced today that it has regained the publishing rights for the title worldwide and will start distributing it as a direct download from the internet. We are very pleased to be in a position where we can contribute equally to both development and publishing, says Ivor Christ Jensen, CEO of CCP. We have reached direct an agreement with Simon and Sh You yeah. wouldn't. That's why we have to but, establish what the internet is. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, 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 right. And Shut up. the international regarding Canada and North America, as well as with Crucial Limited for Europe. What do you mean Canada and North America? Right. We expect the downloadable version to increase hmm. global sales sharply. Our player base has been growing steadily since the launch of EVE Online in May. Our game servers are in good shape, and we are technically ready for much faster growth now, says Hilmar V. Pedersen, CCP's chief technical officer. The player community is a great source of new ideas for the future development of the game. EVE Online is an evolving, living game, and we can't wait to see how the players will react to some of the new stuff we will be adding in the future." End quote. But this optimism was undermined by the problems that Uli now presented. Canada isn't a North America dummy. You think that person's serious? As mentioned previously, <laughs> the game server... That, that's more like a YouTube comment than a Twitch comment. ...architecture was designed... I, so Fred brought him over. So, so that, that, that's, a, that's a circular breathing isn't real genre comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my remember. god! Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, so the, the dude, I remember, I'm a music major. The, the dude who tried that. to condescendingly tell me that circular breathing isn't a thing. Yeah, I remember that fucking cock. I lo I love I love confidently. I, I think what my favorite genre of YouTube comment is confidently incorrect. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Each region in the game world was managed by a different server. However, the newest processors at the time proved to be suboptimal for CCP's purposes. So there Fuck was only Intel. one server. It's it's not that there was only one how, server. How, how do I explain <clears> one server? There's one shard. There was one shard. Is, is, so like, in other words, yeah, that's basically what I'm asking you. <clears throat> like, yeah. there's no like, oh, here's another, I'm on this version of the map. Nope, everybody is playing on the same version of the map. Right, like, yeah, in, in gamers' layman's terms, there is one server. There's yeah. One, yeah, yeah. And so, even the latest CPU technologies wouldn't help to bolster their servers for the influx of players, specifically the growing population in Uli. Theoretically, this could have been solved by changing the regions that each server managed and perhaps utilizing a specific server for Uli, but with the volume of players that Uli threatened to host, not even a dedicated server for that star system would be enough. What's more, players were beginning to discover exploits that threatened their faith in the game to function as it was intended. 
On March 3, 2004, a corporation named Zombies Inc. descended upon Yulai with a single apocalypse battleship and a bevy of dedicated logistics ships, parking themselves near a Stargate, approximately where players would arrive when entering the system or approaching the gate to leave. The and, and so Yulai is like the the hub of this game at this point at this point yes this is this is the you know the main city this is where you spawn this is where uh, you... no this isn't where you spawn but this is just naturally where players began to conglomerate and the, the the case was if you wanted to buy something you were probably buying it from uli uh-huh like that's uh, just where people put their goods major fucking like this was the, this was the place Apocalypse right. was equipped with a special kind of weapon, a smart bomb. When activated, this niche weapon would deal massive damage to everything within a certain distance of the user, whether ally or enemy. As soon as ships appeared, the pilot of the Apocalypse activated his smart bombs and his targets were instantly destroyed. As Yulai was a system with a 1.0 security rating, Concord appeared almost instantly in order Concord being the the police like the, yep. the that's NPCs the NPCs yes yeah in order to destroy the offending we'll player the bastards. but as soon as they did the logistics ships began repairing it from just outside of the radius of the smart bombs as Concord ships approached and were destroyed in the successive blasts <laughs> the space but, cops. but but I, I I thought they were supposed to be like you know, stronger than that wouldn't that be the point like Oopsie. Like, wouldn't it be like, would, 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 shouldn't, shouldn't those things be indestructible, really? Or did they want to give you that fucking, you know, um, that feeling of like, yeah, you can be a, you know, you can be a criminal and they get killed, away with it. They killed the British. They right? Get, Who's meant yeah. to be Mitchell? Yeah, right, right. Like, shot him into space. Right. Well, I mean, they're, they, I, I don't know how the fuck they killed Lord British. What was the deal with that? Again, that was, I I, I, that was before that. my time. I forget specifically. I feel like he was meant to be invulnerable, but then there was an oversight in that. But then they made it canon in the lore, didn't they? Yeah, he can kill, be, be killed by a sign as well. You can drop a sign on his head in like one of the games. Because in real life, <laughs> Lord British, like a sign fell off the door and hit him on the head. <laughs> so it became like, a, became like a meme. That's pretty funny. They firewalled um, him when he forgot to turn his invulnerability on. Shut up. Real stop. The server crashed and it erased his invincibility flag. Yeah, well, yeah that's what it's saying here. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Can you Is imagine it... the absolute chaos? Like Lord British turning up in Ultima and just people just spamming attacks at him constantly <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. well in that instance like realistically who would not try to kill him like who the Bo fuck would not attempt to <clears throat> attack him at that yeah b uh, bobby bill just fyi i'm going to level with you these director commentaries that I do with Mike are effectively an excuse to hang out yeah, with one of my not, best friends yeah, is, like we're, we're trying our best it, and you know we it's it's nice to just have a bit of a, a moment because it's it's gone good they yeah they, these these guys it. are in fucking champagne mode right now you know yeah so these, so this i'm gonna level with you this is one of my favorite parts of the whole video yeah you're right yeah here? i fucking love this yeah you, we've just started so uh okay i'm gonna play it there now not only were so they're destroying the npcs and they're using these smart bombs which by the way they're reusable smart bombs so they could just keep yeah, spam yeah, yeah, yeah. it's these. just a weapon yeah it, it's a weapon hapless uh, player it's, it's not a consumable thing yeah. it's being destroyed in uli but so were the game's npc police while concord attacked the apocalypse battleship the logistics ships were entirely ignored this was due to an oversight that zombies inc had discovered while attacking another I want to fucking actually hear that this again. This was due to an ship. Okay. Now, not only were hapless players being destroyed in Yulai, but so were the game's NPC police. While Concord attacked the Apocalypse battleship, the logistics ships were entirely ignored. This was due to an oversight that Zombies Inc. had discovered. 
while attacking another ship in Empire space would grant the player a wanted status and summon the police, repairing another ship would not, even if the player receiving the repairs was wanted. Having estimated the damage output of Concorde's ships, Zombies Inc. had brought just enough logistics capability to outpace the damage that Concorde could deal, making the apocalypse practically invulnerable. So the thing was, they were just summoning one at a time, one Concorde ship at a time? Uh, there, there, there's more than one. Um, there's some video footage that comes up of, of the incident. Any players attempting to intervene by attacking the logistics ships would, in turn, be destroyed by Concorde, <laughs> since by the game's... Oh, that's amazing. ...definition, yep. they were innocent. And so, <laughs> they were able to continue <laughs> their slaughter in Yulai for an unrecorded period of time. Victims of Zombies Inc. went to the forums to complain, and soon, even those who have... Oh, these people think about this and laugh. Uh, to this day, these these guys think about this and fucking just, like... Like, that's, that, that's their version of, like, you know, the Winnie the Pooh sign. Oh, absolutely. You, you know what I mean? Okay, so... Holy no, a hundred percent. Even better than that, because we weren't we didn't do that to the developers of the fucking game. We did it to other players, you know. Like holy right. shit. So n north of Earth, uh, the reason that you never see any footage is be like any footage of like the cool battles and shit that happen is because it is all completely incomprehensible. You wouldn't know it, what you were looking at. Right? Yeah. It's like it's pretty. Like Eve Online is a very pretty game, but. If you were to, like, try to appreciate the look of a battle, you would see a bunch of blue bubbles and a couple of big, rather fleshlight looking ships. And, and like, occasionally there will be a flashbang. And that's it. Like, that, that, that's the problem with, like, doing... That, that was the problem with, like, finding good archival footage of this. Is like, how do I find something that looks good and is informative? And the simple answer is, you don't. Which is why there's like almost an hour of animation that I got from Ark for this. The video we watched before had some fo have gameplay footage, like the Russian guy. And yeah, yeah I you saw that. <laughs> would, again, it was like it was like looking at fucking like you know, it's like an ant abstract colony. art. Yeah. I had no idea yeah. what the fuck I was looking at. This is the problem. Right. Yeah, like the big problem is translating what has happened right. in EVE Online right. Right. for an audience. Hadn't encountered the small fleet were complaining to the developers that trade through Yulai and therefore in much of the game have been brought to a halt due to an exploit. CCP's game... Uh, how long did this go on for? Uh, it, it, the time period is unrecorded, unfortunately. Like, unrecorded. I, I couldn't find a reference to it. I don't think it lasted more than a night. Like a couple of hours? I, I think if, if I had to hazard a guess, I don't think it lasted, like, less than a day. Right. Mm -hmm. The perpetrators and instructed them to cease. Zombies Inc. declined. A post made to the forum by the game masters describes the incident in find. A post due to an exploit. CCP's game masters contacted the perpetrators and instructed them to cease. Zombies Inc. declined. <laughs> A post <laughs> made to the forum by the game masters <laughs> describes the incident in full. Quote, as a lot of you are aware, a certain corp willingly exploited a fault in the game mechanics and managed to kill over a 100 people in the supposedly secure ULI system last night. We have decreed that those who were the recipients of this heinous crime will be fully reimbursed for their loss. If you are one of those who lost your belongings and still haven't petitioned us, please wow. do so and we will see to it that your possessions are returned to you. The exploiters have received a ban for their efforts, and anyone thinking of following their example should be aware that the same fate awaits them. The GM team. You got, you got mom and dad mad. And <laughs> while players Ooh, you're in trouble. were in general glad to have the ULI system. So when it says that bogus, they didn't break anything. The game was designed that way cleared this set i talk about this yeah that i actually like so this is one of the few videos where i do more than just like give the information 
uh-huh. and the immediate follow. I, I actually dip into analysis in some parts of the video, okay. and I, I I talk about this problem a and little you, bit. You're going right to do now. that right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Precedent. Yeah. With pompous rhetoric, the game masters declared that they would not allow players to bend the rules farther than CCP dictated, but how much was too much was left unspecified. In this case, a rule was codified and enforced as an event was taking place, namely that players were not allowed to survive indefinitely against Concord in high security space. Anything that allowed them to do so would be considered an exploit, and therefore, a bannable offense. However necessary it may have been, and however popular the decision may have been with players, it established the company in an adversarial role to many of its players, especially the ones most interested in experimentation. Though trade could once again travel through Uli, this did not lead to the rise of any powerful high sec corporations due to a particular mechanic. While players were safe from wanton attacks from other players in high sec space, and players in low sec space were risking their lives by attacking other players, you see, is the captions. There was a way for players to attack <laughs> one another safely, even low while sex. Con- is, again, nobody's having sex here. Concord was no. present. A war declaration. It's like a by pain. medieval word. He did the low sex. The low sex of the commoners. Like extramarital, extramarital sex or something is what many people would call low sex. Considered <laughs> low sex with a wench from the tavern. A fee every week, a corporation could declare war against another and be granted the right to attack any of their ships on sight, often referred to as bribing the police. Okay. This meant that, whenever a high sec corporation became powerful enough, other corporations would band together to check this it. This is corporation. Say yeah, cor- corporation. Yeah. Corporation. Sorry. Why it's... does it say corporation, guys? Oh, it's just a fake. Uh, it's a fake corporation. Corgi. Oh, you made them up. Oh my god, because it's a yeah. corgi. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna suck your dick. That's so cute. I'm gonna suck you right the fuck off. That was Ark's idea. I'm gonna suck his cock clean. Where is he? Clean. I actually, actually, I think he's in California right now. Oh really? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hi, friend. Is he? Somebody in chat specifically asked for that. Um, you're welcome. Together to check it and prevent it from becoming too powerful and affecting a monopoly. Even so, there were enough individuals and small corporations trading out of Uli that the servers began to lag. This was not a difficult threshold. So the way they handled PvP was you can declare war on another corporation. You can only do it once a week. And it costs money. It costs currency. Clean! And it costs Sorry. money in you in in-game currency. Right, yeah. Christ. Like you need you need to oh, okay. pay the police to like to, to keep the war going. Right, okay. To reach. Despite boasting way. about high yeah. potential player counts, EVE Online required less than 100 players to be present in the system before problems began to manifest. But as Crowd Control Productions was contending with Uli, the initial powers of Nullsec were beginning to fracture, and soon, divisions would spark conflict that would push their server infrastructure to its limits. So question, we got another 20 minutes before we should call it? Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's getting on for 3 a.m. here. You think we can get through section five or what? If we stop dicking around? If, if, we, if we shut the fuck up, maybe, but... Let's try it. Impossible. Or do you really think that's a good stopping point? A shut the fuck up challenge. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> or like is that is a good stopping point? Oh, that's good that that's like the first no that's the first hour that's good i i feel like that's a good stopping point you think what do you think yeah <clears throat> uh, yeah all right so if we do this another five four no five times yeah if we yeah. do this another five times at the same pace we could get through this entire video not bad boys if we have less talk about arc and 
Yeah, well, and again, I, you know, I, I told Fred in the outset, like, there's no shot that we fucking, you know, I, I'm, I'm surprised we got this far. I'm frankly. at peace with that. I'm at peace. I, with I that. can't believe we got this. Is just how we stream together, you know. Um, but like, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk about. See, like, my thing is this though. I'm gonna want to watch this on my own. Like, I'm going to feel compelled to watch this on my own is the problem. Right. Like, I, I don't like, I don't know if I'm going to want to wait to, like, because I'm loving this. I don't know if I'm going to want to wait to, like, do another one of these streams, bro. But I, I don't know. May, maybe, maybe that's okay. Maybe I'll, maybe, maybe, then maybe I fucking, you know, we watch, I watch it, and then we still make the content. Yeah, fuck it. Like or whatever you know. Th this video is thick enough that you'll probably like miss stuff. Plus, I'll be like, I, actually, I think th I think that's ideal because mm -hmm. think about it, right? You watch the video, you have mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. and then just bring them to me. Yeah, could do right the second yeah. time we watch through. Yeah, like like um, I most of the stuff that I have covered in this video, mm -hmm. I know more about. Yeah, yeah. So I can expound upon most things in this. Plap, plap, plap. Um, all right, yeah. I mean, I you know, I think we're I think we're gonna wrap it up. I <clears throat> I'm again I need some rest. Oh yeah, um, I need rest too. I'm I'm gonna level yeah. with you. I'm a little tired still. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> a, he's a sleepy boy. He worked hard, Ryan too, right? Yeah, Ryan, your uh, your music is is fucking stellar in this so far. The fucking piano <laughs> is Stellar. Oh, the piano stuff, the string stuff, the horns, it's fucking been I, I've been I've been deaf I've been paying attention. It's fucking beautiful. Um Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a band did a song for this one as well, which is at the end. Oh, Spoilers. No yeah. Oh no shit. Oh no. It's really shit. good. It's really all good. All right, all right. Looking forward to that. So um what I wanna do at this time, hold on, let me do this real quick. Um, again, this is th Thursday. Usually it's like, it's like, usually it's like one of my off days. Um, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like, this is kind of a little, little off the clock stream here. Um, why is this happening? But if you did come out tonight, you're awesome. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. Um, someone just said Ryan Probert, more like Ryan Pervert got him. Got him. Um, uh, no, How he can't be. He up? can't be a pervert. He is. He is I'm the most sexless accepted. man alive. Have you not rested since Vegas? Kinda no. Jesus, man. I mean, like a little bit, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to do that now. If you're new here tonight, I want to ask you for a thing. My mods are gonna put some links in the chat. And what I would like you to do is I would like you to click them. It's my YouTube channels, and you could subscribe to them bad boys as my Twitter there. Um, there's Kofi, Patreon if you want to support. Some people choose to do it that way because they don't want to use Twitch for whatever reason. And also our Discord server. That's the big one you should join, our Discord server, because you're, you'll get stream notifications every night, and you will get your cock sucked clean. No questions asked. Everybody, that's what we do there. We suck dick. Nope, just kidding. You are not going to get your penis sucked. Don't even try. But you are going to have a good time. You're going to have fun. So join that server. You will not get your penis sucked. I was just kidding. Um, You're also going to get tricked into watching a Doug Walker video. We're, yeah, you will. We, we're dugging. There's some hardcore dugging happening in there right now. So go ahead. Click the all, link. Right. This is all because you used to be a realtor. Right. Right. <laughs> What like this the, is your password? The, you scan the house. Be like, you're gonna get your dick sucked. The, you're pick, the pitching shit. Sucked. Yeah, I yeah, wish sorry. I had thought of that at the time because I held that real estate license for about a year, uh, and I never sold the house. Have you seen this fireplace? Hey, Not a have you seen one. this video of Doug Walker? <laughs> <laughs> this video of Doug listen, Walker will suck you off. <laughs> listen, this house is haunted, but the ghost will suck your glizzy. Here's another thing I'd like to do. I'd like you to go. It's haunted because they filmed the wall with the nostalgic wall in it. I'd like you to go to this YouTube channel and subscribe to Fred down the rabbit hole. Um, I'd like you, you to go to his Twitch channel and follow him on Twitch. 
I'd like you to um uh other all what else is Twitter. We have a uh, a podcast we're doing. I'm hoping now that this now that he's pushed out this fucking girthy log of a fucking six hour video, we'll be able to get back to our podcast that hasn't gotten an episode in three years, Fred? Two. Two two years? Two. Um which will be cool. Also, um, I wanna uh, I wanna shout out my buddy uh, Ryan Probert, who's not a pervert. That's fucking <laughs> slanderous. Um, and Ryan, of course, is the uh, yeah the, 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 the composer for Down the Rabbit Hole. Do you have anything you want to plug, bud? I know you have a band and stuff. Do you want to put your YouTube uh, YouTube links in the chat? Uh, I'll, I'll put I'll put something in there. Now. Yeah, pop your uh, pop pop uh, pop whatever you want to um, whatever you want to shill in there. Unless it's like pictures of your penis, please don't do that. I don't think he will though, because he's not a pervert as discussed previously. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I wouldn't give him it for free because um, I'm, I'm, I'm a shill. There you go. He no, fucking. Uh, fizzy... I feel like Doug would be a good name for penis. Like a Doug, his dog. He's gonna right, put. Like, he's gonna like put a, hot, a dog euphemism. Picks. hot dog. Hot like, dog. A, a euphemism for for dick. Yo, Calling hot, it your dog. Yo, hot dog piss. He's pulling his his dog, bro. He's yanking on his dog. Fizzy pops says, "Oh my god, finally got to join a live." Yeah, thank you so much. We're ending though. <laughs> but I'm so glad you got. To, I'm sorry. I'm so you're, glad you're you got to come. My message, uh, Mike. I'm gonna put it in the to chat with us. You got your so. fucking shit deleted. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, because I can't post a link. That's why. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, both of those. Okay, hold on. So here's his. Actually, this channel is really cool because this has all of Ryan's music. Um, from all of the rabbit hole videos, and also he he's also the composer for Atrocity Guide. So those uh, right that that music's there too. Yeah, even yeah. if you don't like the video, I would still recommend giving the music a try because yeah. oh my, right. like it's like explosion sauce. It's good on right. its own. Right, right. <laughs> um, we're we're also gonna. Um, I also want to give you a link to this is hold up. Uh. Ryan's band. Yeah, here's a link to their band, which, Ryan, I feel like such a fucking piece of shit. I haven't gotten to listen to the band yet. I'm so sorry, dude. Dude, I've had oh. so much fucking shit happen. I've been fucking... No, so I feel so fucking bad about it. I felt like such a fucking piece of shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it, dude. But there it is. I, I really... I appreciate the honesty. That's the sweetest thing. It's, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, dude. I listened to your fucking band. Yo, it was fucking great. When I haven't heard it, you know, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be a fucking cunt like Anthony Fantano. This is the four seconds and call it and call it fucking a garage ba garage band garbage. <laughs> did you know that? Do you know that Anthony Fantano did that to my band? Did he? Did yeah. he? Wow. Yeah, no, yeah. Somebody no, link, no. somebody linked him a Red Vox song on a stream, and he listened to four seconds, and then turned it off, turned it off, and said, "Listen, don't link me your friend's shitty garage rock, garage band project." <laughs> <laughs> the, what is that even? Hilarious. Is, is there a way to tell if it's made on gar garage band? Like, is it? Is it what? No. Well, he was just baselessly being a cocksucker. And abusing his influence to be a fucking cocksucker. Like, I feel like a, per a person like that, like, I don't know. Like, they know they know that people are going to dislike them. I, I, I think maybe a part of him doing that is like, I don't know. Like, it just makes him, I, I don't fucking know. I honestly, I don't fucking, I, I feel like, again, listening to four seconds of a song and then, and then dissing it, like, just randomly that's, is yeah, that's pretty shit. is like that's like a failure of professionalism it, that's like exactly that. what i said last night like i just feel like that's what are you doing i like i don't know I, again i i know some of you like this guy but like how do you fucking like that's garbage like that's that's not okay i love like i i love the idea of someone listening to the first four seconds of like where owls know my name which is like purposefully um cr um like the bit rate is or no um like it's mixed in such a way to give it like a very sort of low quality sound i i love the idea uh -huh. of someone listening to the first four seconds of that song for like the first six seconds are that effect and then being like this is garbage you need a better recording studio <laughs> i 
I mean, like, Anthony feels like his ego gets ahead of his analytical process. Not that he doesn't have a process that's worth listening to. I don't understand your comment, but I know he's a narcissistic cuck because <laughs> of that fucking tweet that he tweeted that time. Remember that? Like, I'm, this is my lane and I'm going to use it till I'm done with it. And it's like... Man, you just fucking, you just live up your own fucking ass. I know, it's, it's so typical, right? Like, I'm going to fucking get upset at a music critic for critiquing the fucking music and saying it's bad. But here's the thing, right? He didn't listen to it. Like, how do right. you take this guy seriously? Like, like you listen to his, like, his takes are like, like, you like his takes on music? Like, you seriously listen to his takes on music after he'll fucking trash something he listened to four seconds of? There is one comment on one of my videos that I think properly got under my skin. Um, I was taught, so in my Mouse Utopia Experiments video, I talk about um, the fear of a Malthusian catastrophe, the idea that um, population growth will outstrip food production. Right. Uh, like in increase in population will outstrip increase in food production and it will cause a like it will it will cause mass starvation yeah and then i immediately followed up that up by saying um while while um advents in the green revolution right uh helped prevent that and did help drastically increase food production yeah um but there was a comment Someone said, stop. I stopped listening the moment you started talking about a Malthusian catastrophe. That's stupid. We were able to keep producing food. Like, I stopped that moment. I'm not listening to any more of this shit. And it's like, literally the next second would have answered that. <laughs> if he listened <laughs> to the bitch. next sentence, I address that. And I amazing. I I think that is the only time that a comment has actually made me mad. Like if he listened to Red Vox and then called it shit, I'd be less mad. I'd be I'd still be right. like, oh I don't I'm I'm upset that this guy trashed my music to all of his fucking, you know, viewers. Like that's not gonna feel good ever, of course not. But at least he'd have listened to it. You know, at least he'd have he'd have fucking I don't know. Whatever, I got I gotta end this guys. You want me to see if there's any art and stuff? Yeah, let's do it. I wanna see All this. Alright, right. let's check it out. Yeah, there's some stuff. Um, for example, we have an amazing animated animated emote from Perry Dulick. Um it is the Chatoid writing with the upside down pencil <laughs> in an upside down book. That's <laughs> this is why I put people wrong. <laughs> This is what I thought people were posting when I was talking about the pencil. I thought a YouTuber wouldn't even have a pencil. <laughs> and then I looked and it was, there was no pencil good. and I felt, I felt foolish. Fucking amazing, Paridolic. Fuck. Thank you so much. Holy shit. That is so good. <laughs> yeah, we're uploading that. That that might be a Twitch upload too. Please, I, I want to see that. I want to see that. I, I think they announced <laughs> that Twitch partners are getting more emotes. Didn't, they, didn't that a thing? Like, I got more emote slots. Yeah, I gotta take a look at mine because I think I got some like some free emote slots. Um Fuck, that's so we good. also got this Holy this shit. fucking rules. Here we go. Dogged. Dogged. Christ, that's the worst. <laughs> oh, Fizzy Pops, thank you. Fresh freak. Let me do this before I forget again. Thank you to everybody who subbed and resubbed and and donated bits. You guys fucking rule. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, again, I, I just I I don't call them out when I have guests, but thank you. I do appreciate it, guys. You look like a sex doll, Fred. God, yeah, I that's do. fucking perverted. Oh, that's the worst. Right, like that's just oh, perverted, I, dude. I I feel like I feel like it looks like pig skin. Yeah, that's Ooh. not that. Yo, pork, pork, pork across, across America. America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dugging across America. Uh, it looks you. like you're wearing like someone else's skin on your face, it like does, there's a real yeah. face underneath it. Yeah, <laughs> Ika Pika, thank you. For this curse hey, i'm pig haggerty um, what's this <laughs> link in source okay so we have a link here from alphatraz let's take a look uh has this been viewed by a moderator what i'm looking at because we like to screen the videos before we play them on stream uh in the meantime we have 
this, which has been screened from a moderator from uh, Red Carnation. Guys, sorry, you're going to have to sit through this. Oh, 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 hi, friends. Did you know about Not Not November? I did not. Do you know what this means for me? I'm going to starve to death. We don't know. <laughs> 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 I, I have to get oh some nuts God. pronto. Good thing that Mike still has some of these uh -huh. calm emanents. Uh huh. Uh huh. Great. Oh, this is a nut. <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> Shut up. Have to trust me, Mike. Oh, he but entered. oh well. <laughs> I guess I gotta try this no 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 pepper challenge myself. <laughs> After all, I don't think there's anything I cannot do. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the uh, Malthusian apocalypse, right? Holy shit. I, th I think we found the solution <laughs> to the Mal- I think we found a way to prevent the Malthusian catastrophe. Uh, what, the Glock hamster? Yeah, yeah, the Glock. No, 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 we, we Glock. Um, we enter Glizzy Overdrive. Increasing grip, 7%. <laughs> uh, holy shit, you can watch the other video. All right, all right. Um, let's see here about the other one real quick. Um, all right, hold on. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, from uh, Alphatraz. Uh -oh. How did it come to this pump? How did we get here? We have three minutes and 40 seconds of whatever this is. <laughs> it's all fucked up. It's all fucked up. Everything's fucked up. <laughs> oh, no. I am very much afraid. Somebody said breakdown core. Get the fuck out there. Get up on that fucking hill. We're totally fucking surrounded. I have no backup. My asshole is itchy. There's something wrong with my oranges. There is shit in the fucking bathtub. And I'm starting to think I'm hot. Don't listen to this on drugs. It's a cool beat. By the way, I like the, the chord I progression. Married. Yeah, here she is. Her name is Tom. I love her so much. We're gonna be together. She's perfect. <laughs> One more time for the row. Fred and Ryan are like, can we leave now? And I will, I will defend her. <laughs> to the dead man. Use K. I want to know when fucking space started working occasionally. I, I, fuck K. Do not say fucking K to me anywhere. I, are you going to make me ban the letter from the chat room? Stop yeah. bringing up K. <laughs> what is wrong with space? Why is space suddenly a problem? Mike's about to do like Twitch chat. It's like that novel where like they don't use like a certain like what letter was it? Like they never use the letter A or something. I think something. it's O. It's, like, it's O. I it's know o. it's restrictive, right? Yeah, my teacher was really into that at university. It's a writing exercise. Mike's doing. Mike's doing a Wings of Redemption. The ban anyone who's giving me advice. <laughs> What? I want to know why K is a pro. Why is what happened to the space bar? Space doesn't pause, it repeats the last action. I have been watching YouTube videos like this for fucking years and have never had this problem before. <laughs> what is going on? Time's just been gone.
<laughs> Have you had to tab out of YouTube videos this much? Yes. It's like legitimately disturbing. <laughs> I'm actually freaking myself out here. His friend continued to film. Man, you guys watched this? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> the amalgamation <laughs> f fight music and Undertale. Exactly. Now you know what we went through. Yeah, sorry everyone. Holy shit. It was a lot. Yeah, sorry guys. Fuck. <laughs> Mike moving his lost his dignity. I, I had a... Don't do drugs. Th that's the thing. I never had dignity. That's that's where... See, that's where you fail to understand. That's my secret, Cap. I winked at the camera multiple times to indicate. <laughs> like, because and I saw people getting concerned and I was like, Haha, no, it's... 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 it's, it's pretend. <laughs> Someone tripping on mescaline would say. Did you not know how much of a nightmare it looked like? We didn't. I didn't see shit because of the cinematic lighting. If I could do <laughs> one thing differently here, it would have been to do the lighting different. Because I thought the lighting. I was going for like demented. Okay, I was going like mm -hmm. I, I was going for like a demented type of, a, of 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 a vibe with the lighting. The problem was um, you couldn't see anything, which I wish I had. <laughs> I don't know. I we saw everything, Mike. We saw fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I think. I think the problem is that you were too effective. You you are suffering from success. <laughs> Somebody said I I understood the reference, but the bit went on a little too long. Did you think I was gonna get in a fucking bathtub full of like pumpkin guts and fucking like orange juice for like ten minutes? What did you think, dude? That must that's have gotten a fucking cold by the end. That's a commitment, motherfucker. It was freezing by the end. No, I like one of the things that convinced me that it was real for a while was like there is no way that a sober person would still be in that water, which is definitely yeah. cold right yeah, now in cold. clothing, yeah, right? Yeah. Like no reasonable person would. I think it went on for like an hour and a half. It wasn't a full two hours. Two. Like that, no, because like I'm, I'm thinking at least fifteen minutes of that were me fucking troubleshooting in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, seriously, at least 15 minutes of that was shit not working the way it was supposed to and me having tech issues. Every single mic stream. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it wasn't no two, two hours of, of bit. This time it's the space bar. The space bar is working tonight. Oh, no, no, I mean, I mean like, it, it worked just now, I should say. All this. Should have been a 12 hour stream. Um, that was, <laughs> there were two options do it for as long as I did it or do it for that long. Why would I want to give this up? up, 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 up. Yeah. Demented. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I'm glad I just inspired. Hmm. Okay. Um. Thanks. What a weird note to end on, guys. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for you laugh, you lose. Probably start around 6 p.m. Eastern. Hope you can be there. Uh, Fred, Ryan, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. No, thank no thank worries. you for having me thank on. You. This this was nice. This was a big old barrel of monkeys fun, guys. I hope we could do this again in the not too distant future. I don't know if we will finish the video, but we'll try. Yeah. Like right. I am not concerned about it. I like when you do watch it, Mike, I really hope you enjoy it. I've I think... already fucking nodded to it like 3 times, so
dude i'm so yeah. i'm so fucking glad. you did an amazing job congratulations to thank the both you. of you you guys fucking did outstanding thank you, thank you. no it's just yeah. really nice to hang out and talk about the work and celebrate it a little bit no absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll do it again it's agreed all right it's really it's mm -hmm. i I, th I think that you are going to enjoy the shit that happens in the video more and more as time goes on i have no doubt Especially because, you know, I told I told you, you know what kind of shit I enjoy. I told you about the arc oh, stuff, yeah. so. Oh, yeah. No, like, all like what we have watched so far is laying the groundwork. Yeah. Guys, I'll see you soon. Good night, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. There we Goodbye. go. Good hey. night. Thanks, subbers. Thanks, guys.